Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations. Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye football is on the air. And he's got all kinds of running room. See you later. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Alliant Energy. Visit AlliantEnergy.com to see how Alliant Energy invests in solutions for clean, reliable energy now and in the future. Hi V. Score big savings and shop online at hyvee.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. And by Case IH. The Case IH Red Zone is brought to you by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at caseih.com backslash Hawkeyes. Now live, Hawkeye football is on the air. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye game day show. Authentic brand. Elevate your game day look and everyday style with a premium label of choice. Today, Iowa opens its Big Ten slate with a trip to Happy Valley, where it will face a top ten opponent in Penn State. Road games in this conference are always tough, but Coach Ferentz and the Hawkeyes will no doubt be up for the challenge. Good afternoon and welcome to the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm your host, Michelle Altmeyer, in our Hawkeye Radio Network studios. For a quick preview of today's whiteout game, let's go to State College and bring in the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Dolph, like I mentioned, nothing is easy on the road in this conference, especially with the 100,000 plus fans that will be in attendance tonight. 106,000 to be exact. Uh, Michelle, thanks very much and good afternoon everybody from the middle of Pennsylvania out here in the Alleghenies. This is Gary Dolphin. Ed Podolak will be joining me shortly as well as Rob Brooks on the Hawkeye sideline. A little soggy, a lot of rain here in the last 24 hours and the forecast is calling for showers off and on during the game which kicks at 640 this evening. The Hawkeyes finished the non-conference schedule with a 3-0 and mark following a 41-10 win over Western Michigan Last Saturday, the Hawks put up nearly 400 yards of offense, and the defense did its thing again, holding the Broncos to 239. LaShawn Williams had his career day, hopefully not his last career day, rushing for 145 yards on 12 carries. Cade McNamara threw a pair of touchdown passes. 
and Nick Jackson led the defense. Uh, he and Jay Higgins, each with nine tackles, Jackson added in a sack. Of course, the task uh, this evening is uh, a much tougher one. The Nittany Lions are set to hold their 15th full stadium Penn State whiteout. The tradition stretches back to a student section whiteout in 2004. And Penn State's first full stadium whiteout was against Notre Dame in 2007. I merrily recall the uh, only other whiteout appearance by the Hawkeyes in 2009 when Adrian Claiborne blocked a punt. It bounced right up into his midsection, and he raced off to the end zone, which rallied the Hawkeyes to a 21-10 victory. This series has been as close as any. Penn State holds a 17-14 advantage in wins uh, in its history, but the teams are tied 11-11 as Big Ten foes, and Kirk Ferentz, uh, the Pittsburgh native, has uh, figured out uh, the house that Joe Paterno built. Uh, Kirk is 10-8 and eight. Uh, in head-to-head matchups uh, since he arrived in Iowa City in 1999. I look for another close game tonight, two outstanding defenses, and two really good sets of special teams. Iowa-Penn State here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Michelle, back to you. Thanks, Dolph. We look forward to you and Ed bringing us all the action in about two hours here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. The Hawkeye Team Bus, powered by the Iowa Soybean Association and fueled by biodiesel, will be waiting at the airport later today to bring the Hawkeyes home. Proudly fueling the Team Bus, Iowa leads the nation in biodiesel production. Using biodiesel provides cleaner and healthier air, homegrown jobs, and value to every bushel of soybeans grown by Iowa farmers. Cleaner, better, now. That's biodiesel. Find out more at iowasoybeans.com. Coming up on today's authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day show, we'll talk all things Pioneer Heroes game. Rob Brooks will be along with the Hawkeye Roundtable, and Gary Dolphin has a conversation with former Hawkeye Tavian Banks. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day show. Authentic brand, more than a label, it's a statement. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Hey, Hawkeyes, this is Coach Kirk Ferentz. We work hard all year long to have the best season possible, just like Iowa's corn farmers do. At the University of Iowa, we celebrate our student-athletes as well as our state's corn farmers. For all of us, it's the same. When you put in the hard work and give it your all, great things happen. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go, Hawks. Even the simplest act can set a chain of good in motion. Like choosing Delta Dental of Iowa for your dental and vision insurance. Because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you make a difference for others. Visit SharingHealthySmiles.com and choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand, the preferred label of choice for game day looks and everyday styles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells... He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. 
Iowa Hawkeye football on 1040 WHO is brought to you in part by Iowa Bankers Association, Burger Shed, IMT Insurance, Great Southern Bank, American Equity, Machine Shed. Show your support to our local Iowa radio business partners and support those who support the Hawkeyes. Welcome back to the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm your host, Michelle Altmeyer. We're aware that many of our dedicated farmers are out there in the fields today as harvest season begins. And it's the perfect time to have a conversation with our friends over at Pioneer, who play such a crucial role in supporting our farming community. Joining us as a special guest today is Amanda Reinhardt, the Iowa sales lead for Pioneer. Thanks so much for joining us today, Amanda. Absolutely. No, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Obviously, uh, two of our favorite things every fall is Hawkeye football and Iowa Harvest. Um, so we know that our customers are getting busy in the field, um, taking in that great crop that they put in. And we know they're facing some challenges as Mother Nature um, threw us a few curveballs this year with an incredibly dry growing season across the state. So we know many folks are seeing variable yields as they get into their fields, but are pleasantly optimistic um, despite the weather with what they're seeing. So let's dive into a bit of the crop update. How would you describe the overall condition of the crops this year? I would say, again, I think we're all pleasantly surprised. Um, the research and development that has gone into seeds over the last several decades helps us overcome some of these weather challenges like the um, extreme dry um, climate that we had in Iowa this year. So while folks are going to see variable yields, right, we do still need that water um, to make a crop. I, I think we're all pleasantly surprised with, with what we are seeing. Um, many of the yields that we're seeing coming out of the fields right now are, are on trend and on pace. Um, and we know that um, all of our customers and our teams put everything they could into that crop this year. Well, that's really good news considering the weather that we experienced this summer. We know that agriculture is important here in Iowa, but what makes it essential to the world? Yeah, we're all incredibly fortunate um, to, to not just be in Iowa, but to be a part of Iowa agriculture. Obviously the oldest, and, and I would argue one of the most important industries across the state. We grow more corn, soybeans, hogs, uh, chickens, eggs, than, than almost anywhere else in the country or really the world. Um, and it's because of, you know, obviously the incredible soils that we have, but also the incredible farmers um, that we've had for just a number of decades who continue to innovate um, and make sure that they can overcome some of those challenges, um, like challenging markets um, and challenging weather. We're chatting with Amanda Reinhardt, Iowa sales lead for Pioneer. So Amanda, what's really hitting home for Iowa farmers in today's world? And what are the factors and issues that are making a direct impact on their lives? Yeah, I think there's just like the crop and the weather this year, it's been variable. Um, obviously there is a number of things that can impact them um, and, and the markets that they play in. So certainly we continue to, to monitor the financial markets um, and what happens on a global perspective um, as Iowa really does export a number of those um, great crops. So we continue to, to try to understand what's happening from kind of a geopolitical um, environment, um, financial environment with inflation and other things that can impact them. And then also, like I said, um, the weather um, and changing environment. So that changes not just the pressure that they have for those crops, but also pest pressure that we can see. Um, so we continue to kind of um, develop um, seeds and treatments um, for, those, for those crops that can overcome those. Um, whether it's overcoming a drought with Aquamax products that we have, whether it's overcoming pest pressure um, with chrome and boar seed products um, for that corn rootworm acre, whether it's understanding new weed pressures um, and utilizing our Enlist A-series soybeans. Um, it's just a continue, continually evolving um, marketplace and needs for farmers. What do you think the future holds for agriculture in our state and how is it evolving to meet new challenges and opportunities? 
Yeah, and it, it's going to continue to be critically important, um, obviously, for, for not just uh, the economy of the overall state, but obviously the economy um, and livelihoods in all of the great rural communities that we have across the state. So um, I think what we've seen is, is farmers and businesses continue to look at ways to evolve that. Um, we've got some of the most fertile soil anywhere in the world. So growing crops like corn and soybeans is going to continue to be important. And we've got great organizations right here in the state that are helping make sure that we have a marketplace and, and new needs for those corn and soybean products as well, as well as the livestock industry. So, um, it, you know, if there's any industry that's evolved um, over the last several centuries, it's certainly been agriculture. And we know that that will continue to be um, the case, whether that's renewable fuels um, and new and innovative products that can come from those great crops that we grow here. Hang tight, Amanda. I want to touch on a new partnership that we've got coming up later this year and how Hawk fans can get involved. We'll have more with Amanda Reinhart, Iowa sales lead for Pioneer in a moment. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. You're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Oh, you know that old injury of yours, the one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapist will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. My name is Matt Ditch, and I'm an Iowa pig farmer. Iowa pig farmers like Matt and Melissa Ditch are committed to teaching their kids about doing the right things when it comes to pig care and protecting the environment. As they get older, we do start to have those conversations. Well, hey, Dad, why do we do this or why do we do that? And so they kind of get a firsthand lesson of why we do those things and why they're good for the environment and the pigs and us. Learn more at iowapork.org. We care about Iowa, too. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand, your sportswear of choice on Hawkeye Game Days and every day. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Windsor Windows and Doors are designed and manufactured to give you an inspired look for your next new construction or remodeling project. As your local Windsor distributor, Gilchrist Jewett is here to help you get the right fit for your style and performance needs. We offer the full line of Made in the USA Windsor Windows and Doors, including wood clad, cellular PVC, and vinyl products. To get your next project started, stop into Gilchrist Jewett at one of our locations in Waukee, Coralville, Altoona, Pella, or Marion. Leaders know there's no guide to greatness. When everyone else says something can't be done, they know it only hasn't been done yet. True leaders weather the fiercest storms and look deep within themselves to rise above and help others find their way forward. At Great Southern Bank, we're proud to partner with visionaries that help raise the tide for all of us. And when you're ready to bring your vision to life, we'll be right behind you with award-winning support. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Butter Mary's online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Welcome back to the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm your host, Michelle Altmeyer. And Pioneer is taking its commitment to supporting everyday heroes to new heights as the proud title sponsor of the upcoming Heroes game between the Iowa Hawkeyes and Nebraska Cornhuskers this fall. The 13th annual battle of the Big Ten Conference rivals is set to kick off on Black Friday in Lincoln. And we're joined once again 
by Amanda Reinhart, the Iowa sales lead for Pioneer. Amanda, we know that Pioneer has had a long-standing partnership with the Hawkeyes, and now you'll be more involved with the communities by sponsoring the Heroes game. We are so proud of our long-term partnership with Hawkeye Sports, but even more importantly, um, this fantastic Heroes game um, that the University of Iowa has been putting on for a couple of years. Um, we talked a lot about the importance of agriculture across the state of Iowa, and that doesn't just happen without amazing heroes in all of our communities across the state. So we, we just couldn't be more proud to partner with the Hawkeye football program on this great game. And why is it important for Pioneer to be involved with this game? This game is is really all about those heroes. It's about more than just a game um, and celebrating all of the positive impacts that folks are having in communities across our state. They're inspiring others, um, certainly, and we are certainly inspired by them. And we're just so fortunate to be a part of this great game, um, November 24th in Lincoln, and even more excited for it to come back to Iowa City next year. Amanda, if one of our Hawkeye fans listening has a hero in mind, how can they nominate them? We know you all have local heroes in your community. So HawkeyeSports.com slash heroes. Um, make sure you get those nominations in there soon. We know there are great people um, that we're all inspired by, and we'd love to recognize them. Well, we know every community has a hero. So listeners, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash hero to nominate someone in your community. And the deadline for submission is Sunday, October 1st. Well, thanks for joining us on the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day show, Amanda. And thank you to Pioneer for all your support of the Hawkeyes and the Hawkeye Radio Network. Thanks to, to all of the great farmers across the state um, who are busy harvesting right now. Um, stay safe and go Hawks. The 2023 Pioneer Heroes game will carry forward the rich tradition of honoring and celebrating local heroes who epitomize the mission of making a positive impact on their community and serving as an inspiration to others. From each state and team, one citizen hero will be carefully selected and given the spotlight at the Pioneer Heroes game in Lincoln. These exceptional individuals will receive the VIP treatment, including on-field recognition and the prestigious honor of having their names etched on the Heroes Trophy, awarded to the winning team of the annual showdown. Once again, log on to HawkeyeSports.com slash hero and nominate someone from your community by Sunday, October 1st. Thanks again to Pioneer. Hawkeye football is brought to you by University of Iowa Healthcare, who has the game plan for your same-day healthcare needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or minor injury, visit one of several UI quick care or urgent care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get back in the game. UI Healthcare is proud to sponsor your Iowa Hawkeyes. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand, the premium alternative label of choice. And you're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for Authentic Brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Your Life Iowa reminds you to think before you drink this football season. Hey, Brian, thanks for inviting us to your tailgate. The kids are pumped for the game. Glad you and Amy can make it. Grab a beer. Nah, I'm good. I'm Amy's designated driver. You sure? Yeah, I want to enjoy the game and get my family home safe. That's respectable, man. Well, help me flip these burgers then. Get free resources and learn the facts about alcohol use at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? Look no further than FSC. FS envisions seed corn and 
FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Your local FS crop specialist is ready to take your farm and yields to the next level. Ready to change the game with bin-busting yields at harvest? Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand. If your company's gear doesn't have the Authentic Brand label, you're missing out. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. In the Finkbine Golf Course Clubhouse is the place to go before Hawkeye football games. For just $35 per person, you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet that includes barbecue, upscale tailgate favorites, a carving station, and all the fixings in the friendly comfort of the modern clubhouse. A full bar, Bloody Marys, mimosas, and over 35 beers are available. Reservations made on Friday before 11 a.m. include free game day parking for one vehicle. Kinnick Stadium is a leisurely walk down Melrose Avenue, so make game day easy by parking and eating at Bumps. For reservations, call 319-335-9662. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Welcome back to the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm your host, Michelle Altmeyer, here in the Hawkeye Radio Network Studios in Iowa City. Hawkeye football today and all season long is brought to you by the Iowa Farm Bureau, who would like to remind you that America needs farmers. For a chance to win ANF Game Day tickets and on-field sideline access, check out americaneedsfarmers.org. Let's head out to State College and check in with John Swisher, who has a U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Swish, quite a few top 25 matchups this week. Yes, indeed, uh, Michelle. We start with the Big Ten. Two finals today, Wisconsin over uh, Purdue last night, and today it was number two, Michigan, 31-7. to seven. Third quarter scores going on right now. It is uh, Illinois beating Florida Atlantic 20-10, to 10, Nebraska topping Louisiana Tech 14-7, to seven, and Maryland over Michigan State 21-9. to nine. Other uh, 6.30 start times tonight, number six, Ohio State at number nine, Notre Dame, Indiana, entertains Akron and Minnesota is at Northwestern besides the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions of Penn State here in State College. We'll get a look at more scores right now. Time for a station ID break. Station ID across the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Couple finals in top 25 action today. Earlier, number four, Florida State beat Clemson 31 24. Number 16, Oklahoma, topping Cincinnati 20 to 6. Third quarter scores going all right round. Number 20, Miami over Temple 31 to 7. Alabama beating Ole Miss 17 to 10. It's Oregon 42. Colorado nothing. Duke shutting out UConn 34 to 0. Utah is beating UCLA 14 to nothing. Tennessee topping UTSA 31 to 0. Iowa State leading Oklahoma State 20 to 17 at Jack Tri Stadium at halftime. Bye weeks for you and I and Drake. America Rivers action today. All uh, finals except for one game. Wartburg leading Simpson 28 to 0 at halftime. Go beat up on Nebraska Wesleyan 56 to 6 and Central College over Luther College 41 to 6. Also, Dubuque beating Loris 35 to 23. We continue to get ready for the contest here. The Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions. Michelle, back to you in the Hawkeye Radio Network studios. Thanks, Swish, for that U.S. Bank scoreboard update. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. We're committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
Hawkeye fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 and quick rewards at any Quick Star location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packs throughout the season. Quick Star, proud partner of Hawkeye football. More of the authentic brand game day show continues after this with Rob Brooks and the Hawkeye Roundtable. And I'll talk to you next week from Krause Family Plaza for the Blackout Night game versus Michigan State. Order your blackout gear right now on Authentic-Brand.com. Authentic Brand, premium sportswear for game day and every day. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. This season when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW for details. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a thing that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go Hawks. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand. From game day looks to everyday wear, insist on the authentic brand label. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! This season, when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Stop in for more information or visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals on food from 3 to 6 p.m. And check out our After Dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday, featuring bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel knots, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters, and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career in a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. 
Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Back at Canick Stadium this year are Hawkeye Hydration Stations. Brought to you by our partners at Delta Dental of Iowa, Iowa Corn, and Pivot Bio. Located at multiple areas on the stadium concourse, Hawkeye fans are encouraged to bring their reusable bottles and fill up with fresh drinking water all season. When you visit one of the hydration stations, be sure to learn more about the important clean water initiatives of each of our partners. Delta Dental of Iowa, farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association, and Iowa Corn Promotion Board, along with Pivot Bio, care about the water we share. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Low rates and high yields from Spraytech Fertilizers. Yes, get low rates and high yields from Spraytech's Full Tech, the most complete adjuvant on the market. Full Tech offers burn control, better fixation on leaves, better homogenization in the tank mix, mixed drift control, better spreadability, and more. Full Tech is changing the way you treat your crops. Get higher yields and more money in your bank account with Full Tech from Spray Tech. Call 515 252 7777 for Full Tech details or visit spraytech.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Welcome back to Beaver Stadium as we count down to kickoff Iowa and Penn State for the 32nd time. Rob Brooks along with the play-by-play voice of the Nittany Lions, Steve Jones. And defensively, you talked about the takeaways. Is that um, really something that's coached, taught, and now the players are delivering? Well, you have two of the great defensive minds in the country going head-to-head in this one tonight. Phil Parker at Iowa and... Manny Diaz at Penn State, and this is the way Manny has always coached. That doesn't matter if he was the defensive coordinator at Louisiana Tech, the D.C. at Miami, head coach there, and then the D.C. here. He's been the same way. He wants to attack the entire time. Uh, he doesn't like it when he has to back off <laughs> and do something. You mean we have to play a prevent? No. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, yeah, it's something that is emphasized. It is taught. You, you know, They want them to be in attack mode the entire time. It pays off when you have Kalen King and Johnny Dixon as your corners, and then last year Joey Porter Jr., guys that can make it pay off. If you have corners that can play really well, then it allows you to do other things with the other nine players, and that's where it becomes intriguing. Is this team better than last year? To this point, it seems like they are. They're deeper. I mean, there's no doubt, Rob, they're a deeper football team. That's why when people ask me about, you know, where is Penn State right now? It's probably the deepest Penn State team since 2008 um, because they can go too deep across the board where you feel if they put somebody in, there's not a drop-off. And there are a couple spots that are three deep. So that's been the big difference. They're just a deeper football team now with more quality players across the board. Well, it's been an interesting, fun series, hasn't it? Uh, there have been uh, close victories by Iowa, close victories by Penn State, and uh, 
who knows might happen again tonight well it, absolutely because let's start with this Kirk and his staff have done such a great job over the years and they're so well coached they're really smart as to how they go about their business uh, Joe Paterno would have loved how Kirk Ferris continues to play football where he just says hey you know what we'll run the ball we'll mix in the pass we're going to play great defense we're going to have great special teams we'll play the chess game there may not be a better chess player in the country than Kirk Ferentz when it comes to this game and that's what makes it such a fun series between the two we know Iowa is a class organization that does a lot of things really really well and you know Penn State obviously feels the same way everybody around here feels that Penn State does a lot of things really well and tries to do them with as much class as possible and I think class makes a difference in a series should be a fun night Steve as always thanks very much Rob always great to see you Green State Credit Union is proud to support Kirk's Kids for the 2023 season. Participants in Big Brothers Big Sisters programs throughout Iowa attend a Hawkeye football home game, tour Kinnick Stadium, and receive team gear. With contributions totaling more than $3.7 million and staff volunteering over 3,100 hours to support local events and programs this year. Kirk's Kids is yet another way that Green State Community Credit Union is involved in your community. Hawk fans, don't forget to cheer for those Mershman Seeds quarterback sacks by the black and gold during tonight's game. A $150 donation to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital will be made for every Hawkeye sack by Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. We will have more of the Authentic Brand Game Day Show. It will continue after the break. Authentic Brand, if your company's gear doesn't have the Authentic Brand label, you're missing out. This is Iowa Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country, and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate farmers during the ANF game on October 21st. For more information and to win tickets to the game, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand, the preferred label of choice for game day looks and everyday styles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Game day with Hawkeye Village. Get game tickets, pregame extravaganza, all you can eat, drinks, and more. Perfect for groups or families. Limited availability. Call 800 424 2957 or email group sales at hawkeyesports.com. Join the Hawkeye excitement at Hawkeye Village. Get ready, Hawkeye fans. Hudson Southside Tap is your ultimate destination for Hawkeye game days. Swing by and savor our delicious House Bloody Marys for just $6. But that's not all. This year, we're proud to announce that Hudson's is the official host of the Hawkeye Radio Network postgame show, happening right after every home game. Share on the Hawkeyes while enjoying the fantastic atmosphere and great company at Hudson's. Find us conveniently located on Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Hudson Southside Tap, where Hawkeye spirit comes alive. Go Hawks! Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakville is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oakville.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. 
Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Welcome back to State College, where tonight Iowa and Penn State square off in Big Ten football. The Nittany Lions got out of the gate, at least in the conference last week, with a win at Illinois. This is Iowa's Big Ten opener. In a minute, we're going to hear from former Hawkeye running back Ray Tavian Banks. There's a hero in all of us. Pioneer is proud to partner with Iowa and Nebraska for the Pioneer Heroes game. Together, we want to recognize and celebrate local heroes who exemplify the goal of positively impacting the community and who stand as an inspiration to others. Therefore, if you have a family or a community member you'd like to recognize and nominate, please submit your local hero nomination at HawkeyeSports.com slash hero so we can celebrate the heroes in our community. He was nicknamed Big Money, in large part for his last name. 25 years ago, running back Tavian Banks' currency was scoring. Winding up a brilliant career, Banks found the end zone often, rushing for a school record of 33 touchdowns, which remains tied for the all-time best with his immediate predecessor, Cedric Shaw. Twice, Banks scored four touchdowns in a game, also a school high. His 314 rushing yards against Tulsa erased the previous mark of 286 set by my broadcast partner, Ed Podolak. Banks stayed home because of the affection he had for head coach Hayden Fry and the late Bobby Elliott, the assistant in charge of his recruitment. Banks was equally gifted in soccer and said oftentimes he'd see Coach Fry sitting in the stands watching his footwork. That impressed him. When he got to Iowa, Tavian Banks had to practice patience, biding his time behind the great Cedric Shaw, Iowa's all-time leading rusher and the only one to eclipse 4,000 yards able to get my opportunity to really like just play and stuff like that. Not that I wasn't getting the opportunities before because, you know, like Cedric got hurt a couple of times and stuff and I was able mm-hmm. to win. And back then, you know, it was kind of like a one back, you know, system and stuff like that. Uh, we definitely could, you know, like my junior year, we kind of like started doing a little bit more um, stuff, you know, when Cedric was a senior and stuff. But obviously when I, when I became a senior, I, I, I got a bigger opportunity to really shine and stuff. Uh, but again, going back to the Tulsa game, it was just, you know, it was a great day. Um, we had a great team, too. Um, a lot of great offensive linemen and also that went on to the league. Um, but just, you know, a lot of great wide receivers we had with Tim and, you know, Damon Gibson and Shark Carter and Rich Willock, all these guys. They, they were also, like, blocking downfield and stuff all the time. Um, so it was just, you know, like, great team chemistry that we had all the time, too. 33 career touchdowns for Tavian Banks. Uh, he, he knew where the end zone, where the goal line was. All these guys, they're really great. Um, just, just again, like we, you know, uh, just, just to be around and stuff like that sure. too. And all of us, you know, obviously you know, when you're growing up in, in, in college and stuff like that, you're, you're together for, you know, a good four or four and a half, five years, you know, um, doing all, all the things and, and being part of each other's lives all the time too. So we all kind of like grew up, you know, a little bit there too, you know, in our young adulthoods and stuff too. So, uh, it, it's always just great to see and, you know, a lot of these guys, too, we're still friends and, you know, like we talk to each other on, um, you know, everybody's got social media type of things now. And or we, you know, we got text threads going and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier to contact with with a lot of our guys, too. So, um, again, just always great memories of, you know, offense line and just the whole team and stuff like that, too, that we, we, we always cherish, you know, as we get older here. <laughs> and I remember uh, in the recruiting process, you were you might has been been as good a soccer player uh, as there was in the state and certainly uh, would rival your football talents and i bring that up because uh, you look at how soccer has exploded in iowa high schools now uh, i mean you, you must be really impressed oh yeah I'm, I, I'm always a big soccer advocate um i mean i tell people all the time you know like if if you know all, all kids play soccer when they're young we just you know in america we just can't keep our best athletes playing soccer um but <laughs> but hopefully that's going to change more and more here um you know because uh you know a lot of people are worried about concussions and all that type of stuff so 
um, a lot of people are choosing to do other sports and stuff. So hopefully, you know, like we'll keep rising here in America and just having more of our better athletes keep continuing to play soccer. But again, like going back to soccer is just, you know, I, I was a better football player because of the things I learned in soccer. Um, the balance and the coordination and, and the vision and a lot of those things came from soccer. You know, um, again, like uh, people wouldn't know or, or some might, but um, when I was I was younger, I was a hyper a hyperactive kid. And the, one of the things that calmed me down, I would say, was was soccer because I had to run all the time. So my mom put me in two different soccer leagues when I was little. Um, so I would have soccer practice just about every day, you know, during the week. And then I would have two games on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so, what a uh, what a way to keep your blood pressure down, huh? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> little little kid. You know, I was like four, you know, five or whatever the case may be. But I mean, that's that's nothing to these kids nowadays. But back then, I mean, that was that was a lot to do and stuff like that. But uh, again, um, soccer, a big advocate for it. Just the the vision, the the footwork, um, the coordination, the conditioning, all the things that come from soccer. You know, really made me a better football player you know um because i didn't really didn't even play you know back then they, they didn't have all this the this, this stuff they start early nowadays i mean you start playing flag football in kindergarten and stuff like that. I, I didn't start playing flag until like later i, I think it might have been fifth grade or something like sixth grade almost um and then you know tackle football didn't start back then until like seventh grade you know um so again um soccer was the, the the going and the driving force um behind a lot of the athleticism and things like that that i that i had earlier on banks credits offensive linemen like mike goff jeremy mckinney matt reichel and chad deal plus tight ends zaron flemster and austin wheatley along with fullback michael berger for creating creases that he could flash through in the blink of an eye the Hawks hope to run the football like Tavian Banks did uh, tonight against the Penn State Nittany Lions, and that's a tall order. Penn State, one of the very best defenses, top five ranked in most categories defensively in college football through the first month of the season. Want a behind-the-scenes experience of tonight's game? Join us on our special Behind the Mic broadcast. This unique second-screen experience shows Ed Podolak and me, Gary Dolphin, calling all of the action. Our broadcast is live right now on the official I. Iowa Hawkeyes YouTube channel. This has been the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Ed Podolak and I are back in a minute with the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Hello, Hawkeye fans. This is Bruce Gerleman, and I own Jethro's Barbecue. Have you heard the news? It's really big news. Jethro's Barbecue is now open in Coralville. That's right, across from the Hawkeye Softball Diamonds on the Coralville Strip. Jethro's is your game day headquarters. Call ahead and order your tailgate barbecue from Jethro's. Before the game, during the game, after the game, stop in Jethro's and eat my amazing slow-smoked wings and my world-famous baby back ribs. Bump's Restaurant in the Finkbine Golf Course Clubhouse is the place to go before Hawkeye football games. For just $35 per person, you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet that includes barbecue, upscale tailgate favorites, a carving station, and all the fixings in the friendly comfort of the modern clubhouse. A full bar, Bloody Mary's, mimosas, and over 35 beers are available. Reservations made on Friday before 11 a.m. include free game day parking for one vehicle. Kinnick Stadium is a leisurely walk down Melrose Avenue, so make game day easy by parking and eating at Bump's. For reservations, call 319-335-9662. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. 
Agriculture works here. Schneider Graphics is a family-owned company providing full vinyl graphic services for over 30 years. We proudly provide vehicle wraps, fleet graphics, wall murals, signs, banners, and more using quality 3M products. Large or small, Schneider Graphics can help you with your next project from design to installation. As a proud partner of the University of Iowa, you can see our work on game day on the Hawkeye team bus and the gates and sidewalks of Knick Stadium. Schneider Graphics, located in Des Moines, service throughout Iowa. Hawkeye football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. There's no THC cap on Iowa medical cannabis. And getting a card is fast and easy, entirely online. Get your med card today. Visit BudMary.com. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also by Bud and Mary's, medical cannabis farmed and formulated in Iowa. Iowa Farm Bureau, who would like to remind you to support America's farmers. Check out americaneedsfarmers.org. And by SeatGeek, official ticket marketplace of the Iowa Hawkeyes. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. It's the first day of fall, and here comes Big Ten football with fall-like conditions at Beaver Stadium in State College, Pennsylvania. Good afternoon. Soon to be good evening, everybody. Gary Dauphin with uh, my partner, Former Hawkeye uh, great and Kansas City Chief Hall of Famer Ed Podolak. In about an hour or so, there'll be 106,000 fannies uh, in this stadium, and uh, they could be getting wet on whiteout night as they're waving the towels. In 2009, it was a steady rain, and those towels must have weighed 100 pounds by the end of the game, but the Hawkeyes rallied for a win uh, that evening, and man, would we like to see that. Again, right now we have very fall-like conditions on this first day of autumn. 55 degrees, feels like 52, and the mist is starting to uh, trickle down from the heavens. Uh, But, uh, buddy boy, even with the remnants of Hurricane Ophelia backing up counterclockwise from the East Coast, which is just down the road, uh, this is what it's all about come uh, nearly October. Well, yeah, it does feel like October. Um, It is chilly in this stadium now everybody's wearing white and i'm telling you that's quite a look when it happens they're all just kind of wandering in now it kind of looks like china during the pandemic or something because everybody's in white and coming in here and getting ready to to growl like that lion um i had a nice chat with jack ham who is my contemporary over on their network, a great, great all-pro linebacker that I played against in the NFL, and he's one of the most famous Penn State players. He is really proud of his team. He thinks this could be one of their best teams uh, in a number of years. we got two great defenses uh, here tonight, Ed. What else is new? Penn State gives up 11.5 points a game. The Hawks are just a, a notch above 12 points uh, allowed through each of them through three victories. So it starts with defense and special teams. They both have great punters. Torrey Taylor uh, and uh, the Penn State punter attended the same school, come from Melbourne. Both come from Melbourne, uh, Australia. And uh, Riley Thompson is his name. He transferred in here in the offseason from Florida Atlantic. So it's a battle of field position with these defenses. Yeah, no question about it. And the win's going to be a part of the factor that d- determines this game tonight and getting started at 7 30 eastern time it can get dark and ugly (laughs) before we get to the fourth quarter the hawks are lacking uh, a little depth this week of course by now everybody knows uh, they're going to have to play without uh, their best uh, tight end luke lachey the all big tenor 10 catches for 135 yards uh, broke a bone in the lower extremity of a leg last week. He's had surgery. He may be done for the rest of the year. We hope he can get back. Uh, and then uh, it, they're thin at running back, losing two of their top three in the last week or so with, uh, again, a lower uh, extremity ankle sprains or injuries, uh, most notably Caleb Johnson 
and then Jazz Patterson, who emerged in the Iowa State victory. So it comes down to uh, the one healthy veteran, uh, LaShawn Williams, who galloped for 145 yards a week ago. He was worth uh, nearly 200 yards of total offense. And those two young freshmen, Kamari Moulton, he had 50 yards rushing and two scores. And uh, Terrell Washington, Jr., they may see action tonight. Well, <laughs> this would be a tough place to see your first action as a college freshman because it is so loud in here and these players Penn State are so disciplined and so good they played good defense for many years but as coach Ferentz was talking with us they kind of recruited a different style of, of players on the outside they're more linear they're they're uh, they're pass rushers edge people are much more active than they normally have been. Well, the good news is Cade McNamara and Eric All, the new number one tight end, uh, both have played here together in a different colored uniform mm -hmm. with the Michigan Wolverines. So there shouldn't be any butterflies with Cade and uh, with Eric All. For Penn State, uh, the fabulous young sophomore Drew Aller, all six, five of them, 245 pounds. He can run and throw. Heralded high school recruit. He's 59 for 88. That's 67 percent with four touchdowns and no interceptions. Penn State is plus seven in turnovers. They've yet to turn it over this season. Yeah, that's uh, really something. The Hawkeyes having uh, being zero with uh, three giveaways and three takeaways. But uh, Penn State uh, has a defense that uh, Jack Hadden went on and on about. He said especially the defensive secondary. Two great secondaries on display here tonight. Uh, they have uh, a number of outstanding players. Of course, Iowa has Cooper DeGene, Schulte, Xavier Wampa, Jamari Harris back for his second full game. It all unfolds here in about an hour and a half. Ed's working on his keys to the game. He'll be back shortly. Right now, we trip back down memory lane with our Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf. The resort just south of Iowa City in Riverside. Stop by today for a relaxing massage at the spa, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, located just minutes south of Iowa City. Uh, many great memories uh, for Iowa football uh, in this uh, old amphitheater, uh, originally uh, constructed uh, back in the 19. 20s and 30s held 60,000 people. It'll hold 106,000 tonight after a number of renovations and additions. October 19, 1996, Penn State led the Hawkeyes 7 0 on a 48 degree rainy fall day when the great uh, and record setting punt returner Tim Dwight fielded a Nittany Lion punt near his own 15 yard line. The Hall of Famer Bob Brooks takes it from there. Here's the kick. High, wobbly, some good hang time. Tim Dwight gets a, a bit of a uh, move, goes to the far side, 35, 40, might go all the way. White is sprinting down the sideline. He is going. He is gone. Touchdown, Tim Dwight. Uh, that's great to hear, Brooks. See, the Hawks got uh, scores from Tavian Banks, whom you heard just a moment ago, 116 rushing yards and a touchdown, and a halfback option throw, Rob Tyne to Demo Odoms, and the Hawks escape Happy Valley with a 21-20 win. Then three years ago, with nobody in here because of COVID, November 21st, 2020, the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, Davion Nixon, put the finishing touches on an Iowa 41-21 victory. Now check that, Keziah Holmes standing next to Clifford. Back to pass. Picked off. Intercepted. And lumbering the other way is Davion Nixon. 40. you got to see this to believe it. He's going to score a touchdown. He's going to score a touchdown. What athleticism. Davion Nixon picks off Sean Clifford. And Davion Nixon, how about the moves he put on Sean Clifford? Angled near the Iowa sideline. Circled back to the center of the field. And then rotated back to the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Nixon. <laughs> Unbelievable. 305 pounds, 71 yards, 71 yards. Stand up Kenosha and take a bow. Davion Nixon has put a stamp on this one.
the European crossover step by Davion Nixon. So the Hawks have had some recent success here, and hopefully more tonight. Uh, that is our Hawkeye historical winning moment, courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. You know, when it comes to your seed corn partner, you've got a choice. At Wiffles Hybrids, we've made a choice, too, a choice to remain independent, a choice to remain farm family-owned. A choice to stay American. Make a statement, plant your independence, and plant Wiffles. Up next, our visit with new interim Iowa Athletic Director Beth Getz. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. This season, when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW for details. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. How would you like to be able to listen to the Hawkeye Radio Network while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. That's SyncMyGame.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, You'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. Right now, you are not at Historic Kinnick Stadium, but you could be. You're not cheering with 70,000 Hawkeye fans or high-fiving strangers after a pick six, but you could be. With kickoff to Kinnick from the Iowa Lottery, you could win a dream experience. Two seats for an Ironman suite, food, fun, and football like never before, or win tickets to any Iowa home game. Play the Hawkeye Scratch ticket and enter and see details at ialottery.com slash VIP to win. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It's a soggy afternoon and soon to be evening in the Alleghenies, Iowa Penn State football from State College coming up shortly. Uh, Iowa's interim athletic director, Beth Getz, has her bumber shoot and her mittens ready to go and enjoy this game. Uh, she's been out attending the Hawkeye huddle uh, prior to uh, kickoff. Beth's interview each and every week is sponsored by the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments from volleyball to wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission, a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. NIL, name, image, likeness. It's a little over a year old and it's settling in. What lies ahead for name, image, likeness? At a recent congressional hearing, there was talk of adding insurance and mental health components down the road. A major concern remains uniformity in governance from state to state. Iowa's interim athletic director, Beth Getz, is paying close attention. Yeah, you know, I think we're all uh, feel like this. The steps that have been taken over the last year are positive ones, and and we're um, happy that we are now able to watch our young men and women receive some compensation in that area. Um, but there's more work to do, to do, and in the format it's currently in, and and across the landscape, not only in NIL but just in uh, some other court cases that are out there. There's there's a lot to be decided about how that looks in the future. Um, you know what, uh, how revenue might be looked at. 
that differently? Um, and can we find some consistency in the rules that are being applied to NIL? And, and I think that's some of the things that you heard from Gene Smith and some other leaders in our uh, industry um, this week. Judging from some of the uh, congressional comments, uh, uh, representatives uh, feel they, they would just soon uh, the politics stay out of it, Congress stays out of it, and the NCAA rules itself. And I think all of us um, would have been uh, happy if that was if there's a path there. And it, it doesn't mean that we're not going to continue to to try to determine that. But I think the challenge right now is you've got different state laws, right? And so does the NCAA in its current structure have the ability to enforce um, one rule that applies um, across its membership, which you know obviously are across different states? And so um, that's one of the pressure points um, is trying to find some consistency because hey, you and I. Have I think I've talked about this before, right? But whether you're talking about Little League Baseball or NFL um, or college athletics, um, it's not that everyone's going to have equitable resources, but we all need to play by the same rules. Um, and so that's, I think, a little bit of what we're looking for in that area and also the ability to provide some transparency and protections for student athletes because you are starting to see that sometimes a third party comes in who doesn't have the best interest of that uh, young man or young woman at, at heart. And, um, you know, we, we don't want to see we don't want to see that happen. Well, let's move on to something brighter and <laughs> more enjoyable to talk about. Uh, number one ranked field hockey, a big victory last night. Uh, two goals, one well into the second half, but two second half goals by Miranda Jackson and Alex uh, Wisniewski and the Hawks shut out uh, Michigan, allowing only three shots on goal, if I read the numbers right this morning. So big road victory to start the conference. Oh, it is. And, you know, the Big Ten, starting off the Big Ten season like that, and then having to go on the road at Michigan, which uh, is, is always a tough tough one. Coach Salucci will tell you, but um, really good momentum. And, and you know, that, that team is solid all the way around. So, they you know, they're defensively strong, and, and they've figured out how to, to score some goals as well. And so it, it makes it a tough matchup for other institutions. But I I know they, uh, you know, just in connecting with 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 coach after the game, and she, you know, is really excited to start off the the Big Ten season like that, and already on to the next one. So enjoy the victory and, and move on to what's next. Yeah, and that'll be a home meet coming up at Grant Field uh, later this week. Uh, I was thinking this morning, you know, we're turning the page on September, heading into October. Basketballs are going to be bouncing a lot at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Guys are going to be thrown all over the wrestling mat. The leaves are changing. It's that time of the year. How great is it too when everybody starts going at once and um, it just you know the it starts in the fall when they're, when they're coming back and football camp starts and you can just feel the enthusiasm but then once you've got all of them running around and starting to put on uniforms and you've got exhibition games we've got some exciting ones of those coming up and um, yeah it's just you know it's a fun time of year and they're they're all moving and so when you're in and out of any building right now in the left in athletics you're going to see everybody getting to work and, and excited about what's to come. My apologies, Clarissa Chun. Uh, women's wrestling also debuts this year. I know you're excited about that. What, what a great thing for Iowa to be, uh, you know, at the forefront of that, given their history, um, you know, in supporting women's sports. But you know, also what wrestling means in the state of Iowa. We were the right school to do it. Um, we got the right coach in place, and um, you know, the, the young women have been on. Many of them have been on campus now for a year, um, practicing and and uh, you know, competing on their own. But uh, to get to do it now with the official um, you know, Hawkeye logo on their chest. They're they're going to be uh, they're just going to be a thrill for all of us to to get to know and watch. Your first trip to Mount Nittany uh, in the Poconos here to watch uh, Iowa Penn State uh, kick off the Big Ten season tonight. Exciting times all the way around. It, uh, it doesn't get any better than this and the opportunity to do it on this stage and and at a whiteout. And you know, I've been with a few other institutions over my career, um, but never to uh, never as part of a whiteout uh, game. So um, you know, it, it's meaningful. This is something these young men are going to be talking about for a long time, and it's great for uh, them from an experience standpoint, and, and just awesome to our fans. Which, by the way, um, what an amazing group we've seen in and around here at State College. And so, uh, no no better fans in the country. They followed us out here and uh, just uh, know how fortunate we are to get to go in and, and battle as a, as a group tonight. Thank you, Beth Getz. Sponsored each and every pregame by the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. I'm with her. Hopefully, 
there will be a repeat uh, of a Hawkeye victory. The last time, the only other time Iowa's played in the whiteout was back in 2009, and Iowa got out of town with a victory 21-10 over the Nittany Lions thanks to Adrian Claiborne's block punt and return for a touchdown. Many of you remember that. Penn State was ranked fifth at the time. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Every year, corn growers have a choice to make, and that choice is like a stake in the ground. One that says staying independent, staying family-owned means something on your farm. So plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. In just a minute, we'll hear from Penn State head coach James Franklin. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Hey, Hawkeyes, this is Coach Kirk Ferentz. We work hard all year long to have the best season possible, just like Iowa's corn farmers do. At the University of Iowa, we celebrate our student athletes as well as our state's corn farmers. For all of us, it's the same. When you put in the hard work and give it your all, great things happen. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown, unleaded 88. Let's go, Hawks. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. And be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Welcome back to State College. Uh, rain forecast off and on for the game uh, tonight. Temperatures uh, in the uh, low 50s at, at this point. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-sweet hotels. Stay where we stay. The Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton, each offering guest spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you next visit Hawkeye Country. Penn State was opportunistic in last week's conference opening win at Illinois. The Nittany Lion defense intercepted four passes and recovered a fumble, resulting in 13 points 
en route to a 30-13 victory over the Illini. Head coach James Franklin cautions, while that may not be a lot of markers off five takeaways, remember, quarterback Drew Allers started his first Big Ten game on the road, while talented sophomore running backs Catron Allen and Nicholas Singleton are improving and getting more comfortable with their roles. With just two rushing plays for more than 20 yards in three games, Franklin feels the explosive plays will come in time. We got to consistently um, show people that we can throw the ball over their heads, um, because right now there's there's no doubt about it. Although I think Drew has shown what he's able to do and what he's capable of, um, I still think people you know, are going to say to themselves, "We we can't allow Katron." You know, Katron and Nick to beat us. You know, I think that's the approach you got to take based on just more evidence of that. So, based on that, people are game planning and saying, what do we have to do in every formation and in every personnel group to have the numbers to give us the advantage? And then once we prove on a consistent basis that if you're going to do that, that we can take advantage of it um, by throwing for a high percentage, uh, by making people miss and creating explosives on the perimeter. Franklin says it's been grind out versus explosive plays so far, but the challenge of exciting chunk yardage runs or deep throws remain in the playbook. Penn State has not turned the ball over as well in this young season. Unlike the defense, where Penn State is plus seven in takeaways with ten sacks, mostly off blitzes, and the Hawkeyes know the Nittany Lions will be sending linebackers and safeties regularly toward the Iowa backfield. Up front, their three best linemen, Chop Robinson, Adisa Isaac, and Donnie Dennis Sutton, have a half a sack between them. Franklin responds, we're playing really good team defense. You know, typically what happens is the five turnovers most of them are a result of quarterbacks getting the ball out of your hands quicker um typically you're going to have one or the other you're going to have sacks or turnovers um again no different than the questions about the running game and things like that um i think our defense understands and respects uh, and I know our DBs respect the fact that, that most of those turnovers came out of a result of pressuring the quarterback. So, uh, again, for us, it's about what do we have to do to win games. And sometimes that's going to equate to gaudy statistics at one position or another. We'll come in, we'll come in another week and you guys are saying, well, we had six sacks, but we didn't have any interceptions. Why not? Again, these, these things usually um, are complementary pieces, if that makes sense. Franklin isn't concerned about his defense, nor should he be. Penn State is allowing 11 points a game and four and a half yards per play, including three per rush. Franklin could argue Iowa has been the best in the West, especially when facing his team. Since joining the Big Ten a little over 30 years ago, the Lions and Hawkeyes have split 22 meetings. Kirk Ferentz's record against the Blue and White is 10-8. and eight. Penn State leads the overall series, 17 wins to 14. Franklin adds it's almost like playing on the road when you face Iowa because of the consistency with which they play. The Hawkeyes are who they are. And they take tremendous pride in their identity and doing it well. So you know what you're going to get from them. And, and again, I mean that as a, like a major compliment. They're going to have wrinkles that are going to cause you challenges. Um, every year, but but they do what they do and they do it well and it aligns with their identity. So, you know, I, I don't think it takes very long to get accustomed to who they are and their style of football. I, I think there's there's enough film and evidence out there for our coordinators uh, as well as the rest of our staff. Like Penn State, Franklin says Iowa's philosophy is do a lot of self-scouting in and out of season, grow and get better, provide tweaks in the off season where needed. Those things have to align with your culture and they have to align with your identity 
and what you're trying to do because I think what happens is sometimes people say, okay, we need to make these changes, but they don't align with your culture and they don't align with your identity and now, and now you have problems. Um, the, the bullets don't match. You know, you can't connect the dots and, and it, it seems inconsistent to the players and, um, and that's, that's where I think you can, you can have some real challenges and, and problems. So I think that's really starts with, you know, two things and that's hiring and recruiting, making sure that you're hiring the right people in the building and recruiting the right people into the locker room. Um, and that you're transparent with them on what they're signing up for. And what you're signing up for are nights like this, Big Ten traditions like Whiteout and Happy Valley, or Back and Blackout next Saturday when Michigan State comes calling to Kinnick. Thanks to Penn State head coach James Franklin. Please join us now in welcoming today's University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital kid captain, Gabby Ford. At 10 years old, a scan showed a buildup of fluid and a mass in the middle of Gabby's brain. Despite multiple surgeries and chemotherapy, the tumor was relentless. But thankfully, her oncology and pharmacy team at Iowa helped secure a new investigational drug therapy, which has decreased the tumor's size. Congratulations, Gabby Ford. Keep fighting. This week's UI Stead Family Children's Hospital, Kid Captain Gabby Ford. Up next, the University of Iowa Sports Medicine Injury Update with Rob Brooks. You're listening to the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle, and this is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate farmers during the ANF game on October 21st. For more information and to win tickets to the game, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restriction supply. See store for details. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the eastern Iowa airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com or call 877-751-5111. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence, plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. This season when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Stop in for more information or visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals on food from 3 to 6 p.m. And check out our After Dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday featuring bar food specials including bird dogs, pretzel nuts, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. When you're out of town and want to keep up with the Hawkeyes and other college sports, be sure to download the new Varsity Network app. Available for both Apple and Android. Listen to college sports live with the Varsity Network app.
Welcome to the Iowa sideline as we get set for the Nittany Lions and the Iowa Hawkeyes. This is Rob Brooks, and we are going to get to the University of Iowa Sports Medicine injury update. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Brian Wolf uh, is currently in the locker room, so we'll just um, go through the uh, key players for the Hawkeyes that uh, unfortunately will be out today. Uh, Widely known this week that a couple of running backs will not play. Caleb Johnson, who missed uh, last week, uh, will also miss tonight. Jazz Patterson, who did play a little bit last week, uh, was injured and then came back, ran the ball a couple of times, couldn't go late in the game, and will miss this week. Hopefully it'll be just... Um, a week-to-week -week situation. And uh, the unfortunate one last week, uh, tight end Luke Lachey, who has caught 10 passes for 131 yards so far this year, uh, injured a uh, lower leg in the first half last week and um, probably will miss the season, had surgery earlier this week. Uh, just one notable, uh, questionable player for Penn State, uh, wide receiver Harrison Wallace is listed in that category. He has caught 10 passes for 98 yards. That's a look at the University of Iowa Sports Medicine Injury Update. Now it's time for the field conditions report, and it is brought to you by your Iowa Kubota dealers, like whip sales and service in Clarinda. Well, for the second time this year, the Hawkeyes will play on natural grass. And, of course, Iowa's had success on natural grass surfaces as they have won six. Their last six games on grass, of course, uh, at Iowa State a couple of weeks ago, 20 to 13. And you know, Penn State does a tremendous job, takes great care of their turf. And they actually have a turf grass science major as part of their College of Agricultural Science and have uh, many interns come over from that school to help out. And um, the field is um, a little bit damp right now, but thankfully uh, it isn't raining right now, has it for the last couple of hours. They had it covered till about 3.30 this afternoon and then uh, got as much access water off of it as possible, but certainly will be wet playing surface if um, the forecast holds and the rain will come. So that is a look at the natural grass here at Beaver Stadium. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do, and we have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Whip Sales and Service for all of your equipment needs. To experience the power of Kubota, visit Whip Sales and Service in Clorinda. Before we head back upstairs, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Iowa Hawkeye football. And we will be back in the press box as up next, Gary Dolphin chats with Hawkeye head coach Kirk Ferentz. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle, and this is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, Ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. Kubota tractors offer ultimate versatility with the quality and reliability you need to do the job right. Stop by and get the number one selling tractor brand in the Midwest for a great price. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months. Now through September 30th, 2023. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Check out Kubota's winning lineup. Visit KubotaUSA.com to find your local dealer. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. In the game with Hawk Talk. Join Coach Kirk Ferentz and host Gary Dolphin for 90 minutes of Iowa football talk. Wednesday, 6.30 to 8 Central. Listen live on the Hawkeye Radio Network and Iowa Hawkeyes YouTube channel. Presented by View Rooftop. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hot moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Buttonaries online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Welcome back to Beaver Stadium at State College, where this evening uh, between rain showers, the Hawkeyes, ranked number 22, face the hosts, 7th ranked. Penn State. Penn State leading the Big Ten at 43 and a half points a game through three victories. Iowa's defense, one of just five uh, across the country to not allow a rushing touchdown. The Hawks will be without their leading pass catcher. That would be junior tight end Luke Lachey as a team high 10 grabs on the season for 131 yards, but was sidelined in the first half last week of the Western Michigan game, then underwent surgery. He will be out for a significant period. Iowa's also without their top two of their top three running backs, Caleb Johnson and Jazz Patterson, both sidelined with ankle or lower leg injuries. Despite those setbacks, Iowa coach Kirk Ferentz is pleased to be 3-0. and you know, really, each game was a different circumstance, different story, and um, that, that those are good things. Though, you know, so our guys had to come come back with some, you know, different responses. And uh, last week we fell behind to the credit of Western Michigan; they came in ready to play. And uh, you know, it was, I think it was a good experience for us too. So, all that being said, outside of a couple unfortunate injuries, uh, just really pleased with the development of our team thus far. And, and we're going to be, you know, we're still going to be on the development path here for a while. It will level off at some point, never, never totally, but, um, you know, it's, it's all good. And, you know, this is a, another test, obviously, being on the road and playing one of the top teams in the country. But that's, that's going to be a good measuring stick. I think our guys are eager to take it on. You know, when you look at the tight end room, uh, you're, you're still pretty deep in terms of uh, talent uh, and numbers. Uh, and thankfully, the depth and the experience uh, is where it is. I know Eric all moves into that number one slot, but you're you're pretty good at the rest of the room. Yeah, we had two really talented players with Luke and, and Eric, and uh, now you know that the number gets cut in half. But uh, you think about uh, Addison Estrangu come on has been coming on. We've been really pleased with what we saw of him, and I thought Steve Stilianos was one of our more improved guys last spring, and did a good job last week as well. So those two guys, um, you know, kind of add to the mix and. Johnny Piscuzzi stumped, stepped in there and did a nice job. So we're, we're not going to alter things a whole lot uh, with that group. Uh, we'll be careful how we how we uh, use our reps, that type of thing. But, um, you know, just we'll, we'll keep playing. We'll keep going, keep moving, and uh, I think the guys will do a good job. Kirk, how, how encouraging was it last week for both LaShawn Williams and the offensive line to be able to run the ball effectively uh, as, as you did? Uh, uh, it's got to be a great boost uh, coming into the Big Ten season. It is. It's uh, interesting. LaShawn was cramping a little bit, especially week one and then a little bit last week, too. But, uh, yeah, he ran last week the way we expected to see him run, and uh, good to see him getting on track. And then the two young kids have done a really nice job. Um, and it's kind of interesting. You know, we came here, uh, whatever, 13, 14 years ago with a young guy named Adam Robinson. Sometimes being young, you don't know enough to maybe be scared. Uh, so that's okay. And uh, that's how both those young guys run. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be okay. We'll, those guys will do a good job. And, uh, again, we'll try to be smart how we rep all those guys. But uh, LaShawn is definitely our, our go-to guy right now and our most veteran guy. 
Speaking of offense, Penn State is number one in scoring offense uh, in the Big Ten, 43 and a half points a game. Uh, they rode roughshod uh, pretty much through uh, their non-conference season at 3-0 and and beat Illinois in their Big Ten opener last Friday night. Uh, w- what major obstacles, in your view, does the Iowa f- uh, defense face tonight? Yeah, I mean, a couple of things. And it's kind of Penn State in general. They're, they're, you know, they always look really good. They look great on the uh, on the field in person. Uh, it's been, you know, forever. And I grew up in this part of the country, so I've been, you know, watching this program for 50 plus years. Uh, but I think the impressive thing right now is that, you know, where they did lose key guys, you think about a quarterback who played a lot of reps and did a great job for him, uh, backing up, I think, with the Packers now. Uh, and where I'm going on this, the guys who stepped in for the guys that left, uh, you know, look as good, if not better, than the guys that left. So, uh, just it's a credit to the recruiting they've recruited well here. Uh, we see, saw this quarterback a year ago step in in that opening game against Purdue and do a really nice job, uh, opening game of the year. So he, he's a really good football player. Uh, they, they have the ability and they do uh, call plays to, to be balanced. They're, they're good enough to run the football. They get two really good backs, veteran line, two very good tight ends, and big physical guys, and then. Uh, good receiver core so they can throw it to and you know you're just gonna have to play great team defense to try to neutralize that and hope they make a mistake uh, defensively nothing new they're big they're athletic uh, they can run and you know they're gonna bring multiple blitz packages at you they're plus seven in turnovers yeah they're aggressive uh, and I think that's probably the biggest change I've seen over the years with Penn State defensively is they're uh, seem to be recruiting a, a different type player right now outside of their inside guys. They're, you know, most of their guys are linear looking guys, the outside linebackers, the defensive ends, uh, very linear looking guys. They're very athletic, very twitchy. Uh, so they're playing a little different style than they may have, you know, previously, but uh, it's still equally as effective and they've been really dominant thus far. So they're, they're doing a good job there. And, you know, again, another challenge for our team. Coach, uh, let's conclude with special teams. Two weeks in a row now, uh, the Hawks have excelled in the block field goal, block punt. Uh, Torrey Taylor's leg in the punt coverage has been uh, spectacular. Uh, you know better than the rest of this how special teams uh, has affected this series. Yeah, well, I mean, we come in as an underdog here, and uh, that's usually it's kind of like a bowl game. We're usually the dog. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a big part. It always is. It was big for us 25 years ago on that first one we had up here in 2000. Jason Baker was the player of the game. And, you know, again, just talking about their football team, they, they normally have NFL kickers and punters. Uh, their guys are good this year, but I, I don't see it being this level. I'm probably putting the curse of death on us here. At over, you know, their guy will average 50 yards a punt tonight. But, um, you know, that, that's one thing that's a little different. They normally have had some guys that are just, you know, can skyrocket the ball. So hopefully we'll get an edge there. We're going to have to work for it, and that's, that's certainly big on our, our list of things to do. Penn State senior punter Riley Thompson, who transferred uh, in from Florida Atlantic, is averaging almost 46 yards a punt. Thompson, like our Tory Taylor, is on the Ray Guy Award watch list. Both are from Melbourne, Australia, and both attended the same school and are good friends. Senex is proud to celebrate University of Iowa football. Fuel your fandom with your favorite snacks from your local Senex station, Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. Everyday style is easy with favorite looks for family fun and saving a ton. Whether you're savoring the last moments of summer or gearing up for school and all things fall, we have you covered. Shop Coles and Coles.com today. Eddie Podolak is up next with his club car wash keys to the game. The Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle rolls on after this important word. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Your Life Iowa reminds you to think before you drink this football season. Hey, Brian, thanks for inviting us to your tailgate. The kids are pumped for the game. Glad you and Amy can make it. Grab a beer. Nah, I'm good. I'm Amy's designated driver. You sure? Yeah, I want to enjoy the game and get my family home safe. That's respectable, man. Well, help me flip these burgers then. Get free resources and learn the facts about alcohol use at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Can you think of anything that costs the same today as it did 10 years ago? There isn't much. That is, unless you're a mid-American energy customer. Thanks to all the renewable energy we're generating, our customers pay nearly the same rate for electricity today as they did back when we were all singing, Call me maybe. And with mid-American making even more investments in clean energy, you can count on enjoying those same affordable rates for the next decade. Now that's obsessively, relentlessly at your service. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. 
opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products, educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump, finding new uses for corn, and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more to keep corn growing Iowa. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment, committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care, and service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment, knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence, plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career in a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. Heading for a 640 kickoff here from State College. Big Ten opener for Iowa. Penn State beat Illinois last week. And welcome back to our pregame coverage here on the Whipples Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Time for Eddie Podolak's keys to the game presented by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Club car wash with unlimited memberships starting at just $20 a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Buddy boy, that's going to be hard to do tonight. It's, it's white everywhere. Yeah, it is total white, 106,000 people, and they are right down on the field here, too. The way this cantilevers, it becomes one of the loudest stadiums in the Big Ten. Now, you hear this, coaches preach it all the time, no turnovers, no penalties. Now, the Hawkeyes have got to be special in those two areas tonight. They have been special in the penalty side with no penalties this year. But they have had three turnovers, which can't happen tonight. These are the kind of games that uh, that's the death knell. So you have to be very smart with the football. Now, it's going to be so noisy here that on offense, they'll have to use the silent count. And I know this week they boomed crowd noise into their practice facility. But it also helps that McNamara has played here before and so is all and so they have played in this stadium with the silent count so hopefully that's helped prepare the rest of the team for that during practice this week another part of the important uh, things tonight is our wide receivers need to come to play these are really good defensive backs we have an array of new wide receivers um, and they just have to show up tonight. It's going to have to be a big night because you're not going to be able to consistently uh, run this ball against them. On defense, we're solid. Um, I would say that I think they'll take a couple shots at Jamari Harris early on just because he hasn't played and because he allowed a touchdown last week. So I would say that that's probably part of their game plan. Now, another thing I've noticed as our team is warming up, I've seen a number of players slipping. And, you know, we don't have natural grass practice field at home. And so the shoe that they're wearing tonight is a different shoe than what they practice with. And if it rains a little bit and gets slick, 
that can really be a problem. That's a great point, Eddie. Never thought about the shoes. Uh, and let's hope that doesn't become a factor. You mentioned the penalties. Uh, James Franklin brought that up in our visit uh, earlier this week. He said we're, we're committing way too many penalties. Uh, they've averaged almost eight a game. And, and still here they are, 3-0. and But you, to your point, they're plus seven in turnovers. The Hawks are averaging just under three penalties a game. So the cleaner, the better, as you would say. And we'll keep an eye on that stat as the evening wears on. Those are Ed Podolak's keys to the game presented by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Club Car Wash, with unlimited membership starting at just 20 bucks a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location near you. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. When you plant Wiffles, you're not just choosing superior seed corn. You're making a statement, one that says staying independent, staying family-owned means something on your farm. So make your choice. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Ahead, uh, the Hy-Vee coin toss and the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Iowa, Penn State tonight from State College. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Hey Hawkeyes, this is Coach Kirk Ferentz. We work hard all year long to have the best season possible, just like Iowa's corn farmers do. At the University of Iowa, we celebrate our student athletes as well as our state's corn farmers. For all of us, it's the same. When you put in the hard work and give it your all, great things happen. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go Hawks. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Let's check out the uh, Mid-American Energy starting lineups, Iowa and Penn State. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. That high-octane uh, Penn State defense is led by those outside linebackers, Daquan Hardy, 
He's really a, a hybrid uh, linebacker uh, safety out of Pittsburgh, redshirt senior. Abdul Carter on the other side, the 250-pound sophomore from Philadelphia. Kobe King, he'll be playing on Sunday next year. Uh, well, maybe next year. He's got a couple years of eligibility left. Six foot one, 242 pounds out of Detroit, Cass Tech High School. The Sam linebacker is Curtis Jacobs from Glen Burnie, Maryland. The safeties are Jalen Reed and Kevin Winston, Jr. The best of the bunch in the back end, Kalen King, a 5'11", 190-pound uh, junior from Cash Tech, also in Detroit. Johnny Dixon is at the right corner, the six-foot senior from Tampa, Florida. Up front, Chop Robinson at one end, Adisa Isaac at the other. Isaac, 250 pounds. He can really come off the edge. Robinson is 254. Very athletic, little undersized, but, man, they can get upfield and get in the quarterback's face. The tackles are Hakeem Beeman, 6'3", 290 from Midlothian, Virginia, redshirt senior, and a sophomore, 285 pounds, Zane Durant from Lake Nona, Florida. That is the Penn State defense, and it'll face the Hawkeye offense led by Iowa quarterback Cade McNamara. Cade uh, almost 100%, if not uh, completely healed from that quad uh, muscle uh, uh, stretch. 61205 from Reno, Nevada. The senior, uh, eligibility wise, he's got two years, uh, transferred in from Michigan. He's 38 for 71, 417 yards, 54% completion ratio, and four touchdowns to three interceptions. He'll turn and hand the ball off to uh, LaShawn Williams, the 5'10 junior from Chicago, had the great breakout day last week. Kamari Moulton and Terrell Washington Jr. will back him up. The tight end is Eric All in Luke Lachey's absence. Addison Estringa and Steven Stilianos will play and play a lot. To Eddie's point, let's see if the receivers can have a big, big night. Led by Nico Regani and Seth Anderson. Caden Weijan He'll be a featured guy. What a tremendous uh, start to his season uh, at Iowa, particularly on kick returns. But he's also quick on the reverses as well. Caleb Brown, Deontay Vines, they'll all see action. Up front, it's Mason Richmond and Jennings Dunker at the tackles. Nick DeYoung and Connor Colby at the guards. And Logan Jones had a big game last week. He will be at center. Hayden Large, the fullback, sometimes H-back, sometimes uh, tight end, uh, will be uh, in the lineup uh, as well this evening. The head coach is, of course, Kirk Ferentz in his 25th year. James Franklin is in his 10th year at Penn State. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Sponsored by Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. This has been the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. At Wiffles, each year when it comes to choosing your seed corn brand, you have fewer and fewer choices. That's why Wiffles Hybrids is determined to keep giving growers an independent choice, a choice that stands for something, one that means something on your farm. So plant your independence, plant Wiffles. Edward, we talked about uh, a lot about the uh, Penn State defense. They've got a bunch of future NFL uh, NFLers uh, in their two deeps. Uh, the Iowa defense has given up uh, one touchdown in each of the first three games. Uh, you know, in the end, the bottom line is how many points do you give up? Kirk uh, refers to that a lot, and Iowa's off to a wonderful start here in September in that regard. Well, they have uh, certainly played well on defense. Uh, the one big play, you know, uh, Phil Parker really goes uh, bonkers when a play goes for more than 20 yards and of course the long touchdown pass uh, last week I'm glad I wasn't in that film room when he was reviewing that one uh, but all in all just really solid you know uh, when Jack Ham and I were talking he said you guys play a lot of double zone and I said yeah we do I mean that's uh, why we always keep receivers in front of us and uh, all eyes are in the backfield. And so I imagine they'll have something to attack that. Let's go down to the field, the Penn State Marching Band, and enjoy our national anthem.
Not a seat to be had. 106,000 <laughs> white <laughs> towels. Uh, waving streamers, call them what you want. They've got both out here, uh, and they're all dressed in white. Uh, don't forget next Saturday night's game. Saturday night game, perfect night for blackout. Uh, Saturday, wear your best black as the Hawks host the Michigan State Spartans. We'll take a break uh, after the uh, Penn State Marching Band entertains us with the national anthem. They're now playing the Iowa Fight Song. Up next... The high V coin toss, and then tonight, starting game, uh, start of the game between Iowa and Penn State. A pair of 3-0 and teams squaring off here on the road. Iowa's Big Ten opener. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Even the simplest act can set a chain of good in motion, like choosing Delta Dental of Iowa for your dental and vision insurance, because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you make a difference for others. Visit SharingHealthySmiles.com and choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, A free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hello, Hawkeye fans. This is Bruce Gurlman, and I own Jethro's Barbecue. Have you heard the news? It's really big news. Jethro's Barbecue is now open in Coralville. That's right, across from the Hawkeye softball diamonds on the Coralville Strip. Jethro's is your game day headquarters. Call ahead and order your tailgate barbecue from Jethro's. Before the game, during the game, after the game, stop in Jethro's and eat my amazing slow-smoked wings and my world-famous baby back ribs. Hawkeye fans, make Hudson's Tap your post-game destination. After cheering on the Hawks at Kinnick, swing by Hudson's Tap at 482 Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Michelle Altmeyer will be there broadcasting live on the Hawkeye Radio Network. What's the best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors, we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, Hawkeye Football is on the air. Brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. By your local Ford dealers. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. And by Shields, right there with you. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Now let's join Gary Dolphin for the Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half. Welcome to the uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, one of our oldest states in America. Pubs were open here uh, 400 years ago, prior to the Revolutionary War. And whether it's Gettysburg or State College, uh, lots of history. 
in the state of Pennsylvania with Philadelphia, of course, a one-time nation's capital. And uh, straight north, central PA, you've got Center County and State College, and that's the home of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Small town, big campus, well over 50, 55,000 students. Seemingly, they're all here tonight at Podolak for the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions. Yeah, and they fill the south end zone, comes right down to the field, and you can see where the seats aren't even separated because they're just uh, sitting on uh, bench seats, and it is packed. <laughs> they call it uh, one of the greatest uh, activities, events, and college sports. Whiteout night, and uh, it's all that. Let's go to John Swisher. He's got a, a U.S. Bank scoreboard update before we have the uh, coin toss for tonight's opening game for two, Iowa in the Big Ten. Two finals, Dolph, in the Big Ten so far. Michigan all over Rutgers, 31-7 to today. It was Maryland thumping Michigan State, 31-19. to Nebraska up over Louisiana Tech, 28-7. to That game has been in a weather delay since around 5.30 with 8.39 to go in the fourth quarter. Illinois beat Florida Atlantic 23-17. to The Cyclones with a pick with about a minute to go. Looks like they'll hang on as they're up 34-27 right now at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames over Oklahoma State. In the America Rivers Conference, Co. all over Nebraska Westland 56-6. It was Central College beating Luther College 41-16 and Dubuque beat Loris 35-23. Iowa field hockey, number one Iowa over number 14 Michigan last night. Two to zero. Scoreboard updates throughout the night are brought to you by U.S. Bank. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. We're committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. I bet there's 500 band members and cheerleaders and cheering personnel on the field right now. It's quite a spectacle. It really is. The swarm hasn't emerged from the uh, north end zone tunnel just yet. Now, the Hawkeyes were quite a few minutes late coming out for their pregame warm-ups. Had maybe six, seven minutes uh, they gave up in pregame warm-ups. Uh, uh, and I'm guessing Kirk had that planned. Yeah, I'm sure that... Uh the less you see of this out here, the better off you are. I want to welcome to the booth right, uh, broadcast booth next to ours, the uh, national radio network called Touchdown Radio. The play-by-play -play voice is uh, Iowa-born Brett Dolan. Uh, Brett uh, is from uh, Casey, Iowa, just west of Des Moines. And uh, his uh, analyst, his color commentator, the man who founded that network, is uh, Gino Toretta, oh, really? the uh, record-setting uh, quarterback at the University of Miami back in the early 90s. In fact, in 1992, uh, number one ranked Miami came into Iowa City and knocked off the Hawkeyes 24 to seven, and Toretta threw for 433 yards, a record that still stands in Kinnick Stadium. <laughs> we were chuckling about that with Gino uh, earlier uh, tonight before we went on the air, and uh, really engaging guy. He's a heck of a co college player. Uh, Dennis Erickson was the head coach down there. Uh, he said, uh, uh, you know, that program was really going strong back in the in the 80s and 90s. They won a number of national championships. But welcome to, to Brett, uh, Iowa-born Brett Dolan. Uh, he wanted to say hi, wanted us to say hi to all of his family and friends uh, back around Casey, just off of uh, Interstate 80. Right by Atlantic. It's, uh, you can pedal a bicycle from <laughs> Atlantic to Casey. We still await both teams' arrival. Of course, this is a uh, what they call a slide in the business. Originally, a 6:30 uh, kick was scheduled. Now it's 6:40 because we're waiting for uh, I think a game or two in the uh, Southeastern Conference to uh, get over and join us. Um, CBS. This is CBS debut for uh, televising. Uh, Big Ten football under the new contract. So that's uh, that's a new uh, uh, entity. Uh, all these TV networks, NBC, CBS, all coming back to the Big Ten in these uh, multi-billion dollar television contract deals. Yeah, and Brad Nessler, who we've known for many, uh, many years, um, is the voice of CBS now. 
the primary voice, Gary Danielson, of course, former great quarterback at, at Purdue. And he uh, has done uh, some games going all the way back when I was working with Jim Zabo. Ooh, yeah. that goes back a couple of years. Yeah, it's 27, I we guess. Heard, we heard Bob Brooks on our uh, uh, Hawkeye historical winning moment. This is first Iowa game, by the way, on CBS since the Sun Bowl in 1997. You and I were there and called that game. Uh, Arizona State uh, and Iowa. Arizona State edge of the Hawkeyes in that game. I think it was 17-10 or 17-7, as I recall. And what was unique about that game, you had Tim Dwight. Tim Dwight running into Pat Tillman all afternoon long. Tillman, of course, the former great at Arizona State, drafted in the first round of the Arizona Cardinals quit NFL football uh, to uh, join the Army uh, Special Forces and uh, died in uh, the Middle East uh, in the early 2000s uh, by friendly fire. And I can remember uh, Tillman, a great safety. Of course, we know how tough Tim Dwight is. And they're both putt returners. They were running into each other all day long. And they had a big hug for each other at the end of the game. Yep, two terrific athletes there. And now here come... uh the Lions out of the locker room. They've got them up on the giant Tron. The so, Jumbo Tron, huh? Yeah. Well, tonight's uh, kickoff is sponsored by Come and Go. Hawk fans stop in to Come and Go before and after the game and experience a fresh perspective on convenience. At Come and Go, you'll find a wide selection of snacks, drinks, and fresh food options so you can always find what you deserve. With Come and Go's new and rewards program, you can save more every day. Whether you're coming in for fuel, food, or more, you choose how to save with Come and Go and Rewards. Come and Go and Rewards. Come and Go. A fresh perspective. And here they come, the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions onto the field. Yeah, this... like it, Coach times it so we come out as the other team does when you're on the road so that uh, the cheering from the crowd isn't booing. And you're getting the same response that uh, the home team's getting. Like Hayden, you'd think Kirk was a psychology major. Yeah. Well, he is tonight. Yep. <laughs> and he learned from Hayden, too. He sure did. 25 years, the head coach of the Hawkeyes, 34 uh, in total with the program. Eight years uh, uh, as a uh, an offensive line coach, a young offensive line coach who... Flew out to Iowa City from Pittsburgh, and Hayden was so impressed with the then young man, Kirk Ferentz. He didn't hire him quite on the spot, but it didn't take long to Hayden uh, for Hayden to figure it out. Had a great Hawkeye huddle earlier today uh, down the street here from uh, from the stadium at the Happy Valley uh, Brewing Company. <laughs> of course, it would be happy, but uh, great job by. Kevin and uh, John and the gang uh, with uh, the National Eye Club and the Alumni Association. All right, we're ready for the high V coin toss, Robbie. McNamara, Logan Lee, Evans, and Higgins, the captains for the Hawkeyes. Remember in the black pants tonight with the gold stripe, and the referee is Chris Coyle. McNamara will make the call. I was the visiting team. They'll call the coin toss. This is heads. This is tails. That's heads and tails. What is your call? Heads. Heads is the call. It is tails. Penn State has won the toss. They're deferring their choice for the... So Penn State will win the toss, elect to defer. So Cade McNamara and the offense will hit the field here on a whiteout Saturday night. All right. Tonight's coin toss, as always, is sponsored by hy V, the official grocery partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes and Hawkeye football. hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And whether at the game or at home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score big with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. So Penn State's defense will be out there first. What do you expect out of the Hawkeyes in this first series now that Iowa has the football to start the game? Well, they're going to try to run the ball. I don't think... We'll see the ball put in the air until we are totally convinced we can't run it. Now, I was looking at their captains, and it looked like the cornerback, Kalen King, was in a sweatshirt 
sweatsuit? Yeah, let me make. Oh, really? Let, let me confirm that. Well, that would be a big story. The 5'11 junior from Detroit, 5'11, 190, from that uh, football powerhouse, Cass Tech, Kalen King, who's got eight tackles, four solos on the young season. And, and those are not swelling numbers, but they're not throwing at him, kind of like Cooper DeGene. They're staying away from him. Maybe he just didn't take his helmet out, and um, that caught my eye. Johnny Dixon and Kalen King are the salty veteran corners. Kevin Winston Jalen Reed are the safeties. Reed's got 10 tackles, one for loss, and a sack. So he'll be blitzing, as will Winston. The linebackers all good and solid as they always are here at linebacker U. Abdul Carter, Kobe King, Curtis Jacobs, and Daquan Hardy. Gabriel Wosu will kick off. Penn State will defend the north goal. Back deep for the Hawkeyes. Caden Weijin. And Max White. And Max, who scored a touchdown, his first touchdown as a Hawkeye last week. Well, we're set to go after a long day of waiting in the rain. Let's hope the Hawks are singing in the rain when the night's over. Everybody on their feet. 106,000 vocal sets of vocal cords. And here we go. Wosu runs up and sends the ball end over end of the goal line. It's fair caught at the one-yard line by Weijin. And that's where the Hawks will come out or will come out and put it in play first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Now, number four is in uniform. He just didn't have his helmet out. Kalen King is at one of the corners. McNamara quarterback, Eric Hall, the tight end. Stilianos, I see, is out there as well. Deontay Vines will start at wide receiver. LaShawn Williams, the tailback. Seth Anderson and Vines split wide left. First play from scrimmage. Penn State yeah, rushing. Sean. Penn State rushing four. Daniel straight down the middle of the field and gets four. Just shy of the 29-yard line. Logan Jones leading the way, and why not on the first play from scrimmage? Yeah, and that's those are two big old defensive tackles, and uh, the Hawks moved them. Abdul Carter, the weak side linebacker, stepped up in the gap. Got his ninth tackle of the young season. They put LaShawn's knee down at the 28, so it's second down seven. Cade shifts to the gun. Hawks with three receivers and a tight end. McNamara drops, throws, and incomplete. Ooh, he had uh, Eric all open on a quick slant, but a, an even better play by the safety Kevin Winston. Got a hand on it. Yeah, he got a hand just before it got to all. Good play. Really good reaction time. You'd like to see the Hawks get a couple first downs on this opening drive just to settle in. Regani checks into the lineup. He'll come wide left with Eric all in the slot. Vines splits wide to the right. As does Terrell Washington. Now he comes back to the backfield for blocking. Third down and eight. McNamara, good protection. They blitz. He throws. It's caught. It's a first down out near midfield to tight end Eric Hall. Really good pattern and a good job of picking up the blitz by the tailback, which gave McNamara a clear throwing lane. Daquan Hardy was blitzing, and Terrell Washington, who early on in his career was a slot receiver, Else put him in the slot more tonight. 20-yard gain, and the Hawks move the chains out near midfield, just shy of the 50 at the 48. Here's a toss sweep, and the corner turn by LaShawn Williams, and he squirts across midfield for about three or four. Kalen King got him on the ground, but we'll take three or four on first down every time. Yeah, and that's... Uh... Oh, boy, now they moved it back, Gary. It looked to me oh, like... Oh, yeah, he... back across midfield to the 49. What is that all about? Well, obviously, his knee touched down there. He ended up at the 48 of Penn State. Gain of one, second down nine. Hawks with a heavy package, multiple tight ends. One running back is Williams, and a single wideout, Seth Anderson. All goes in motion. Fake on the give, on the play fake, and now Cade throws it away. As they, they were sending the sink, everybody was coming that time. 
And Kay didn't like what he had, so he just dumped it off. It'll be third down now. Yeah, we had a screen call to the right side, and um, Penn State had solved it. They had three people around the receiver and uh, no place to go. Twin tights uh, out to the right and all came back into the backfield in motion. And Kay just threw it into the dirt. Third down, nine. Empty backfield, five receivers. And Penn State showing blitz again. Are they going to come after Cade McNamara? We're just a couple minutes into the game. Penn State calls timeout. Opening series. And the Nittany Lions have to burn a timeout. Well, James Franklin didn't like something there as the Hawkeyes will get a breather and a chance to talk about it. Hawkeye football is sponsored by Mid-American Energy. Always assumed, uh, always assume a down power line is energized. Stay way far away and call 911. Get more safety tips at midamericanenergy.com. Boy, he must have seen that we had a shot at a big gainer to burn a timeout that early in the day. Less than two minutes gone. 13.04 to play first quarter. No score. Just underway at Happy Valley. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Are you ready for Hawkeye football? Because it's time to get geared up. We're all coming together for those amazing on-the-field moments. Shields is right there with you, cheering our team on to victory. So suit up in your Hawkeye black and gold with fan gear from Shields, in-store or online. And let's get ready for Hawkeye football. Shields, proud partner of Iowa Athletics and football fans everywhere. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. This season, when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Stop in for more information or visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals on food from 3 to 6 p.m. And check out our After Dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday, featuring bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel nuts, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters, and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. On the road in the Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield broadcast booth, Dolphin Eddie, our engineer John, or uh, engineer Corey Sheets, our stat man spotter is John Swisher. Penn State burned a timeout less than two minutes into the game. No score. Iowa faces third and nine. The referee is Chris Coyle. The umpire, James Shaw. Chris Loving is the headlinesman. Line judge is Rudy Studd. The field judge, Ray Daniel. Side judge, John Hayes. The back judge is Dennis Morris. And the centering judge is Mike Stumberg. All veteran Big Ten officials. All right, Iowa has the ball. Third down, nine at the Hawkeye 49. And the Hawks do bring a running back, Washington, into the backfield. Vines to the short side of the field. Regani and Anderson wide right. McNamara looking that way. Comes back to the short side of the field, and it's incomplete intended for Washington. Might have been deflected at the line of scrimmage. I couldn't tell, Eddie. Well, it looked to me like he just threw it low and away because there was inside-outside coverage coming on Washington. And the Hawks will punt it away after the drive stalls out at midfield. So Torrey Taylor with a chance to pin Penn State back deep to start the game. Torrey lobs it toward that north goal line. And it's caught at the four and hemmed in and downed immediately. Bad decision there by the Nittany Lions. Caden Saunders. Caden Saunders with the... Uh, I thought he called for a fair catch, but no, he started dancing around and 
He was hemmed in and smothered. 45-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. Yeah. We talked about field position again. At this game from special teams. Now the Hawkeyes have Penn State pinned at its own four-yard line. Here's Aller in the gun. Drew Aller has a slot receiver come in motion toward him. They run the counter the other way, trying to get the corner toed. No dice. And down immediately goes Katron Allen as he may have lost a yard under a blitzing Kyler Fisher. Good job, Kyler. Y.A. Black was hunting him down, too. Chasing him from behind. 305 pounds, breathing down his neck. And he wasn't going to get the corner turned on Deontay, uh, Deontay Craig. He's out at one end. Joe Evans at the other. Uh, Winters, uh, uh, James. Uh, here's, well, we'll get back to that. Second down in the in the end zone, two yards deep. Aller looks deep, throws to the goal line straight sideways, and nearly a safety as the Hawkeyes wrestle Katron Allen down right at the pylon, led again by... Nick Jackson, the linebacker, and Deontay Craig had everything walled off over there. Yeah, they're going to, they are going to mark that ball where it's actually on part of the. Wow. The, Inside uh, the one at the half yard line, they've gone back your, backwards two or three yards. Aller now retreats further into the end zone, has Allen in the backfield with him. Penn State changing the play. They better get it off here in a hurry or get called for delay a game. We wait the snap. Hawks are blitzing. Aller gets rid of it. It's caught at the five and out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Well short of the first down is Keandre Lambert-Smith. He was forced into the boundary by Kyler Fisher. How about Kyler Fisher in this first series? Yeah, you go. You, you know, they're going to use three linebackers tonight, it looks like. And... Um, that was just to get the punter enough room to get 15 yards deep. A gain of five. So another Melbourne native, Riley Thompson, lets it go. End over end, Cooper DeGene makes a fair catch at the 47-yard line of Penn State. So on the exchange of field position, the Hawkeyes gain about five yards, and they get the ball right back on a three and out. Really good job of defense, and of course when you get them hemmed in, uh, behind their one yard line it's pretty tough to get your way out of there 41 yard punt iowa football when we come back the hawks have a golden opportunity to move in for a score here in iowa we grow corn but the truth is corn grows iowa corn benefits the entire state feeds our livestock nourishes our families and provides homegrown clean burning fuel for our vehicles thank you iowa's corn farmers no score just over 11 minutes to play in the first quarter from State College. Iowa nothing, Penn State nothing. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. What does it mean to be locally owned and operated? For Cenex, it means everything. It means that we know if you take your coffee to go or if you like to stay a while. It means we've helped Little Leagues get jerseys and local festivals get funding. It means we know what our communities need. So you'll always leave Cenex with a full tank, full of snacks, or full of smiles. Or all of the above. And that means the world to us. Cenex. Powered locally. The silly moments. The proud moments. Even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. More Hawkeye football courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Iowa with a three and out on Penn State defensively. Great job by the Hawks after a 45-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. Uh, nailed the Nittany Lions inside their own five. 
They punt it away. Cooper DeGene with a fair catch at the 48 of Penn State. Seth Anderson splits wide right. Hawks with the ball for a second time. LaShawn Williams, the running back. And Cade McNamara will move up under center. Hawks go with two tight ends. Estringa and Eric All. All wings to the left behind Stilianos. McNamara takes the snap. Play fake. Rolls out right on the run. He's got room to go for a first down. He's at the 40, 35-yard line. Out of bounds at the Penn State 30. And the Nittany Lions got snookered into that one. Yeah, they thought he wouldn't run. They don't have anybody on the outside. And he just took off. Nobody, nobody between him and 20 yards. Looked pretty healthy there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. To the 31, inside the 31, actually, of Penn State. That's a gain of near 20, 18 to be exact. So the Hawks are certainly in field goal range. Now out of a tight eye, Hayden Large, the blocking back. Wide left is Caleb Brown. Here's McNamara on a counter draw handoff to LaShawn Williams. He dives inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. A nice cutback on that inside run right to left. Yeah, good job of reading where the play developed because Large came to the left, picked up a linebacker, and he broke it back to the right. Hawkeyes get five, almost six on first down safety. Jalen Reed uh, prevented further damage as the Hawkeyes face second and a little less than five. Nine minutes, 50 seconds to go. First quarter, no score, just underway. Even balance line now all goes in motion. And a whistle might have been some movement early. And there's your comment about penalties, Ed. Yeah. Number 87, five-yard penalty. Still second down. 87 is Addison Estringa. The youngster from Wisconsin flinched. That moves the ball back to the 29. So it's second down nine for the Hawkeyes. Yeah, when the other tight end started in motion, the stranger, he uh, flinched. Hawkeyes have second and long. Vines wide to the right. Brown to the left. Regani's in the slot. And we call timeout. And the Hawks do ask for timeout. All right. So, a few nerves on both sides. Before 106,000, the Hawks been assessed their first penalty since Utah State on opening weekend. With the score, nothing, nothing. Iowa, Penn State, let's pause for this timeout to hear from our wonderful sponsors. 9-19 to play first quarter. We're underway at Happy Valley. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. No score, Penn State and Iowa early on in the game. Each team has burned a timeout. And we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football. A 
Let's check in on the Hawkeye sideline, courtesy of U.S. Cellular and Rob Brooks. Well, Dolph, uh, certainly this atmosphere is something else. I wouldn't say it's as loud as a couple of years ago, especially in that north end zone at Kinnick. And, but just goes to show you the Hawks had to call a timeout there, just couldn't get lined up on the outside uh, with, from a receiver standpoint in time. So communication obviously going to be tough, but very key. Has started to rain. If uh, Hawks need to attempt the field goal, it will be into the win. All right, Robbie Brown and uh, Regani line up wide left. Jarrett Bowie made an appearance last play. He's out of the game now. All is in the slot right with Deontay Vines. Now they run Caleb Brown in motion, and they do the shovel pass straight ahead to Eric All. He gets inside the 20. First down at the 18-yard line, and apparently a fumble. And now let's check it out. Everybody's Penn State anyway, pointing it their way that the ball came the out. on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Oh, my. First down. Uh, Eric All is up claiming that he was down, so they'll have to look at this. Yeah, I think he hit the ground with the ball. Well, the ruling of a fumble recovered by the defense is under review. They will review it. Looks like the, the, the ground caused the ball to come out. They had a lot of motion there, Ed. They sent Brown in motion from the opposite side. Uh, McNamara went the other way, faked the handoff to LaShawn, and then shovel passed it, the old Brett Favre shovel pass, uh, to uh, Eric All, who lined up. Lined up off the right tackle, and he was upended as he was going to the ground. The ball, eh, the ball's coming out. He claims he was down, but sure looks like the ball was coming out before his elbow hit the ground. I agree with you. He didn't have the ball secured and the elbow hit the ground. That was quite a play. They had me fooled. I'm telling you. Boy, what a critical, critical play. I mean, all turnovers are critical, but the Hawks were in the Case IH red zone after forcing a punt from deep in Penn State territory, and it looks like it's going to go over to Penn State. Eric Hall fighting for extra yardage. He got submarine. He was upended as he was coming down, hit the ground hard, but the ball appeared to be moving and coming out before his elbow was down, and I would be shocked if this is uh, overruled. Did not see who recovered the fumble. We'll check that out. All plays under review are sponsored by Athletico. Physical therapy is usually the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or even surgery. After review. The ruling on the field stands as called. First down, Penn State. What if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, the sooner you can start changing everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. So the ball goes over to Penn State. Jalen Reed. Curtis Jacobs recovered the fumble that uh, got away from... Uh, Eric All as he was heading to the ground. Hit first by Jalen Reed. So Penn State gets the ball back on a play fake. They throw it to the tight end who gets upfield for five or six before he's grabbed by linebacker Jay Higgins. That's Theo Johnson. Now, I did not see Tyler Warren, their starting tight end, their best tight end out on the field in warm-ups yet. Maybe he was out there and I just missed him. But I, I, oh no, he is out there. He's in the slot left now. He and Warren both in the game. Twin receivers to the right. Aller to throw. Over the middle. Caught by tight end Johnson again. That's a first down. Behind the linebackers in front of the safeties for the Hawkeyes. And Penn State in two pass plays has moved it from their own 18 to their own 39. And they're going without a huddle. Again, quickly out of the gun. Here's the counter draw. Now the cutback. To the tailback Singleton, or Catron Allen, not Nicholas Singleton. They'll both play a lot, and he gets six to the 45. So the hurry up is working for Penn State. Yeah, and uh, in talking to Jack Ham, he said they will vary it during the game. Most of the time, they will huddle up, but they will go on a fast count every once in a while. They huddle up this time, and out of the short gun, Aller has. Uh, Allen in the backfield with him. 
Three wideouts to the right. Here's a handoff and a blitzing Hawkeye will uh, drop the ball carrier Allen for a big loss. Deontay Craig. Well, he looked like he was blitzing. <laughs> yeah. Came off the end and wasn't fooled at all. They had a lot of misdirection going there. And he's dropped back at the 42-yard line. So all of a sudden, the second down and short becomes third and long. Penn State is 44% on third down this season. That is remarkable through three games. They send a wide out, or the tight end winds, uh, lines up wide right. He goes in motion. They're looking for him. They come across the middle of the field to the underneath man. Short of a first down is Liam Clifford. Now, where are they going to spot him? Looks like to be he's two yards shy of a two yards shy of a first down. It's fourth down and two. Tackle made by Sebastian Castro. Great open field tackle. Big play call here. Big play call. Well, I'm, I'd be surprised if they went for it. I would be shocked, but it looks like they are going for it. That's yeah, a quarterback sneak straight ahead, and they push Aller across midfield. Still going to the 46 of Iowa. Now, this offensive line averages 325 pounds a man. Six foot six. Yeah, they are not quite that tall, but <laughs> six three, six four. So fourth down and a yard and a half, they gain five. Aller does, and he's 6'5", 240. Penn State on fourth down is now five of six this year. And they're back to the hurry up. Here's a play fake on the draw to the tailback. They throw to the near sideline, and it's caught. And working his way upfield as flags fly is Keandre Lambert-Smith. Penn State averaging 43 points a game. Oh, they're pointing at this is against Penn State. He must have uh, grabbed... Um, Cooper, De, uh, Cooper DeGene's face mask? Yeah, it's not, the way I see it on the Hawkeye sideline. Yeah. We'll see. Here comes the call. Personal foul. Face mask. Offense number one. Oh. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Keandre Lambert-Smith had the first down at the Iowa 30, but reached out and grabbed the cage... The face mask of Cooper DeGene. So that's a major infraction. And they'll walk the ball back out to the 47-yard line. See, you can stiff arm as a as a runner, runner or receiver if you don't grab it. So they get the down over. So it is uh, first and 11 after the spot foul. Aller straight ahead running for Allen. Hops through a hole and then is grabbed from behind. That looked like it was going for a whole lot more. A whole lot more than it did. Heck of a play again by Ethan Herkett and Y.A. Black. Uh, right side of that Iowa line as the Hawks are rotating defensive linemen in. He gets three to the 44. Not quite the 44-yard line of Iowa. Second down. Call it eight. Aller is in the gun. Tight end. Goes in motion. That's Theo Johnson. And here's a pitch to the tailback in the right flat. A little short flat pass, and it works for good yardage inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Penn State's going to be a couple yards shy of a first down. That was Katron Allen who released to the right flat. Drew Aller turned and fired it to him, and he got upfield for four or five more. Aller is six for his first six, 44 total yards. A lot of short passes. Hasn't gone deep yet. They go three by one with this receiver formation. And they run the draw handoff. Trying to get to the outside and turn the corner. Close to the first down. If not, he's very, he's either has a first down or within a half a yard. To the Iowa 36, and they're going to move the chains. That is a first down. And here they're going without a huddle. Well, they're, and they're going before the chains are set. They run a quick draw handoff before the guys got downfield to reset the chains. I didn't think he could do that. Not much on that first down run. A couple of yards for Katron Allen. Xavier Wampa has been up crowding that line of scrimmage. Second down, call it eight and a half. And now Nicholas Singleton is in the game at tailback. He alternates with Allen. Twin receivers to the right, single receiver up top with a tight end. Here's the snap, the short gun. Boxer blitzing. Aller throws it, and it's caught. There appears to be a first down at the uh, 
25-yard line of the Hawkeyes. 26-yard line, just enough for a first down. Keandre Lambert-Smith has a heck of a play by Allery. Yeah, he was right in his face. Really strong arm because he threw that falling away. And the receiver was on his belly when the ball got to him, and he belly flopped for a first down at the 26. Penn State with a nice drive after the Iowa turnover. Another draw handoff, and running off left guard and tackle is Nicholas Singleton for not much. Gets a couple. The Hawks gang tackle him there, led by Jay Higgins. Clock now down to 3.05 to play first quarter. No score, Penn State. And the Hawkeyes. Logan Lee was sticking his nose in there in that last play. He has been a pillar of strength in the middle. He and Black. Ethan Herkett's out there. Craig is the other defensive end. Second down called at seven for the Nittany Lions as they march toward that Iowa goal line in the south end. Aller retreats deep. Now he sets up the screen. Tight end screen and blockers in running room. I see a flag go back up at the 20 that you would think would be a hold. Theo Johnson latched on. Holding. Offense, number 77. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Ooh, that's big. Sal Wormley, the right guard, gets caught for the hold. Two personal foul penalties on Penn State on this drive after Eric All's fumble was recovered by the Nittany Lions at the Penn State 18. So this will bring it back from inside the 20 out to the 30. And it'll be second down. They get the down over second and almost 15. Hawks try to make a stand here. That was a well-designed play, but the Nittany Lions are saddled with their second penalty. Aller in the gun. Low sn uh, snap. He steps up in the pocket. Now he's going to run, and he's hit from the side and hit hard by Ethan Herkett, who drilled him inside the 30 at the 29. That'll be a gain of just a yard or two. Aller never saw... Uh, Herc had coming, and he really let him have it. Herc can really change directions in a hurry for a big guy. Third down and 14. Hawks need to stop here and force a field goal try from the Hawkeye 29. Tailback goes in motion. Empty backfield. They throw it to the tailback in and That's out of his fumble. hand. That's a fumble. Well, it was a forward pass, I think. I don't think. Well, I guess that official on the other side is calling it a forward pass. Yeah, he, he was ahead of the line of scrimmage, and, and it goes as an incomplete pass. That was in and out of the hands of Allen. A little too hot to handle for Allen on a straight sideways pass from quarterback Drew Aller. So Penn State will send the field goal unit onto the field. Kick will come from the 37-yard line. Alex Falcons is four of five on the uh, young season with a long of 45. He's had one block, though. Let's see if the Hawks... I'm guessing Ontario Thompson is out there somewhere. <laughs> out of the hold of Riley Thompson, the punter. So this will be a 47-yard kick. Nothing automatic about this. Here we go. The snap, the spot, and the kick. Line driving its way through. That thing had plenty of leg. Penn State turns the Iowa fumble into three points. Three's better than seven. 135 to go in the first quarter. The Hawks are down here at Happy Valley and State College at Penn State. Saturday night, Big Ten football. It's 3 0 Nittany Lions. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Can you think of anything that costs the same today as it did 10 years ago? There isn't much. That is, unless you're a mid-American energy customer. Thanks to all the renewable energy we're generating, our customers pay nearly the same rate for electricity today as they did back when we were all singing, Call Me Maybe. And with mid-American making even more investments in clean energy, you can count on enjoying those same affordable rates for the next decade. Now that's obsessively, relentlessly at your service. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. 
Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hi, this is Joe Mershman from Mershman Seeds. You never really know what's going to happen to that seed after it's in the ground. That's why we introduced Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments for soybeans. Here's Ben Peeper, our product manager. Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments are comprised of multiple fungicides, effective insecticides, biologicals, and biostimulants. Nobody can do what we can do with Starting Line and Starting Line Plus. Give every acre a head start with Starting Line or Starting Line Plus seed treatment. From Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. Hawkeyes trail here at Penn State 3-0. Welcome back to our coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Penn State 14 plays, 59 yards after the Iowa turnover. Seven passes, seven rushes. It's what I call a balanced uh, a balanced barrel of plays there led by quarterback Drew Aller. But the Nittany Lions had to settle for a 47-yard field goal, and the Hawks are down 3 nothing with a minute and a half to go first period. Let's check in with Rob Brooks on the Hawkeye sideline. Well, Dolph, as soon as uh, Eric All um, fumbled that football, Brian Ferentz went up to him and said, hey, you got to shake this off and uh, think forward because obviously, uh, at least here in the first quarter, Eric All is going to be a big part of the game plan tonight. Eric Weijan retreats to the goal line along with Max White. Penn State will kick off on that 14 play drive. Gabriel Wosu will run up and here it comes. Right at the goal line, another fair catch call by Weijin. That's by design. The Hawks will bring it out to the uh, 25 yard line with a minute 35 to play in the first period. Yeah, that drive, what, took eight minutes? A little under eight minutes. Penn State with 78 total yards. Iowa 59. Hawkeyes with the lone turnover that cost him three points. Really a six-point swing. You know, Drew Stevens would have nailed at least three from that end of the field. But that's in the past. Hawks got a rally back. Empty backfield. Five receivers, three by two. With a couple tight ends out there. McNamara. Stands in there. Now he's going to run. Now he throws, and it's caught. Laying out for it is Nico Regani. He was on the short side of the field. Looked like Cade could have run for the first down, but at the last second, spotted his buddy Regani in the left flat, got it to him for almost five. Yeah, I don't think they want him running. Not down the middle. Yeah. But a nice gain. Wide right goes Seth Anderson. Regani in the slot. Kamari Moulton is the tailback now. Young freshman from Texas. Stop and go move by Moulton. And he burrows across the 30 to the 32. Good job of the interior of that Iowa line that played so well last week. And I see Rusty Feth out there at guard, the Miami transfer. Curtis Jacobs and Abdul Carter, the linebackers, make the stop. Iowa faces third and almost three. Yeah, that was a good job by pulling... The offside guard and tackle around. They really got off well. They wing all the tight end left. Anderson splits wide right. Two tight ends in the formation. McNamara up under center. Here comes the blitz. Kate avoids one linebacker and now throws it away. You can almost predict when those blitzes are coming. They're going to get after him, especially on third down and medium. Yep, and when he made the fake to the tailback, the tailback couldn't get over to pick up the blitzer because he was faking a run to the middle of the formation and you're just dead in the water when that happens. Adisa Isaac came off the edge. He's one of their better down down linemen. Tyler Elsden was inside him, the linebacker. So the Hawks must punt it away. And here's Taylor with a line drive boot. 
that hits at the 30, takes an Iowa bounce, and rolls out of bounds down near the 22-yard line with two seconds remaining in the first quarter. And Penn State leading 3 to nothing. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics and Hawkeye Football. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light will bring you our halftime coverage this evening. Right now, we're about at the end of the first period. Yeah, defense needs that first period to end so they can get a breather. Aaron Graves out there at tackle now. Craig is at one end. Joe Evans at the other. Here's Aller on first and ten. And the draw handoff to the tailback, Catron Allen, and not much. He's met at the pass. They give him a yard, perhaps two, as the first quarter the end of the first quarter. comes to an end. The singleton was the ball carrier. Deontay Craig wrapped him up in a hurry with help from Nick Jackson. So we'll switch ends. End of the first quarter. Penn State with a 3-0 lead on the Hawkeyes. Iowa tries to get the ball back. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics. Helping the world keep promises. Right now, you are not at Historic Kinnick Stadium, but you could be. You're not cheering with 70,000 Hawkeye fans or high-fiving strangers after a pick six, but you could be. With kickoff to Kinnick from the Iowa Lottery, you could win a dream experience. Two seats for an Ironman suite, food, fun, and football like never before, or win tickets to any Iowa home game. Play the Hawkeye Scratch ticket and enter and see details at ialottery.com slash VIP to win. Woohoo! If you guessed that was the sound of a bag of Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans, you guessed right. Well, kind of. It was really the sound of an innovative team that spent decades perfecting a seed with exclusive genetics and the ultimate agronomic advantage. The sort of breeders who don't rest until they've achieved outstanding performance. Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans. Number one for a reason. Visit pioneer.com slash genetics. Welcome back to Hawkeye football from State College, Pennsylvania. Through one quarter, Hawkeyes trail the Nittany Lions three to nothing in this battle of top 25 teams. Hawkeye football is sponsored by our friends at U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Well, one of the great game day traditions anywhere is whiteout Saturday. Even better when it's at night, as in this evening. And 106,000, most of the Penn State fans, have been here all day getting ready for this one, Eddie. And uh, they are being heard right now. Yep, we can see the Hawk fans there up in the... Upper deck. Uh, the roost up there, the roosting <laughs> up there. The other big game tonight is uh, Notre Dame uh, at Ohio State. And the Buckeyes traveled to South Bend to take on uh, the Irish. And let's check that out on the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Uh, midway through the first quarter, no score. Minnesota has a 7-0 lead at Northwestern. And that game just started the second period. Michigan beat Rutgers 31-7 earlier today. Illinois held on to win over Florida Atlantic 23-17. Nebraska beat Louisiana Tech after a long weather delay. 28-14, Maryland crushed Michigan State 31-9. Last night, Wisconsin 38, Purdue 17. Michigan State comes to Iowa City next weekend for Saturday night blackout football. Everything's black and white. Penn State had the ball for 9 minutes, 17 seconds in the first quarter to Iowa's 540. Iowa defense trying to get off the field. Penn State with second down and eight as we start the second quarter. Play fake to the tailback. Now the 
the wide receiver pass coming. Uh, well, no, he's going to cover up and try and run uh, for his life now, and he's grabbed and dropped way back at the 11. That was... Uh, Nick Jackson chasing down Keandre Lambert-Smith. Another sideline pass, Eddie, and Lambert-Smith was going to pull up and throw the go route. Yeah, and <laughs> but uh, obviously the Hawks had that all covered up. They sure did, and he just didn't throw it away. He um, decided he was going to make something out of it. And uh, the Hawks had a couple chances at him deeper yet than they got him, but it was good enough. Well, they lose a, the a bunch. The previous play is under review. What could that be? I have no idea what it would be. Uh, all plays under review are courtesy of Atletico. Unless he dropped the pass because it came to him. Well, the line oh, of, it was a forward pass. The line of scrimmage is now the 10-yard uh, line, and we hope it stays there. It was second and eight at the 22. The ball is back just outside the 10, so that'd be a, a loss of 10 and a third and 20 roughly coming up for Penn State pending the review. Well, and the, the ball was a forward pass, but he took off running with it, so there can't be any kind of a foul, and he's going to lose those 10 yards. Well, you would think linebacker coach Seth Wallace is visiting with the side judge. That's, uh, let's see, Tyler Fisher now, what a what a play. He ran him down in the open field. That's hard to do. Linebacker one-on-one -on -one with a, a sleek, quick, fleeting wide receiver, Keandre Smith. Great speed out of Norfolk, Virginia, 185 pounds. And so uh, he's been caught with his hand in Cooper DeGene's face mask, and now he gets uh, dropped for about a 10, 11-yard loss we think so early on in the second period it's a good blow here a good breather for the defense yeah because they've been out there a lot i and i don't i don't know what they can be talking about well Let's, we'll find out right now after review the pass is incomplete it's third down at the 24 yard line well we're looking at the re the review and the ball hit the ground mm -hmm. and then he picked it up and was looking to chuck it downfield Oh, what a break for Penn State. Well, I guess. So it's third and eight after the incompletion. The Hawks have, well, they would have had four tackles for loss so far, but wipe that off the, the slate, and here we go. Aller on third down and eight from the Penn State 23-yard line. Hawks get good pressure on him, and here's a whole yeah. obvious hold on on uh, Joe Evans, but no call. There's and Aller throws the ball out of bounds as he's wrestled to the ground by Deontay Craig. Boy, was, those ends have been active. It, it was a tackle. It wasn't a hole. The passer was outside the pocket, and the pass crossed the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down. Boy, Joe Evans got grabbed <laughs> and thrown back. The guy wouldn't let go of him. I suppose, what's what's the saying? They say you could call holding on every yeah. snap of the football. Bottom line is the Hawks get the stop, and Penn State will have to punt it away. Two defenses as good as advertised right now. Here's a short punt that uh, hits a Hawkeye in the back. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong, but it sure looked like it hit an Iowa Hawkeye in the back because of the short punt. Oh, no. That's inexcusable. Oh, my. When you say, you know, um, Cooper's yelling. Cooper's yelling, get away, get away, but you can't hear it in this moment. Well, he was running upfield trying to get his teammates who were trying to block for him. I mean, yeah. I get that, but, well, you got to know where the football is. It ends up at the 39 of Iowa, first and 10 Penn State. Uh, I'm not sure. Trying to see who it hit. 17. Uh, Des Fernandez. Trey Potts on the recovery. Brendan Des Fernandez had it him right in the numbers. Here's a handoff to the tailback. Singleton heads right, turns it back inside, and gets uh, five or six on first down. 13.59 to play in the first half. 3 nothing Penn State. And the Nittany Lions threatening again after, uh, well, call it a turnover. Hawks force a punt, and the ball, it's uh, a muffed punt as it hits Fernandez right in the middle of the square of the back. 
Second down five for Aller. They run straight ahead with Singleton behind that big old hog offensive line. And he's held up after a short gain. But it's going to be third and short. 13-25 to play. Logan Lee latched on to Singleton first. Give him a couple yards. Third down three. Hopefully the Hawks can get a stop here and force another field goal try. Aller's been hot with the short passes. Nine of 12 for 60 yards. Three wideouts left. Nothing to the short side of the field. One running back. Now tight end comes in motion. They're going to run into the middle of the line with the, the tailback, Nicholas Singleton. And it looks like he got the first down. But we'll hold the phone and check. Singleton has to come out of the game. He lost his helmet. Now they move it back. Fourth please, reset, please reset the play clock to 40 seconds. Fourth, 40 seconds, please. Fourth please reset and the play clock to 40 seconds. Fourth and less than a yard, and they'll go for it. They were successful on their only fourth down try earlier. Now, Aller has Singleton in the backfield. you got to think it's a quarterback sneak. And here he comes. They push forward. And let's see where they spot him. Let's see where they spot him. Good good pushback by that Iowa yeah. front, Eddie. I don't like the fact that you can use offensive players to push the pile. That used to not be allowed. Yeah, the, the tailback, Singleton, got right in on his belt line and shoved Aller forward from oh, behind. Their timeout for a measurement. Gives us a chance to thank our Lennox dealers of Iowa for their great support of Hawkeye football down through the years. Denny Service in Cherokee, Freed Heating in the Quad Cities, Mechanical Air Systems in Mason City, Vicks Heating, Plumbing, and Vent in New Hampton, and Kalen's Indoor Comfort in Yankton, South Dakota. So they'll stretch the chains out. And from here, it looks like a first down. And it is by one coat of maybe paint. Maybe four or five inches, one coat of paint. Pretty close. <laughs> a happy birthday to our buddy Lee Eft, longtime leader for Lennox, now retired. Lee had a birthday this past week. So Penn State keeps the football after the muffed punt. Very similar to the muff punt that Iowa benef benefited from at Iowa State a couple years ago. That comes back to bite the Hawkeyes in the back. First and 10, the ball inside the 30 for Penn State, leading 3-0 early on in the second period. Out of the gun, Aller, play fake, now throws it to Singleton. He's got wide open room up the far sideline and out of bounds. Fake the handoff to him, and then the Hawkeyes converged on Aller, and then he threw it to Singleton. Yeah, that was a, a, a play you don't see all the time. You fake it to the halfback, and then he pretends like he's running with the ball, and then runs to the sideline, and you throw it to him. He's a yard shy of a first down. Uh, the officials are conferring at Please the... reset the game clock to 11 minutes, 54 seconds. 11... 11.54. They show a 12.04 on the clock. Singleton on the uh, short pass. The naked screen got upfield for about eight. Please reset the play clock to 25. Thank Second down short for Penn State. The drive has reached the Hawkeye 21-yard line. Aller, long count, checks the sideline, and now whistles. Too much time. That's after they reset the, <laughs> the snap clock. Uh, I think they're saying... The game clock is malfunctioning. Game time will be kept on the field. All right. They're having some issues with the, the game clock. And so they'll keep time on the field. And now the officials are going to confer again. Well, we're moving right along, buddy boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the first half hour or so. Hawkeyes with a fumble that led to a Penn State field goal when they were deep in Penn State territory. And now the muffed punt after an Iowa stop 
has given Penn State the ball back in Iowa territory and the drive has reached the 21 yard line of the Hawkeyes second down and short when play resumes twin receivers wide right including a tight end same twin receivers to the other side of the field and they run the draw handoff to Singleton he's got the first down ankle tackled by Jay Higgins at the 18 Singleton gets the first down though a gain of three and it's first and ten at the Hawkeye 18 they move a tight end right to left four receivers one of those goes in motion they run the other way to Singleton he turns inside a lot of contact there and the ball's out the ball is out and the Hawkeyes the ruling on the field is the runners forward progress was stopped prior to the ball coming loose it's second down that's a tough call there well it is uh, you can't overturn it you can't look at it once they say it's forward progress and whistle blows once they over. yeah once they blow the whistle unfortunately uh, that didn't go the Hawkeyes way Penn State in the red zone this year they're 17 of 19 with 14 touchdowns they get three on that first down run now the ball at the Iowa 16 second down call it seven Keandre Smith in a, in movement goes the other way they throw it to the sideline where he has it out of bounds Keandre Lambert Smith forced into the sideline by Nick Jackson And let's see, he's about three yards shy of the first down. Spot the ball at 13. They need to get to uh, just inside the 10 for the first down. And a quick snap. They hand it off to Singleton again. He's grabbed from behind, but I think he has the first down. Jay Higgins and Nick Jackson tracked him down from behind. Well, it is fourth down. That was third and short, but they'll no doubt go for it. They're two for two on their other fourth down tries. They bring in a little more beef for blocking. Three backs in the backfield, a couple tight ends. Now they put those guys in motion. Aller's going to throw on fourth. Fires to the end zone, caught for a touchdown. Right underneath the goal post. The receiver who just came into the game. To our tight end, Khalil Dinkins. Well-designed play, a lot of motion in there. Yeah, and they got Wampa looking in the backfield and just got tight end, just got ahead of him enough that they could make the touchdown throw. 9-17 to play in the first half, and Penn State extends the lead to 9-0. Well-designed play as Dinkins just came in for blocking purposes. They ISOed him on the wide side, let him loop in under the goalpost on fourth and inches. And uh, Aller waited for him to clear and threw a beauty. Five touchdown passes on the year now for quarterback Drew Aller, who is 12 of 15 for 83 yards. So after the muffed Hawkeye punt, Penn State goes 39 yards in 10 plays, using up uh, just under five minutes. Penn State with 10 more minutes in time of possession than the Hawkeyes. Wow. Turnover and a muff punt. That has uh, hurt Iowa, but uh, lots of football to be played. It's 10 nothing, Nittany Lions. And we'll come back with more second quarter action in a minute. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Train, you've practiced. 
You sacrificed for the team. You gave maximum effort and left it all on the field. Now life has a different use for your skills. A greater call to play on a field where victory is measured not in the win column, but in the lives of the friends, family, and country you'll serve. With world-class training, we'll coach you to be excellent in all you do. Don't defer your dreams. Live close to home. Serve around the world. And play for America's home team, the Air National Guard. Bump's Restaurant in the Finkbine Golf Course Clubhouse is the place to go before Hawkeye football games. For just $35 per person, you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet that includes barbecue, upscale tailgate favorites, a carving station, and all the fixings in the friendly comfort of the modern clubhouse. A full bar, Bloody Mary's, mimosas, and over 35 beers are available. Reservations made on Friday before 11 a.m. include free game day parking for one vehicle. Kinnick Stadium is a leisurely walk down Melrose Avenue, so make game day easy by parking and eating at Bump's. For reservations, call 319-335-9662. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Wellmark, exciting moments, proud moments, even the hard moments. Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash touchdown. Iowa needs a touchdown. Hawks trail at 10 nothing to Penn State. Five minutes deep into the uh, second period here at State College on the strength of two turnovers, a muffed punt and a fumble. And the Nittany Lions have turned them into 10 points. Let's check in with Rob Brooks on the Hawkeye sideline. What's the mood like down there, Robbie? Well, uh, pretty good. Uh, Kirk Ferentz obviously uh, going to the offense now and uh, trying to pump them up, especially Cade McNamara, and he was not happy at all about that quick whistle when the ball was loose. Well, I don't blame him, but... Hawks call a fair catch again off the toe of Wosu. And on the touchback, the Hawks will bring it out to the 25. And Ed, we need a time-consuming drive out of the offense. Yes. And um, at least three points. Well, let's start with a long drive. McNamara at quarterback, Deontay Vines, one of the wide receivers. Let's see who else is out there when they break huddle. Seth Anderson will be slot left. Tight end is Eric All. Terrell Washington, young freshman, is the lone setback. McNamara is up under center, Logan Jones. Play fake to Washington. Cade steps up in the pocket, has his tight end All for about three to the 28. It looked like it was going to go for more, but Penn State, with all that speed in that secondary, Johnny Dixon, sophomore senior from Chamberlain, South Carolina, closed in a hurry. Second down, seven for the Hawks. Clock running with 8.53 to play. And LaShawn Williams is back in the game after uh, quite a while on the sideline. Now in the gun is Cade McNamara. All wings to the right. Cade looking for him. Fires to the sideline, and it's over the head of the intended target, Seth Anderson. Uh, Would have been short of a first down, but would have put him within a yard or two. Cam Miller, cornerback out there, the extra defensive back. With the coverage, Iowa's one of three on third down. McNamara, four of nine for 39 yards. Eric All has caught three passes for 35 yards. Hawks need a first down. Three receivers and a tight end in the formation. One running back. McNamara changes the play. And perhaps a delay of game. Prior to the delay of game, timeout Iowa. I don't know if there's a clock working anywhere, is there? Didn't they say the scoreboard clock was not working? Well, it had started to run again, though, uh, but who knows if that's the the accurate time. I see 9.17 on one clock and 8.37 on the other. Yeah. And so you're but t- Iowa did get a timeout called in time to avoid the penalty. Oh, That's okay. a second timeout, I believe, called by the Hawkeyes. Hey, do you love hearing the Hawkeye victory polka? Now is your chance to put the Hawks on top while also helping local charities in eastern Iowa. Go to iowaswarm.com 
That's iowaswarm.com and join the swarm and help out our athletes. Time out on the field. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Welcome back to Hawkeye football from State College, Pennsylvania, where Iowa trails the Nittany Lions of Penn State by a count of 10-0. We think there's roughly eight minutes to play in the first half. Iowa facing third down and seven. Hawks have uh, fumbled the ball inside the Penn State 20. Penn State took it downfield, kicked a field goal, and then on a muffed punt that hit a Hawk in the middle of the back. And given all this noise, Cooper Jejean was trying to get his teammates away from the short punt, but they didn't hear him. Penn State took that muffed punt in for a touchdown on a short drive. Now the Hawks, on the ensuing drive, look for a first down. McNamara fires, and it's over the head of the intended receiver, Nico Regani, nearly intercepted by Jalen Reed as it was overthrown and the Hawks will have to punt it away. 8.31 to go. First half. Fourth and seven for the Hawks. And we were hoping we wouldn't see Tory Taylor a lot tonight, but that's not the case. Tory will punt this one away from his about his own 15-yard line. And he gets it away. And a booming high hanging kick that's fielded at the 16-yard line and returned about five yards by Caden Saunders. He's a good punt returner, but excellent downfield coverage by the Hawkeyes. Yeah, that was a boomer. That thing carried up very high. 56-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. Uh, Edward. Can't ask for anything more than that. Other than excellent downfield coverage by <laughs> Luke Elkin again, the uh, long, long snapper. snapper for the Hawks. He's always one of the first guys downfield. All right, Penn State football. Hawks try and get it back quickly. There's a stop and go move by the tailback, and he gets big yards over left guard. Stop and go move, a little juke step. And Katron Allen, who's obviously refreshed. Singleton's been doing all the heavy lifting for a while. Gains seven on first down. Penn State goes right back to that hurry up, and they get the first down across the 30. Nick Jackson and Jay Higgins slow down Katron Allen. Allen's got 19 yards on nine carries. Singleton has 20 yards on eight carries. And they share the ball equally. Another first down for the Nittany Lions. That's seven first downs to two for the Hawkeyes. Three wideouts wide right. Aller looking that way off a play fake. Now comes back the other way. And ball is uh, incomplete. Really good coverage by 
Jackson, he was gobbling up Katron Allen. Everybody was covered wide side, came back to the tailback. And Allen's fortunate to, to just drop that ball. He'd have lost yardage. Second down, 10. First time they've had the Lions in a second and long for a while. Hawks are rushing four. Herkett's at one end. Joe Evans at the other. And out of the gun, here's Aller. Play fake to the tailback. Tries to set up the screen and throws it away. Intended for the tight end. Ooh, Xavier Wampa was drawing a bead on it. Couldn't get there quite in time. And that ball was hanging up there, Ed, uh, into the breeze. Yeah, and that, their big old offensive tackle was down there. Looked like he was past the line of scrimmage. But... Sebastian Castro was in coverage. Looked like they were trying to set up a tight end screen, but I didn't see a tight end in the area. Third down and 10. Big play here for the Iowa defense. Aller empty backfield. Five receivers, including a couple tight ends. Here's the snap. Hawks send extra defenders. Pass is caught. And a first down. My, my, oh, my. Across the 40 to the 42 goes Liam Clifford. Great protection provided by Aller, or for Aller there. Yeah, and we had a blitz coming. We had two linebackers coming, and um, he was able to step and throw. Blitz just didn't get there in time, and it's a gain of 12. To the 42-yard line of Penn State. Fresh set of downs. Clock shows seven minutes to play. First half, 10-0 Penn State. Eller sneaks back up under center, now backs away. One running back, four receivers, including a couple tight ends. And good blocking for the tailback, Katron Allen, as he runs off the left side to near midfield. Penn State trying to wear down this Iowa defense. Well, and they've been on the field an awful lot. If you look at the time of possession for Penn State. Right now it's 15 minutes to six. Draw a handoff again to the tailback. Big hole off the right side. First down at the Iowa 46. That was a second down and two. They get six. And Penn State's on the move again. And they're coming right up to the line of scrimmage and snapping the ball. Aaron Graves into the game, a defensive tackle. He had that last tackle, got credit for that last stop. Here's Aller, a deep, deep drop, plenty of time, rolls out to his right, steps up in the pocket. Now he runs to his left. Now he throws, and it's incomplete. Threw it into the sideline. What coverage downfield by the Hawkeyes. Yeah, it was great coverage because our rush there, our front four, their legs are getting dead being on the field as much as they were and they just weren't getting any pressure on the quarterback. Jamari Harris had the coverage on Keandre, Keandre Lambert-Smith and uh, Aller just threw it into the ground. Lives for the next down, which is second and 10 at the Iowa 46. 10-0 Penn State. Slot receivers both way with an outside wide. Tight end right. That's Theo Johnson. And here's the draw handoff again, and this time the Hawks shed their blockers and throw Nicholas Singleton back for no gain. And it'll be third and ten. Graves, Nick Jackson, and Logan Lee all converge on Nicholas Singleton. Actually, they give him a, a yard or two loss at yeah. back near midfield. So they trapped him in the backfield. And let's see what Penn State calls on this. Third down and 12. They've converted several third and longs. Aller, straight back, rolls out to his right. Wants to go to the end zone, now throws it away. That's the wise decision. Wampa had his man all gobbled up. And Sebastian Castro was running with another on a seam route. And Penn State will... But the way that defense is playing, they'll try and pin Iowa back deep. Yeah, that pressure, the Hawks got pressure. As tired as that front defensive line is, they got pressure on the quarterback to where he had to throw it away. Riley Thompson has punted twice tonight for an average of 40 oh, yards. no. And here is a the punter gets knocked down, no flag. He means, you know, he might have been blocked into him. Well, we got a piece of the ball. Oh, that could... the kicker, number 12 of the receiving team, was blocked into contact uh -huh. with the punter. Timeout on the field. 
You got it called. It was Jackson, Jackson Rexroth had a good rush put on, but he was blocked into punter Riley Thompson. Special teams have loomed large here tonight, haven't they? Yeah. Calls that are made and calls that haven't been made. Timeout on the field. 4.58 to play in the first half. See if the Hawks can put a drive together when we come back, trailing 10 nothing to Penn State. This is Hawkeye football from their field. To the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. Leaders know there's no guide to greatness. When everyone else says something can't be done, they know it only hasn't been done yet. True leaders weather the fiercest storms and look deep within themselves to rise above and help others find their way forward. At Great Southern Bank, we're proud to partner with visionaries that help raise the tide for all of us. And when you're ready to bring your vision to life, we'll be right behind you with award-winning support. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. There's no THC cap on Iowa medical cannabis. And getting a card is fast and easy, entirely online. Get your med card today. Visit BudMary.com. More Hawkeye Football coverage courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield coming your way. Thanks to Pioneer. Pioneer boosts your yields by combining industry-leading R&D with rigorous local testing. At Pioneer, what's next happens here. Pioneer. Rob Brooks has an update on the Hawkeye sideline with Iowa trailing Penn State. 10 nothing in five minutes to play first half. Well, what really started as a mist has now become a light rain. The wind has picked up, but the Hawkeyes have the wind here in the second quarter. Dolphin, desperate need of a uh, nice drive to get some points on the board, get some momentum going into the halftime, see what the Hawks can do on this drive. But um, I wouldn't even call it like a, a medium type rain. It's just a light rain, enough to affect the passing game and making sure you got to secure that football. What's the wind doing, Robbie? It's, it's not too bad. Uh, it's okay. with the Hawkeyes right now here in the second quarter. It's been gusting, but I'd say right now under 10. Ohio State has gone to the half at South Bend, leading Notre Dame three to nothing. Here it's 10 nothing Penn State. All 10 points coming off Iowa mistakes, a fumble and a muff punt. Penn State got five turnovers at Illinois last week, scoring 20 points. They've got 10 here tonight. Talk about opportunistic. But let's see if the Hawks can. They're not out of it, certainly at 10 nothing, but see if they can get some points off this drive before halftime. Iowa goes back to the run, and LaShawn Williams is grabbed around the kneecaps as he got forward for a yard, maybe two, off the left side. Curtis Jacobs, that Sam linebacker, and Abdul Carter, the weak side backer, converge on the stop. You know they're going to gang up on the run here. Yep. And we had to pull back in the formation on that play. That would be Hayden Large. This is where it really hurts not to have Luke Lachey. Toss sweep to LaShawn. Tries to get the corner turn. No, nothing doing. Might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. But Penn State was looking for that. And the defensive end, Danny Dennis Sutton, just chased him down. Ran him, ran him out of room. Ran him into the boundary line for no gain. So it's third and long for the Hawkeyes. Clock running 4.05 to go in the first half. The defense would appreciate a first down or two by the Hawkeyes. Three receivers, a tight end, and a running back for Cade McMa uh, McNamara. He's in the gun. Here comes the blitz, and he has no chance to set up and throw. He got knocked to the ground pretty good there by a blitzing linebacker, and they have multiple blitz packages, and they've used a lot of them, and it's fourth down. Hawks will have to punt it away. Yeah, and we were trying to get a screen off the left side and uh, get the ball to the Sean Williams, but no way. There was people all over him. Penn State with 12 more minutes in time of possession here in the first half. Here comes Torrey Taylor's punt. He sends it into the breeze. A nice punt. And it's fumbled. And the Hawkeyes are trying to chase it down in the open field, and they can't get it. They My. can't get to it. 
that's the way it's gone here in the first half. As uh, punt returner Caden Saunders, that ball was doing some funny things into that wind, and he, he booted it forward and right at Cooper DeGene, but it glanced off Cooper and headed to the middle of the field where Saunders just beat him to the football. Boy, you talk about having the horseshoe. It's been in Penn State's pocket here in the first half. 52-yard punt by Torrey Taylor with 3.35 to go. The Hawks do gain some field position. Penn State will have it first and 10 at the 22 of the Nittany Lions. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye football. There's a timeout on the field. Let's go to John Swisher for a U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Finals today around the Big Ten and around the country. Dolph, Michigan winning earlier. It was Illinois beating Florida Atlantic. Nebraska holding off Louisiana, Louisiana Tech after that hour weather delay. Maryland over Michigan State 31-9. to Going on right now, almost halftime. It's Minnesota over Northwestern. The Wildcats just scoring in Evanston 21-7. to At halftime, as Dolph just mentioned, Ohio State beating Notre Dame 3 zero. Indiana is shutting out Akron 7-0. Almost the half in that one. America Rivers Conference today. Dubuque winning over Laura Central. Beat Luther and Co. Defeated Nebraska Wesleyan. Congratulations to the number one ranked Hawkeye women's field hockey team. A big victory last night. They got out of Ann Arbor uh, with a 2-0 win. Another shutout for Hawkeye field hockey, man, they're scoring a lot of goals, but they're also playing great defense. Just three shots on goal by the 18th, 14th ranked Michigan Wolverines. And now the Hawkeyes return home to Grant Field this week. Iowa drives tonight. Punt, fumble, punt, punt, punt. And muff punt. <laughs> a lot of words that begin with P there. Penn State, uh, which begins with P, has uh, 18 minutes and 23 seconds of time of possession. The Hawkeyes 8.02. That's you know, it's probably we're lucky you only be down 10 to nothing with those kind of numbers. Oh, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Joe Evans and Deontay Craig will be the defensive ends. Jeremiah Pittman comes out now. Another one of those outstanding young defensive tackles. He's with Aaron Graves as Phil Parker continues to shovel in fresh bodies. Here we go. The ball is actually, <coughs> excuse me, at the 13-yard line. So they gained about seven yards off that fumbled punt. Now here's a pass to the back out in the right flat. He got upfield for about... Uh, 10 or 11. That's going to be a first down. It's an amazing catch by that tailback. He's running sideways. The ball is up and behind him. That's Dante Cephas, who's used as a wide receiver as well. He lined up in the backfield. Boy, they've got so much talent. They don't have enough spots on the field for them all. Four receivers, including a tight end in this set, one running back, as the ball crosses the 20 to the 24. First and 10 for the Nittany Lions. They run that draw handoff, and Joe Evans chases down Nicholas Singleton from behind in the open field. A short gain. Clock runs with 2.45 remaining in the half. Penn State, you know, they're, they'd like to get another score here before the break. It's only 10 nothing off Iowa Miscues, and just a gain of a yard there. What a play by Evans. Yes, he really can run sideline to sideline. This is going to be a run. Tight end goes in motion. Twin receivers either side. Aller throws it to the back, and Singleton is knocked off his wheels by a crunching blow delivered by Nicholas Jackson, who played through a block and then literally sacked the tailback for about a four-yard loss. Yeah, that is an amazing play. You can tell that he's had a lot of experience out there because to run through that block, knowing it was coming, and get the tailback for a loss. Three-time All-ACC linebacker transferred in from Virginia delivers a Spahn and Rose hammer hit. You could hear the popping of the pads up here. 
Now the Hawks got a hold on third down and 15. Almost a six-yard loss. Good pressure. Aller gets rid of it, and it's incomplete. Up near the 35-yard line. Good coverage on the tight end. Their outstanding tight end, Tyler Warren. Jamari Harris. You can tell he's rounding into shape yep. after missing last year. Yep. He's looked good tonight, and, and so uh, Nick, uh, Nick Jackson was in the area, too, and he has really come along as a linebacker for us this year. Off the incomplete pass, they bring in Wosu, the kickoff man. He must be their long punter. Or is it Riley Thompson? Yeah, it is Riley Thompson. I misread the number. And he gets the punt across midfield to the 42-yard line where Cooper DeGene is downed. And so good field position here, Eddie, with still a minute 30 to go. The Hawkeyes have one timeout remaining in the first half. Yeah, that's the same type of punt that hit uh, one of our blockers in the back. So here we go, Hawks. Hawkeyes with two first downs in the first half. The turnovers have really hurt their momentum. Let's see if they can put a drive together before the intermission and get back within striking distance. McNamara's in the gun. LaShawn Williams trying to block for him. McNamara rolls right, now throws it to LaShawn, and he brings it across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Little drag route with the tailback. Yeah, and he was... McNamara had to run out of the pocket because he was getting pressured out of it. Gain of three, almost four. Ball at the 46, 47-yard line. Here comes the blitz. Cade is hit as he throws the ball, and it goes out of bounds. As coming off the edge for Penn State was Danny Dennis Sutton. Trying to add to his only sack of the year, but McNamara's arm was coming forward. It goes as an incomplete pass, and it's third down and seven. Well, I'm guessing you're going to get blitz here again. Now Eric Hall is in there to block off that left side where Sutton is. He, he takes a wide angle, a wide rush angle. Penn State has three, six, seven, eight guys up on the line of scrimmage, and here they come. McNamara swarmed under and sacked back at the 35-yard line. Hawks could see it coming, and they couldn't. They got outnumbered, and Adisa Isaac gets the uh, the knockdown of McNamara, so Iowa will have to punt it away again. They really had nobody held up at all on that uh, particular pass protection. Um, no chance for McNamara. Well, you were hoping the Hawks could at least run out the clock and get to the locker room for readjustments at uh, a deficit of 10-0, but now they've got to punt it back to Penn State. And that means Caden Saunders is standing at his own 20. Torrey Taylor, who's been leg-weary, gets away a nice line drive that hits at the 20, bounds inside the 10, heading for the end zone. The Hawks fall on it at the 2. Great job of hustling downfield again. I think it was Cooper DeGene. And Penn State, well, they're going to spot it at the 1-yard line. 46 seconds to go in the half. Penn State leading here as we approach halftime. 10 to nothing. Scored a field goal off an Iowa fumble when the Hawks drove the ball down to the Penn State 18 early in the game. Came the other way and nailed a 47-yard field goal. And then on a muff punt that hit Brez, uh, Brendan Dees, Adez Fernandez in the back, who was trying to block a would-be Penn State tackler, uh, the Nittany Lions took it in from short range and scored their only touchdown. 62-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. The Nittany Lions just try and run it out for any old kind of room. Hawks have just one timeout left. And they won't use it. Clock is rolling with 34 seconds to play. Well, they will use it. Never know. You might be able to reach in there and pry the ball. Yeah, loose. you know. The, Couldn't do it, it from Ed Podolak. He'd hang on to it. Could be a fumble. 
And we've ma- we've made safeties in this area before too. We have, like last week. Hawks used their third and final timeout after the tackle on Catron Allen. So Penn State with 160 yards of offense in the first half to 63 for the Hawkeyes. Penn State with 20 and a half minutes in time of possession. Hawks 847. As lopsided as the statistics are, Iowa trails it only by 10-0. Yeah, I mean, and with the time of possession being what it's been, it's amazing that we're still only 10 points behind and what unfortunate uh... well mistakes are one thing mistakes on the road in a top 10 ranked teams building almost impossible to overcome Aller will take a knee he actually quarterback sneaks it out to the five this is very Nate Stanley Spencer Petrus looking here with the way they do their quarterback sneaks with that big old quarterback so halftime is here. The Hawks are down by only 10 nothing. Penn State will get the ball to start the second half. I'd say the only um, issue that we really need to concentrate on at halftime is pass blocking for our quarterback, who's had no chance uh, to throw the football. Well... We'll talk about that when we come back. 10 nothing at the half, Penn State. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Is it just me, or is it always a struggle to take a good family pic? Between getting everyone to smile and finding outfits, it's not easy. Luckily, Kohl's has 15% off styles that are perfect for our upcoming photos. And the rest of fall, too. I got myself a flannel for $27.99. My daughter, jeans for $24.99. And more. Plus, I earned Kohl's cash, which put a smile on my face. Now, to get one on everyone else's. Select styles. Offer in September 24th. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Football. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, this has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half. Hawkeye football is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football, Bud and Mary's, Cannabis for the People, U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa football, U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC, and by... Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Back at Penn State, Gary Dolphin with former Hawkeye great Ed Podolak. We're at halftime. Nittany Lions have a 10 0 lead on uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, Penn State with a couple early penalties. Uh, put themselves uh, in a precarious position. The Iowa defense playing at a high level. The Hawkeyes drove the ball into Nittany Lion territory. And then on a third and fairly long, a little misdirection, a little trickery, a shovel pass to tight end Eric All. He got inside the 20 to the 18, had the first down. But as he was going to the ground, the ball came out. Penn State recovered, drove it downfield, and kicked a 47-yard field goal. Hawkeye defense continued to play at a high level midway through the second period, forcing a punt. It was a short punt, probably intentional, 
and toward the sideline that hit one of the Hawkeye uh, downfield blockers, Brez, uh, Brendan Diaz Fernandez, uh, in this situation, hit him right uh, square in the back and bounded off onto the turf. Cooper DeGene couldn't quite get there to recover. Penn State did. And with that short field, they drove in for a touchdown. Point after try makes it 10 nothing, And that's where we sit at halftime. Uh, Eddie, uh, the Iowa offense unable to do anything after that uh, Eric All turnover uh, with this Penn State defense. Yeah, early in the game, uh, we cut the field in half for two different drives. And on the second one, would have had a field goal for sure. We were in field goal range uh, when the fumble happened. But then after that, it just kind of looked like all the momentum went over to Penn State. They kept getting us in third and long situations and putting so much pressure on McNamara that uh, nothing worked. 11 first downs to two in favor of Penn State. 162 total yards to 63 in favor of Penn State. But 30 minutes of football left. The Hawks are only down 10 nothing. Penn State will get the ball to start the second half. 10-0 Nittany Lions at the break. Back uh, on our Bud Light Halftime Show in a minute. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. The Hawkeyes play here. This is Iowa football from Learfield. Trained, you practiced, you sacrificed for the team, you gave maximum effort and left it all on the field. Now life has a different use for your skills, a greater call to play on the field where victory is measured, not in the win column, but in the lives of the friends, family, and country you'll serve. With world-class training, we'll coach you to be excellent in all you do. Don't defer your dreams. Live close to home, serve around the world, and play for America's home team, the Air National Guard. At the Machine Shed, award-winning pork entrees are our specialty. Try the Parmesan Crusted America's Cut, char-broiled and served with a mushroom white wine sauce, or a roasted stuffed Iowa chop. This center-cut bone-in chop is stuffed with an apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Your meal is never complete without one of our homemade apple dumplings. See you for dinner. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Halftime Iowa trails Penn State 10 to nothing. Our halftime coverage is brought to you by Seat Geek, a Seat Geek. Let's take a look at the halftime stat sheet, courtesy of Seat Geek. Seat Geek, now the official fan to fan ticket marketplace of the Iowa Hawkeyes. I mentioned 160 total yards to 63 for Penn State over the Hawks. Penn State has thrown for 100, run for 62. Hawkeyes have 42 yards through the air, 21 on the ground. Penn State with two penalties for 25. Hawkeyes penalized just one time, but of course the two turnovers really hurt. Third down, that's been another glaring stat. Hawks one for six. Penn State not much better, two for ten. Iowa's had the ball for just under nine minutes. Penn State has had it for 21 minutes and 13 seconds. That has been a huge stat, and the offense needs to put some drives together in the second half against a very tough Penn State uh, defense, uh, or that Iowa offense just is going to wear down as time goes on. The Hawkeyes have uh, lost a couple fumbles, one the muff punt, the other by Eric All reaching for that first down. Individually, Drew Aller 
15 of 23 for 100 yards and a touchdown throw. Cade McNamara, 5 of 13 for 42 yards. LaShawn Williams, Iowa's leading rusher. Five attempts, nine yards. Ouch. Allen has 33 yards rushing on 11 carries for Penn State. So the Hawks are giving great effort on defense. Uh, the turnover is the difference in the game. 10 0 Penn State at the break. We're back after a scoreboard. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. There is a hero in all of us. Pioneer is proud to partner with Iowa and Nebraska for the Pioneer Heroes game. Together, we want to recognize and celebrate local heroes who positively impact their community and who stand as inspirations to others. If you have a family member or a community member you'd like to recognize, please nominate them at HawkeyeSports.com slash hero. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate farmers during the ANF game on October 21st. For more information and to win tickets to the game, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. The Hawkeyes play here. Touchdown, Iowa! This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over. Hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Live from the Learfield Network Studios, this is the College Scoreboard. And for Master Control, I'm Bo Lewis at the half. Iowa trailing Penn State by a score of 10 to nothing. Let's check the out-of-town scoreboard. The U.S. Bank scoreboard update elsewhere in the Big Ten. Michigan beat Rutgers 31 to 7. It was Illinois over Florida Atlantic 23-17. Michigan State lost to Maryland 31 to 9. Nebraska doubling up Louisiana Tech 28-14. And at the half, Ohio State leads Notre Dame 3 to nothing. Indiana is leading Akron 7-3, and Minnesota leads Northwestern 21-7. Also, Iowa State today beat Oklahoma State 34-27 in an exciting back-and-forth game. Other games that are underway at this hour, LSU leads Arkansas 17-13. It's Washington State doubling up Oregon State 28-14. Florida leads Charlotte 19-7. Georgia 28-14 over UAB. Texas leads Baylor 28-3. And North Carolina up 20-14 on Pitt. The late games, USC on the road at Arizona State. Washington welcomes Cal. That's the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. You can bank on us. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. This is Iowa Hawkeye football from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... 
the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Hawkeye football is on the air. He's at the 15. He's inside the 10. This is Iowa football from Learfield. Hawk fans, are you looking to travel in style like the Iowa Hawkeyes? Windstar Lines provides luxury charter bus service, van service, and employee shuttles. We travel throughout the Midwest, providing ground transportation service to or from anywhere in the continental United States and Canada. With multiple locations throughout the Midwest, call Windstar Lines to transport your group. Our friendly, safe drivers will get you to your destination in style. Visit GoWindstar.com to book your travel plans today. Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. This has been the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Hawkeye Football is brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Pioneer, what's next happens here since 1926. And by 988 Lifeline, there is hope. 24-7, 24-7, call, text, or chat, 988. Welcome back to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes. With Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield, here's Gary Dolphin with a Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield second half. And it could be a very interesting second half. A heavy drizzle, not rain, but a heavy mist is now a swirling around the stadium here at State College, Pennsylvania, where Penn State is holding on to a 10-0 lead at the intermission. Penn State will get the football to start the second half. The Hawkeyes uh, and Penn State specialty teams are back out on the field testing the breeze. Uh, The winds uh, have picked up slightly, and the kickers and the long snappers in particular tossing that wet pigskin around now out there at center field. The Hawkeyes try and get some kind of spark out of the offense with its first possession in the second half, but it doesn't look like the elements are going to allow any downfield uh, passes of uh, medium or deep range. So whoever gets the running game going first certainly has the upper hand. Our uh, halftime stat recap is courtesy of SeatGeek. Whether you're buying or selling football tickets, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek so Hawk fans can fan. Good turnout from Iowa. Made the drive out here. We met a number of them last night at the hotel and again today at the Hawkeye Huddle down the street at the Happy Valley Brewing Company. Great job by Kevin Collins and John Dwyer. And others associated with the uh, the iClub. Now the Hawks have 30 minutes to rally and move past the seventh-ranked Nittany Lions. Iowa comes into tonight also at 3-0 and and ranked 22nd in the country and have given great effort, just unable to get anything going offensively. The one drive, they have put together the majority of their yardage on that one drive that reached the Penn State 18-yard line on a tight end shovel pass, and Eric All couldn't secure the football as he was going to the ground. Penn State recovered it. They drove the other way, and... Ended up kicking a 47-yard field goal, which put the Nittany Lions up 3-0. 
field goal by Gabriel Wosu. Check that. Alex Falcons kicked the field goal from 47 yards. Midway through the second period, the Hawks forced a Penn State fumble. And uh, punter Riley Thompson, he too from uh, Melbourne, Australia, kicked it to the sideline. And it hit uh, punt blocker uh, Brendan Des Fernandez. He had his back to the ball. Well, let's go down with Rob Brooks and Kirk Ferentz. Coach, a couple of tough breaks there in the first half, but uh, you feel uh, decent that it's only 10 nothing. Yeah, we got to play through those. It's uh, yeah, the, both of them were tough ones. You know, guys are giving a really good effort right now, and uh, we got off to a good start offensively. Try to right back to the start, just make some first downs, see if we can't get some going. Yeah, is that kind of the key, just uh, play clean football and keep that effort going? I, I think so, yeah. Just uh, can't press right now. We got to try to be balanced. Move the thing, and then uh, defensively just keep digging. Hopefully a turnover or two waiting for us. Coach, thanks very much. Rob. And they're out there. Uh, that ball squirted away a couple of times, and uh, it just seems like uh, nothing has gone the Hawkeyes' way here in the first two quarters as far as a, a break, and obviously you can make your own. We'll see if uh, that tide turns a little bit here in the third and fourth quarters. Yeah, on that punt uh, before uh, uh, Kirk came out to talk to you, Robbie, on that one punt midway through the... <clears throat> First half, it hit Bre uh, Brendan Des Fernandez. And Eddie, uh, you great special teams player for a lot of years with the Chiefs. Uh, it's hard to blame uh, uh, Des Fernandez, all this noise. He just didn't get his head around, and he assumed they were punting the ball toward Cooper DeGene, which normally they do. But credit Penn State more than you discredit Iowa there. He muffed the punt, and Penn State recovered it, and that led to a short field and their only touchdown of the night. It's really a fluke. You know, you, uh, a play like that should never happen because you know you can get the people out of the way by yelling and telling them to with, with your hands to cross it off get out of the way but you know there was so much noise and it was such a short run that um it let's Put it this way, it certainly wasn't planned by the punter to go that way. And it took Penn State 10 plays to go 39 yards uh, before uh, quarterback Drew Aller found little-used tight end Khalil Dinkins in the back of the end zone. Great pass protection. Point after try was, uh, was good by Falcons. And there you have it. 10 nothing. Penn State lead on a 46-yard field goal by Falcons. And uh, the one drive off the muff punt. Penn State won the toss, deferred. So the Hawkeyes will kick off to start the second half. How about a three and out here, buddy boy, to start this second half with the, with the drizzle and the mist filtering through the air. Well, that would be terrific. And, I, you know, the defense has played really well in the first half. And uh, Penn State's been very conservative in their play calling. It comes a run-up by Drew Stevens and the kickoff. And tailback Nicholas Singleton will just let it sail through and out the back of the end zone. Penn State will come out and put it in play. It's a great time to join the Iowa Lottery's free VIP club. Members receive free plays, special offers, insider news, and can enter promotions to win cash and other great prizes. Visit IALottery.com slash VIP and learn more. Let us know where you're listening in tonight around the Midwest or around the country here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Our Twitter page is at Gary Dolphin. And Facebook at Facebook.com slash Voice of the Hawks. We'd love to give you a, a shout-out. Here's a play fake and a throw to the tight end. And wrestling him out of bounds is Kyler Fisher. Nice play fake to the tailback, and they released it to Theo Johnson, the tight end. He's been involved. He's got four catches for 24 yards. Lambert Smith has four catches for 32 yards. Eric Hall has three grabs to lead Iowa receivers for 35 yards. And, of course, the fumble. Eric was given great effort on that play, but couldn't put it away. Gain of three or four. It's second down. Oh, a big hole on the draw play. And reaching for the first down. Now breaking through the second level of defenders and getting out near midfield. First big run of the night for either team, Nicholas Singleton. Boy, he was stopped for a short gain and brought it out to the 47. 
again, everybody's slippery and sliding around out there. And a, a big gain of about 20. First and 10 for Penn State. They try to get their running game going. Here's Aller with a tight end in motion. Again, the draw, same play. Draw handoff to Singleton, and he's knocked down after a short gain of two or three. Yeah, they just, their big, strong offensive lineman just put a hat on the person that's in front of them and just start pushing them any way they want to go, and the back's supposed to read it. It's just a draw handoff. Kyler Fisher with another tackle. Now here's a, a throw that clearly slipped out of the hand of Aller. He had a, a wide out. Dante Cephas wide open on a, a stop and go and then a turnout. Square out near the Iowa 40-yard line. The ball got to within 10 yards of it, maybe. Well, and that could be that the receiver ran the wrong Well, good too. point. I never thought of that. Third down. Third down and seven. Now Penn State. One of six on third down, so the Hawks have done a good job tonight there. Let's see if they can force a punt. Plenty of time to throw and a first down catch on a deep slant. Catch made by Keandre Smith. Keandre Lambert Smith. Sebastian Castro trying to keep up, but he had all the time in the world to throw. Yep, and nobody in his face. He steps up to throw the ball, too, so... Gain of 10 for the first down. They needed seven and got it. And now in Iowa territory at the 42. Slot receiver goes in motion. Here's the handoff up the left side to Singleton again. He was their featured back in the first half. We haven't seen their best receiver tonight, Harrison Wallace. He was iffy, injured, and he hasn't seen the field. At least not that I've seen him. Logan Lee with the stop after a gain of a yard. For Singleton. Second down, nine. Ball shy of the Iowa 40. Out of the gun, Aller. Fakes the handoff to Singleton. A quick throw to the left side, caught by Smith. And he's working one on one on Jamari Harrison. Gets the first down to the Iowa 31. Well, if he has that kind of time, he's going to pick him apart. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you've got to respect him. You can't come up and. Put your nose right on the receiver. Three minutes used in the third quarter on this opening drive by Penn State. And they have another first down. Again out of the gun. Here's the snap and the draw handoff to Singleton. And he's pushed back after a gain of two or three to the Iowa 27. He's just plowing into that Iowa defensive front. Jay Higgins with the stop. Here's the size of the O-line for Penn State. Well, they, they go without a huddle, so we'll get back to action here. Aller, quick handoff this time to the backup tailback, Katron Allen, and he doesn't go far. Ethan Herkett again in on the play. Penn State, left tackle is 6'6", 317. Left guard, 6'5", 335. Center 6'3", 320. The right guard 6'3", 325. And the right tackle 6'5", 328. Yep. Uh, that's um, a, lot of a lot of breakfast food there. Take care of those guys. Disappear under those blue jerseys. Hawks have them third and long again. Third and seven. Let's see if they can at least force a try for a field goal. Well, they run the draw handoff and running for the first down on the counter draw. Big hole for Katron Allen. That's a good call there, Ed. Uh, Hawks uh, obviously thinking pass. Yeah, that's the cleanest that they've blocked the Iowa line the whole night. Now they're in the red zone at the 19 after a gain of eight, almost nine. Clock is shed four and a half minutes here in the third period. 10 nothing Penn State. And they're certainly in field goal range now. Here's the draw handoff again to Allen. He waits for the blockers to throw their 330 pounds around and then takes off, but not much. Good job by the Hawks up front. They close down there. Y.A. Black with the push back. Deontay Craig, Ethan Herkett. Gain of a couple, second down eight. Iowa's won the last two games in this series, including 23-20. Last time they played in Iowa City. Second down, second down eight at the 
just inside the 18-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Quarterback Aller in the gun. Looks right, throws right, has a man wide open at the five. And Keandre Smith gets near the goal line before he's shoved out of bounds. Cooper DeGene was given ground down there in that slippery turf. And Lambert Smith takes it to the three. They say he's out of bounds at the three. First and goal there after a gain of 14. Yeah, the quarterback read that it was man-to-man coverage in that situation, and that receiver just ran a tremendous pattern on Cooper DeGene. They wing a tight end right. Stack receivers behind each other to the left. Now that back receiver goes in motion. Here's Aller. Hawks are blitzing, and Aller throws it away. Phil Parker picked a good time to dial it up as he sent Nick Jackson, the linebacker. And Aller just had to pitch that one and live for the next down. Clock stop with 8.58 to go third quarter, 10-0 Penn State. Yeah, smart play by the quarterback. Just threw it out of the back of the end zone. It was first and goal on the four. And he wasn't rated a five-star for nothing coming out of high school. Now he's up under center. Three backs standing behind him, right one in line. And they run the quarterback sneak. And Aller squeezes out a yard, maybe. That's a lot of big bodies running into each other down there, Ed. Yeah, and had two backs behind him also who went up in there. I tell you, that quarterback is a prized possession, and he's run four quarterback sneaks. <laughs> so they're... They're not worried about his health, obviously. Penn State has third and goal just outside the two. And, no, oh, they fake on the run, a roll out right. Aller throws it back to a wide-open receiver caught for a touchdown. Threw it back to the backside. And Tyler Warren, 6'6", tight end, he's a big target, has his third touchdown catch of the year. Now, that drive was a thing of beauty. Several third and long conversions by Penn State, and the Nittany Lions are now up 16 to nothing. And I'm sure that was um, at halftime, it was Franklin's message you know, we get the ball, we got to drive down, score. Get some points, and they get a touchdown. As the mist increases, the drizzle falls harder. Here's the try for point after, and it is good by Alex Falcons. Timeout on the field. Penn State uses half of the third quarter or thereabouts and marches 75 yards to the end zone. 15 plays in just under seven minutes. Six, uh, 17 to nothing. Nittany Lions. Hawkeyes have the ball when we come back. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Game day with Hawkeye Village. Get game tickets, free game extravaganza, all you can eat, drinks, and more. Perfect for groups or families. Limited availability. Call 800-424-2957 or email group-sales at hawkeyesports.com. Join the Hawkeye excitement at Hawkeye Village. What's the best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors, we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Bud and Aries online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Hempstead. Product Ontario Thompson down on the field. 
not down, literally down, but in the middle of that special teams huddle. Had a big block uh, punt for a safety. Young man out of Dubuque. He hasn't had his chances tonight because Penn State's hogged the football, Ed. Yep. 27 minutes and 53 seconds in time of possession to 847 for Iowa. It's tough to win when you don't have the football. No. And when you get those kind of unusual breaks. Yeah, two Iowa turnovers led to two scores. Ten of the 17 Penn State points. They just had a drive of beauty, though. 75 yards, 15 plays. And a two-yard touchdown pass to the tight end, Tyler Warren from Drew Aller. Point after good at 17-0 is the Penn State kickoff. Is on the way, and that's out the back of the end zone. Box will have it for the first time here in the third quarter with 8.20 to play in the period. As a full-service Yamaha golf car distributor, Harris Golf Cars has one of the largest inventories of new and used golf cars and utility vehicles in the Midwest. And Harris Golf Cars offers the best variety of sales and service with a huge parts inventory and service for all brands. Harris Golf Cars, located throughout Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. See if the Hawks can get their pitching wedge going 100 yards, or in this case, 75 yards. Deep drop by McNamara. Hands off to LaShawn Williams, and not much. Probes the left side of that line. Penn State's there to shut it down. Kevin Winston, the safety, came up. They're just going to crowd that line of scrimmage the rest of this game, Ed, and dare Iowa to throw the football. No gain for LaShawn. Now you do want to throw it, and so you're going to get blitz. Hawkeyes with just 21 rushing yards to this point. McNamara in the gun. Three receivers and a tight end. He's hit as he throws. That's incomplete. And right on cue, Ed called the blitz. And they're firing off. Uh, Chop Robinson came not totally free, but he blew past his man at the line of scrimmage and gave Kate a good shot. Now third down, 10 for the Hawkeyes. We've seen a lot of three and outs tonight. Hopefully not here. Regani and Deontay Vines line one behind the other in the far hash. Williams alone setback. Seth Anderson to the short side of the field. Ball's fumbled. The snap is fumbled on the exchange or the shotgun snap to Cade McNamara. That pig is wet. And I think Cade got back on it to avoid a third turnover. But he loses three or four yards. And the Hawks will punt it away. Yeah, there were eight uh, people in the box all coming. Torrey Taylor will come on to punt. Here's the snap from center. Torrey runs to his right and then hits a booming drive. High hanger. Caught. Fair caught at the 30-yard line. And Penn State has the ball right back with 6.51 to go. Iowa had the ball for about a minute and a half there. And give it right back to the Nittany Lions, trailing 17 to nothing. With just under seven minutes to play third quarter, this is Hawkeye football from Learfield. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Can you think of anything that costs the same today as it did 10 years ago? There isn't much. That is, unless you're a mid-American energy customer. Thanks to all the renewable energy we're generating, our customers pay nearly the same rate for electricity today as they did back when we were all singing, Call Me Maybe. 
And with MidAmerican making even more investments in clean energy, you can count on enjoying those same affordable rates for the next decade. Now that's obsessively, relentlessly at your service. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Welcome back to uh, Hawkeye football from Penn State, where the Nittany Lions have the lead. 17 to nothing, and now have the ball back following Torrey Taylor's sixth punt of the night. Time of possession is amazing. 28 minutes for Penn State, a little over 10 for the Hawkeyes. Just unable to do anything uh, with the Penn State defense. And now that ball is awfully slippery. Evidence the fumble from center by Kate McNamara a moment ago. Fortunately, he got on it. And a, a great punt by Torrey Taylor. Uh, just over 50 yards. Fair caught. Now Penn State has it right back. Well, I'm guessing they're going to keep it on the ground. Ed, not take any chances in this uh, driving drizzle. Well, I think you'll see that. That inside draw, and then he'll throw the short, quick out pattern off of that. Aller's done a terrific job engineering this Penn State offense tonight. He's 20 of 30, throwing for 137 yards, and now two touchdowns. And here's the inside draw again, and a nice gain on first down of five or six. Off the left side by Catron Allen. It's quite a one-two punch, isn't it, Allen and uh, Nicholas Singleton? Yeah. I mean, we're pretty proud of our running backs when they're healthy, and right now that's not the case. Here's a fake on the draw handoff. Aller tries to run out around the corner, gets the first down. He slides out of bounds. Jay Higgins, Xavier Wampa, force him into the chalk. Yeah, they're going to run safe plays, just try to pick up four, five, six yards on every play. First downs. Clock consumption. And wait the snap. Allen has 50 yards on 15 carries as a running back. And here he comes again. Stop and go move. Waits for those, as Ed calls them, big old blue does up front to move people out of the way. And another five-yard gain on first down. Boy, their, their runs on first down have been spectacular. Yeah. And that's what they're designed to do, pick up five yards again and again and again and again. Jay Higgins on the tackle. Tonight's attendance, 110,830. That's 4,000 over capacity on whiteout night. Play fake, and here's a throw to the tight end. First down, getting yep. up to uh, across midfield. We got a flag over here, and I. it's... Um, on the short side of the field. Yeah, on. number one's helmet is knocked off, and he's pointing at um, Cooper DeGene. Well, perhaps a uh, frustration foul on Cooper. Personal foul, face mask, defense number three, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. It's a 15 yard penalty from the end of the play which went for a first down, gain of about 10. Now 15 more will put the ball all the way down at the Iowa 29. Keandre Lambert-Smith, who has hurt the Hawkeyes tonight, he's got seven catches for 63 yards with a long of 14. And he just picked up 15 there after the face mask called on Cooper, who was arguing his case, but to no avail. First major penalty on the Hawkeyes. So Penn State driving deep again into uh, Iowa territory, leading 17 to nothing. Aller's going to throw. Does, oh man, wide open tailback. And fortunately for the Hawkeyes, as he turned up field, he slipped and fell down. Gained six to the Iowa 24, just inside the 24 yard line. Now they move it back outside the 24. So call it a, a gain of five. Second down five. That 
would have gone for a whole lot more had not Singleton or Catron Allen slipped on the wet turf. Now the snap. Now the draw handoff again to uh, Allen. And he bulldozes his way down to the 21. That's a gain of almost four. State faces third and short, leading 17 to nothing with four minutes to go third quarter. 110,830. That's the second biggest crowd in Penn State history here in attendance on whiteout night. A wet, rainy whiteout night. Are they laying on the rafters up here on well, top? They, they must be, or they're standing in the aisles. And they like what they're seeing. Third down along two. Now Allen goes in motion. Here's a handoff to him as he comes back. Gets the first down inside the 20 to the 16. Boy, they're throwing a lot of misdirection at this Iowa defense. Well, you know, and by this time in the game, you've got offensive linemen and defensive linemen who have been matched up so many times that you can start figuring out what you need to do to walk somebody by the way that they get off the ball and There's a gain of five more and here comes the tailback Catron Allen he slithers out of a couple would-be tacklers a lot of wet jerseys and helmets and bodies out there and he squirms forward for almost uh, six on first down second down four the drive has reached the Hawkeye 12 yard line Penn State threatening again with 2.45 to play third quarter and leading 17 to nothing. Katron Allen, he is a load. They wing two tight ends. He's going to do an inside run again. Waits for the big old blockers to forge. Yeah, he's still on his feet. They're still pushing the pile to the nine, which should be enough for a first down, a gain of four or five more. Yeah, he's one of those... 5'11", 225, 220, 220. guys. We've seen a few of those here at yeah. uh, Levi Mitchell. Yeah. We've seen a few here, of those here at uh, Franco Harris. Well, Franco was about 6'3", but this guy's 5'11", <laughs> and he's probably 5'9". Franco was easily 225, 30 pounds. Yeah. Slot receiver goes in motion on first and goal for the Lions, and here's the running back, Allen for maybe a yard. Penn State offensive lineman is slow to get up. That's 330-pound Caden Wallace out of Robbinsville, New Jersey. The Hun School. Second down goal. The ball at the eight. Penn State content to run and run the clock. A minute 28 to go third quarter. Now the Hawkeyes might get caught for too many men on the field. No, nope, he's going to get off the field in time. And the uh, Lions go empty. Five receivers in the set. Allard looks right to left, steps up in the pocket, and throws it out the back of the end zone. Looking for his tight end again, Tyler Warren. But got the tuba man. <laughs> threw, threw it right in the silo of the tuba. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dan and Mike are tuned in on their way home from uh, Coach Rick Heller's 60th birthday party. How that about that, uh, Coach Heller? Yeah, it doesn't seem possible. No, he doesn't look 60. Rick Heller party in Iowa City tonight. Well, congratulations, Coach, on reaching the big 6-0. And, of course, a phenomenal job coaching Hawkeye baseball. Diamond formation of receivers right, single receiver left. That's Keandre Smith. Look out for him on third down and goal from the Iowa 8. Aller, plenty of time. Throws, caught, touchdown. And it's his favorite tight end, Tyler Warren. He's caught two now. And Penn State has pulled away to a 23-0 lead with the point after try to come. Hawks have no answer for the Penn State balance on offense. And a lot of that has to do with that defense just spending three quarters of the night on the field. 34 minutes to 10 in time of possession. I'm not sure I've ever seen some, a stat that lopsided in time of possession. Ed. Well, and I hate to ask you how many first downs we have. 
Well, don't ask me. I'll tell you. It's 21 to 2. 21 first downs to 2. That's the kind of tough night the Iowa offense has had, especially after the uh, the two turnovers in the first half that led to 10 Penn State points. Back to uh, State College in a minute. Not happy Valley tonight for the Hawkeyes, at least not to this point. 101 to play third quarter. And Penn State with the lead 24 to nothing. This is Hawkeye football from Murfield. There is a hero in all of us. Pioneer is proud to partner with Iowa and Nebraska for the Pioneer Heroes game. Together we want to recognize and celebrate local heroes who positively impact their community and who stand as inspirations to others. If you have a family member or a community member you'd like to recognize, please nominate them at HawkeyeSports.com slash hero. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakville is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oakville.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! At the Machine Shed, award-winning pork entrees are our specialty. Try the Parmesan Crusted America's Cut. Char-broiled and served with a mushroom white wine sauce or a roasted stuffed Iowa chop. This center cut bone in chop is stuffed with a apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Your meal is never complete without one of our homemade apple dumplings. See you for dinner. I 80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I 80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Penn State faithful whooping it up on uh, whiteout night. They've all but turned the lights out on the Hawkeyes, leading 24 0 with a minute to go in the third period after another Penn State score, another Penn State drive, time-consuming drive of almost six minutes, 71 yards, 12 plays. And on third and goal from the seven, a short touchdown throw. Drew Aller to his tight end, Tyler Warren. Aller's 22 of 34 for 153 yards and two touchdowns. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. From State College, PA, you're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football. Touchback on the uh, kickoff by Wosu. It'll be Iowa ball at the 25 with just over a minute to play third quarter. Hawkeye football has been brought to you tonight by Iowa Corn. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn benefits the entire state, feeds our livestock, nourishes our families, and provides homegrown, clean, burning fuel for our vehicles. Thank you, Iowa's corn farmers. Harvest is underway. Shotgun snap coming up to Cade McNamara, and he's knocked down and the ball comes loose and Penn State has it. Been a rough second half for the Iowa offensive line especially on that left side trying to block Chop Robinson. He karate chopped his way to uh, Cade McNamara and the Hawks have turned it over for a third time. Isaac, uh, Adisa Isaac fell on the fumble and Penn State has the ball right back. First and 10 with uh, 56 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We'll step out and come back to State College after this. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Kubota tractors offer ultimate versatility with the quality and reliability you need to do the job right. Stop by and get the number one selling tractor brand in the Midwest for a great price. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% APR for 84 months. Now through September 30th, 2023. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Check out Kubota's winning lineup. Visit KubotaUSA.com to find your local dealer. 
Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 56 seconds to play third quarter. Penn State has the ball right back after the Iowa turnover. Cade McNamara never had a chance as the defensive end, Chop Robinson, came flying in off the right side. Blew past uh, the attempted block by Mason Richmond. You know, footing's got to be an issue for those offensive linemen. He's trying to get in posture at this point, Ed. And the wet turf and the rain falling and... Robinson got to to the blind side of Cade McNamara, and as Cade was stepping up to throw, he knocked the ball loose before he had a chance to move the football and the arm forward. The ball recovered by Isaac, the other defensive end. This Penn State defense is legit, Eddie, and they got the ball back now at the 18-yard line of the Hawkeyes, and that weary defense is back out on the field. Penn State leading 24 to nothing. They have feasted on turnovers. Play fake and a throw to the tight end off the right edge, and he dances forward for a couple yards. Heck of a play by Jay Higgins. Got over there and limited the damage. He got to the uh, 16. That's a gain of two. Second down eight. Theo Johnson. Their second most used tight end. Number one, of course, is Allen. Or Warren, excuse me. On second down and long, here's a run into the middle. They've had success much the way Iowa did last week against Western Michigan. And this time, zigging and zagging is Nicholas Singleton to the Iowa uh, 14. So good job of the defense limiting that game to two. Third and five, but here's where... Penn State's been really good, not only in the red zone, but on third down. Yeah, and you know, when you, when you talk to Coach uh, Franklin in pregame, he said people say, hey, we don't throw the ball down the field enough. You're just throwing those little short passes. Well, he said we can throw it down the field, but it seems to be working pretty good throwing these little short passes. That's for sure. Allard, 24 for 35, 163 yards and three touchdowns. And he has Penn State out front 24-0 after three quarters. Back with the fourth period here in just a minute. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. 
True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Hawkeye football from Penn State. Big Ten opener for Iowa has been uh, sour to say the least. Turnovers put the Hawkeyes in a 10-0 hole at halftime. Uh, Turnovers have continued here, and uh, Penn State's offense just overwhelming. A 24-0 lead through three quarters. Before we go to the fourth quarter, let's get some other scores, other finals around the country today and tonight in the Big Ten. And around the Midwest, here's John Swisher, courtesy of U.S. Bank. Dolph games going on right now. Notre Dame beating Ohio State 14-10. That's midway through the fourth quarter. Indiana just scoring to go up on Akron 14-10. That's a late in quarter number three. Minnesota all over Northwestern in Evanston 31-10. Gophers almost to the fourth quarter. Iowa State winning earlier today, 34-27 at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames over Oklahoma State. And uh, one more final from the American Rivers today, Wartburg beating up on Simpson, 63-0. Co Central and Dubuque also winning today. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Authentic Brand. Hawk fans, we're bringing you live game day coverage in the incredible style and comfort of Authentic Brand. Sporting, it's a little chilly and rainy here in State College, so we have our pullover jackets on tonight. Ask for Authentic Brand by name at your local retailers or visit Authentic-Brand.com for a 24-7 shopping experience. All right, Penn State faces third and five after the Iowa fumble, and they run straight ahead and plow for the first down inside the five to about the four, just straight ahead running by Nicholas Singleton. Nick Jackson uh, prevented any further damage, but Penn State has first and goal. Well, actually, they're just outside the 10. It is a fourth down in less than a yard, and they've been running Aller, the uh, quarterback, all night long in that situation, and he gets another first down. Behind that offensive line that averages uh, 325. Nothing fancy with the Nittany Lions, Ed. They just keep pounding on that middle run. Yeah, and you know, those big old linemen, that uh, number 74, Fasunu, that he's considered the number one tra- draft choice as an t- uh, offensive tackle this year. A left tackle, in- indeed. Uh, here's a tackle for loss by Logan Lee. Good job by Logan. He's in that B gap, and he flew through there, split two offensive lineman and grab Nicholas Singleton from behind so he's back outside the 10 at the 11 second down goal loss of a yard after the quarterback sneak got him a first down second down and almost 11 for the touchdown Aller going to throw. Nope. Quarterback keeper. Keeps it on the ground. Slides by a couple defenders. Gets inside the 10 to the 7. Maybe the 6. For a gain of 5. Pretty nimble for a 6'5", 240-pound quarterback, huh? And you know, and uh, that was a quarterback draw all the way. So I guess his backup must be pretty good, too. He wouldn't be um, risking a guy like that. You wouldn't think. No. Not with the score, what it is. Backup is Bo Prabula. Prabula. Third down and goal for the Nittany Lions, leading 24 0 over the Hawkeyes. Joe Evans stands up. He's going to come off the edge. Gets there, but Aller gets rid of the football, and it's incomplete. Threw it toward Jamari Harris, who was covering Keandre Lambert Smith. And he's much as threw that away, low and away. So Penn State will come on for a field goal try to add more points off Iowa turnovers. Early fourth quarter, 12 and a half to play. The 
right on cue at halftime the rain started to fall hard mist or drizzle and it's been uh, increasing in intensity ever since now the try will come for the field goal will come from the 14 yard line just a 24 yard oh and it's blocked the uh, kick is blocked so the Hawkeye special teams rise to the occasion and the point or the uh, field goal try is no good now the officials are conferring but I don't see a flag is there a flag personal foul leaping defense number 48 half the distance to the goal automatic first down what else can happen leaping yeah you can't jump over an offensive lineman well they get Max Llewellyn on that call leaping well, excuse me for being an athlete. <laughs> Let's take a look at it here on. Uh... Well, he came right over the line of scrimmage. <laughs> well, that's the kind of night it's been. Yeah. Personal fall. So now it's half the distance to the goal and a new set of downs for Aller and Penn State. Lob pass on a play fake to the corner of the end zone. And is it caught? Oh, what a great catch by like Keandre Lambert-Smith. Boy, he, you can't cover him any better than that, but he hauled it in. The far corner of the end zone. Beautiful throw by Aller. And I thought the official, the referee, was going to say something into the microphone, but nope. It is six, a touchdown of about five yards. Drew Aller has another touchdown throw. That was, the coverage was amazing. That ball was just slipped in there. There's, if it would have been one inch either direction, it would have been knocked down. Jamari Harris Jamari with the Harris, coverage, yeah. uh, outstanding. But uh, credit Aller, boy, what a throw. He's now uh, on the night 24 of 36. Four touchdowns. Four touchdown passes. Is that a 250 quarterback rating? Or what, what He's uh, he'd be in the high 140s, I think, <laughs> after after that possession. And again, more points off turnovers. Uh, bugging Iowa here tonight. Timeout on the field. 12-19 to play in the game. And Penn State has this all wrapped up. It's 31 nothing. Nittany Lions. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. The silly moments. The proud moments. Even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? Look no further than FSC. FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Your local FS crop specialist is ready to take your farm and yields to the next level. Ready to change the game with bin-busting yields at harvest? Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com. Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield helping us bring you Hawkeye football tonight from State College. It's been all Penn State, 31 to nothing. It all started with a Hawkeye fumble when the Hawks drove it into the Case IH red zone. Early in the game, Penn State turned that into three points and then a muff punt into a touchdown, 10 nothing at half. And the Nittany Lions have uh, driven up and down the field on a tired Iowa defense in the second half. Time of possession. Are you listening, Edward? Uh-huh. 37 minutes and 20 seconds for Penn State, 10 21 for Iowa. That is about as lopsided as it gets. And you credit the 
soon to be victors, uh, Penn State. They're legit. They're a legit top 10 team. Big and strong and athletic on both sides of the football. But the Hawks have been their own worst enemy tonight. You have nights like this, and you look at the tape tomorrow and learn from it and move on. Lots of football to be played yet. So we await the uh, run up and the kick by Wusu. This is a line drive that sails over the head of Caden Weijin. Contractor is you're busier than ever this fall, but you've got this high quality building materials like GAF. Use the Spawn and Rose visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend an elegant architectural look with an exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spawn and Rose locations nearby, you can focus on life's other important things this fall. Spawn and Rose, buy easier, build better. Spawn and Rose, bringing you our hammer hits. Every game day, Spawn and Rose. Deacon Hill, Ed. Uh, Kirk must have heard you on the sideline. He's got big Deacon in the game. At quarterback for Cade McNamara. And they run straight ahead with the tailback. And I think that is uh, Terrell Washington or Kamari Moulton. Yeah. Kamari yeah. Moulton had a couple rushing touchdowns last week. But Hill is a big boy. Let's put it this way. If they're going to run into him. 5'9", 185 pound Kamari Moulton is. Yeah, Deacon Hill is 6'7", 250. Here's a big hole off the right side. And close to a first down. Is Moulton. Crosses the 30 to the 32. Third down and a short three. Keziah Izzard, the safety, actually the defensive tackle, tripped him up. The Hawks just need to get a first down. They've got two first downs all night. Two. Eleven minutes to play in the game. Deacon Hill's going to throw, sets up the screen, and it's incomplete. Now that's That ain't Hill's fault. Nobody blocked. Yeah, the middle linebacker. Eric All was the intended receiver, and there were a lot of blue shirts around him. He, he was going to be well short of the first down. So the Hawks will punt it away on another three and out. Dominic DeLuca was coming on a linebacker blitz. Penn State keeping the heat on. At the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages will score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with the natural spices that you get with Wimmer's best tasting hot dogs. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Tory Taylor sends the punt the other way. They run away from it, does Caden Saunders, lets it roll dead. Inside the 15 at the 12-yard line. Well, Torrey Taylor has been solid again tonight. Yeah, is that his seventh punt, I think? Might have been his eighth. We'll double-check on that. Good weather or bad, Torrey Taylor is, is going to have uh, big-time numbers. Timeout on the field. Penn State leading Iowa 31 to nothing. 10.53 to play in the game. Your Central Midwest Honda dealers have one powerhouse lineup, two MVPs. Honda is the long-range threat with the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid, always ready to go the distance at your Central Midwest Honda dealer, including in Ames, Mike Gardy and company, and up in Dubuque, stop in and see Richardson Honda, where Chad Richardson runs the show. Thank you, Central Midwest Honda dealers, for your support of Hawkeye football. After a 56-yard punt by Torrey Taylor, that is his seventh punt, a 52-yard average for the young man from Melbourne. Time out on the field. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So, make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield.
SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. New quarterback for Penn State to start this series. Penn State football first and 10 at its own 12. Bo Prabula on a quarterback keeper. He looks like <laughs> Sean Clifford out there. Trace McSorley. The way he puts it away and runs. He's got some great quicks. And he runs for a first down out across the 20. Just running out of trouble. Up near the, uh, uh, actually across the 30. Right to the 30-yard line. That's a gain of 18 on first down. Redshirt freshman, 6'2", 205 pounds from nearby York, Pennsylvania. Down by Gettysburg. And here's a sweep around off, around an off-right tackle for their third-string running back, Trey Potts. He runs for a first down, a gain of 12. 5'9", 215 pounds from Williamsport, PA. And Trey Potts, if that name sounds familiar, it should. He was at Minnesota last year. Jumped in the transfer portal. Nick Jackson with the tackle. So two running plays are out across the 40. And I suspect they'll keep it on the ground. There's a quarterback keeper by the shifty Bo Prabula. And he gets another seven on first down. Quinn Schulte. And Cooper DeGene combined for the stop. He does remind you of those. He looks like Trace McSorley yeah. or Sean Clifford to me. You know? Man, oh man. A talented roster on both sides of the football for Penn State. Nine and a half to go. 31 nothing, Nittany Lions. It is a miserable rainy night here in this second half. And even more miserable for the Hawkeyes. There's a draw handoff. That's been a play... Very successful. Trey Potts again on that call, and he's dropped in his tracks for little or no gain. Penn State will face third down. And looks like about four. Aaron Graves tied him up, pounced on him from behind. Ball approaching near midfield, third down and four. In the gun, Prabula sends a receiver in motion. It's going to be another quarterback draw. Keeper gets the first down, still running. Dragged down from behind by Joe Evans at the Iowa 37-yard line. He's obviously strong in those trunks up near his hip area. Boy, he just keeps those legs churning, doesn't he? Yeah, he, there was not going to be any question who's going to carry that football. He took a step backward and he's rushed, read, read the blocking. He's rushed three times for 23 yards. Well, this is good experience for the young man. Now we got motion on <laughs> both lines. Let's see if Iowa penetrated. Offside in the neutral zone, causing the offense to false start. Defense number 95. Five-yard penalty. First down. That's Aaron Graves. He's played quite a bit tonight. He has. He's going to be a key cog going forward. Bucks really haven't been penalized a lot tonight. A couple a face mask. Here's that pass to the tailback out in the right flat. Goes for a first down inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. That's where they they run the uh, the play fake. Yeah. The tailback releases to the flat either side. Nobody out there goes with him. So Prabula flipped it to him and Potts takes it down inside. The Hawkeye 20. And that's called all the way. It's not like they're going to him. 
as an emergency receiver. 12 yards on that pickup. Another fresh set of downs. Here's Potts on a counter. Squeezes through a big hole off left guard and probably because there was a hold. I'm guessing that's what the flag is for right at the feet. Personal foul. Illegal hands to the face. Offense number 68. 15-yard penalty. First down. Well, that's why the hole was there. (laughs) Yeah. And it's a backup lineman, Anthony Dunka. Kind of oh, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> pretty obvious. Huh? Oh, yeah. he's, he, he's the left guard. That's where Potts squeezed through for what would have been a first down. But now the ball's back outside the 30 to the 34 with 7.05 to go in the game and Penn State in control 31 to nothing. Empty backfield. They throw to the tight end, and that slippery ball goes right through Dinkins' hands. He caught a touchdown pass earlier in the game. I believe that was after the uh, muffed punt. Yep. And the uh, Lions went up 10-0. Took that lead to the locker room. It was still a game. But more turnovers and penalties here in the second half have plagued the Hawkeyes. And the inability to run the football against this stout Penn State defense. They're only allowing three yards of rush coming into tonight. The Hawks have run for less than that. Penn State ball, second down and 15. Again, a quarterback draw. It's gashed wide open. And Prabula gets down inside the 30 to the 25. He'll be about five yards shy of a first down. But he got nine or ten. RJ's camping in Port Byron, Illinois. Tuned in to the Hawks and Penn State. I hope the weather's a heck of a lot I was better. Say, I do too. <laughs> hope that canvas is waterproof, RJ. <laughs> Travis is tuned in in Council Bluffs, the home of uh, Logan Jones. Thank you for listening, Travis, and wherever you are on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Here's Prabula to throw, and it's dropped. Well, at least juggled. Now they call incomplete now. That that leather is awful slippery. That was intended for Omari Evans. He had it right in his midsection, but it is... uh, we don't like it that. It looks foggy out there. The the mist is so thick. Yeah, but it's a it stops the clock. Yeah, well, the, you're right. I see why you didn't <laughs> like that. Six fifteen to play in the game. Hawkeye football is brought to you by or- Iowa Corn. More on that in a minute. Penn State's lining up for a field goal and looking to extend the lead to thirty four nothing. Here's the kick. A high snap, but controlled. They got it down, and it is no good, though. Couldn't tell. I think he pushed it wide right. Alex Falcons miss, misses for the first time tonight. Timeout on the field with Iowa trailing 31 to nothing. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowa. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, let us salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. With the Hawkeyes, every touchdown is more than just a touchdown. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to make it to the end zone. And while our fields aren't the kind you throw passes on, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Settle the score with superior tools by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes. Go Hawks!
Just not the Hawkeyes' night tonight as we welcome you back to uh, Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield's coverage of Hawkeye football. Iowa with just 61 total yards when you add in the losses and the sacks to 381 for Penn State. 34, or check that, 31 to nothing after the missed field goal try by Falcons. Let's check in with Rob Brooks on the U.S. Cellular. Hawkeye sideline. Yeah, Dolph, uh, Deacon Hill, of course, are getting ready for his second series. Uh, Kate McNamara seems fine, just giving um, Deacon an opportunity here. And uh, as you've mentioned, uh, McNamara's taking some shots. Might as well get him out of the ball game and uh, let some of the backups play. And, you know, just to go back to that defense, uh, you can tell down here on the sideline, they're pretty worn out, been out there a long time. You talked about the time of possession. And Penn State does this to a lot of teams. They ran 77 plays last week against Illinois and put 383 total yards on the board. This is a, a, a well-oiled machine this early in the year. Well, it sure is. And they not only uh, force turnovers, even unforced errors, they, they turn them into points. It's one thing to get turnovers. It's quite another to convert them into touchdowns and field goals. And they've done that again tonight following their big win over Illinois last week where they forced five Illini turnovers. And here's uh, unblocked. little or no blocking at the line of scrimmage. The Hawks try to run the football. And poor Kamari Moulton was crushed three yards deep in the yeah, backfield. Tyler Elsden, a linebacker, nobody blocked him. Just ran in between the center and the guard. And he wasn't even blitzing. No. He just saw the hole and took it. Uh, let's see. I guess they... Now, how do they give him a five-yard gain on that? And, and it, well, it must have been a penalty. First and five. Maybe he was offside. <laughs> Maybe the gap was so big he was offside. <laughs> I didn't see a flag. I didn't see a call. flag either, but there must have been one. Kamari Moulton gets the handoff over left guard and runs for six yards for a first down. Uh, first and five, the ball at the 26-yard line. Or, excuse me, 36-yard line. Tony Rojas, another backup for the Nittany Lions in there. So the Hawks get their third first down of the night. Empty backfield for Deacon Hill. He's got a strong arm. He's going to wind up and throw, and it's caught on a deep slant out across midfield. Nice throw, nice catch by Deontay Vines, his yeah. first grab of the night. And good pattern. Of course, Cam they're down to reserve. Yeah, Cam Miller, the left side corner in coverage, but and was giving him ground. But a uh, big old Deacon had the beacon on there, huh? Hey, kid, that's a really sharp throw. Very accurate. Transfer from Wisconsin. There's a big hole off the left side. Moulton keeps his balance and gets five yards to the Penn State 45. Well, a touchdown at least gives him some momentum, some confidence heading out of here tonight. Hawks won't get back till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Assuming uh, with this remnants of Hurricane Ophelia moving through here, they can get out of town. Second down five. Here's a toss sweep around the right side for Moulton, and Penn State had that sniffed out. The ball is fumbled, but I think the Hawkeyes got on it. They finally get a, a bounce to go their way, and ironically, it's Eric All who lost the ball in the first quarter when the Hawks were driving, and Penn State took it the other way for three points. Eric was heads up there and jumped on the ball. Under four minutes to go, 31 to nothing, Penn State. Hawks, uh, one of the few times tonight, at least maybe the first time in the second half, they've been in Penn State territory. They've been there a few times in the first half. They're just never able to get anything going after those two first half turnovers. Out of the gun, third down and five. Deacon steps up in the pocket. Ball is stripped. Penn State is on it. Penn State's uh, just out of the backup here. Looks like uh, Amin Vanover, defensive end, another talented defensive end. Jace Tutty jumped on the ball. Penn State has it right back. 
Tapped, we have uh, five turnovers. Now. I don't know. We'll count them up during the break. Even that stat's getting away from me. Hawkeye football is sponsored by Sirius XM Radio. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Big Ten Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash Big Ten Radio 2023. 31-0 Penn State. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Going on with service these days. Try to call a company to get some answers. You're not even getting a real person. And when you go to the grocery store, you have to check yourself out. This is Joe Mershman from Mershman Seeds. We make it easy for you to do business with us. Offering superior seed backed by best-in-class service. And on top of that, we're going to deliver what you order. Not substituted at the last minute. So contact your local Mershman Seed dealer today. That high level of service is alive and well at Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. Welcome back to Hawkeye football, not the Hawks night. Iowa will drop to three and one as we uh, check out the turnovers. Four officially. Iowa fumbled six times, lost four. <laughs> Penn State fumbled once, got that back. So is the muff punt considered a fumble? Well, no, because we never had control of it. Um, but that's a turnover. Yeah. So that would be five turnovers. Yeah. Four lost fumbles and a muff punt. Let's get we'll get the finals here one more time on the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Penn State just recovered the Deacon Hill fumble at the Iowa 47-yard line. Well, give us some finals there, John, courtesy of U.S. Bank. Just going final, Dolph. Notre Dame over Ohio State, 14-10. Minnesota's ahead of Northwestern, 31-24. Indiana beat Akron, 17-10. Get you some more scores here shortly. Iowa State was a winner today. Penn State on the quarterback keeper again. <laughs> oh, he is slippery, isn't he? Uh, the backup, Bo Prabula. Fake the handoff to the tailback, Trey Potts, and then ran around the left end for three. Good job by Iowa, really, to cover that up. Could have been a lot worse. They could put the wishbone in with him playing quarterback. Well, they sure could. That's that, uh, my guy, Bo Allen, out there at that right defensive end. Penn State squeezing as much time off the clock as possible. Potts goes in motion. They look that way, but then straight ahead running for quarterback Prabula for two or three. Michigan beat Rutgers 31-7. Illinois over Florida Atlantic 23-17. Nebraska by two touchdowns over Louisiana Tech. Maryland smashed Michigan State 31 to 9. Wisconsin beat Purdue last night. Hawkeyes trail here 31 to nothing. We're down to two minutes and five seconds to play. In this 31 0 Penn State lead. Slot receiver goes in motion. Quarterback keeper again. Ooh, and a heck of a collision. Inside the 40 at the 35. And may have gotten the first down. Sure looks like it. For the Hawkeyes, Jackson Rexroth, the linebacker, came up and really tattooed Prabula. Aaron Graves got him underneath, but it is a first down and should be able to run the clock out from here, Ed. Yeah, he pushed the pile forward. Um, Let's hear from Bud and Marys. I think that's a good tonic right now, don't all you? All right. So let's see if they are going to snap the ball uh, here. Go ahead. 
getting a medical cannabis card in Iowa is as easy as talking to your doctor. Join thousands of Iowans like me using med- medical cannabis today. Search BudMary.com to learn more. Beautiful. Did it, Buddy uh, boy. Another quarterback <laughs> sneak by Perbula. You didn't miss a thing other than a two or three yard gain. Max Llewellyn gets credit for the tackle. We're inside a minute to go with Penn State on top 31 to nothing. Congratulations to Joel and Danielle on the pending birth of their new little Hawkeye, as they call it. Future birth of their first little Hawkeye. Congratulations, Joel and Danielle. Listing back in Iowa. Here's a handoff to the tailback Potts. The former Golden Gopher gets the corner turn and picks up five yards, but that will be the last play of the game. Going to give Jamison Hines credit for the tackle and total dominance by the Penn State Nittany Lions thanks to uh, Iowa mistakes and uh, turnovers. Five total. And the final score is the seconds tick off. Penn State 31 and the Hawkeyes nothing. Stay with us. Coming up next is the U.S. Cellular postgame show. Hawkeye football has been sponsored tonight by Quick Star. Hawk fans rev up the excitement of the Iowa Corn Seahawks series <clears throat> with the unleaded 88 winning drive. Pump eight gallons or more of unleaded 88 with quick rewards at your nearest Quick Star. And you're in the running for fantastic prizes all season long. Show your Hawkeye spirit by filling up with unleaded 88 at any Iowa Hawkeye branded pump. Discover more at quickstar.com slash winning drive. Quickstar, proud partner of Hawkeye football. You know, there's a hero in all of us. Pioneer is proud to partner with Iowa and Nebraska for the Pioneer Heroes game. Together, we want to recognize and celebrate local heroes who exemplify the goal of positively impacting the community and who stand as an inspiration to others. If you have a family or community member you'd like to recognize and or nominate, please submit their name, your local hero nomination, at HawkeyeSports.com slash hero so we can celebrate the heroes in our community. Final score, Penn State 31, Iowa nothing. Postgame coverage coming up next here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Looking for more college football action following our broadcast? Check out the College Football Blitz for free by going to the Varsity Network app. It's the college football audio version of the NFL Red Zone channel every Saturday from noon to midnight Eastern. Just search College Football Blitz on the Varsity Network app. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones, we know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need so you can focus on what's most important to you. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. The Hawkeyes play here. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. For Iowa's corn farmers, it's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go Hawks. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career and a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. 
on the Hawkeye Sports Network. Hawkeye football has been brought to you by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. By your local Ford dealers. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Also brought to you by Honda. To see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Case IH, the Case IH Red Zone, is brought to you by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at caseih.com backslash Hawkeyes. And by Come and Go. Download the new Come and Go app to save on fuel, fresh food, and beverages. With Come and Go and Rewards, you choose how to use your rewards. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Welcome back to State College, Pennsylvania. Beaver Stadium is dancing tonight, and it'll be a a dance until the wee hours of the morning. Penn State, uh, thanks to a five Iowa turnovers, dominated statistically, dominated on the scoreboard, and won it 31 to nothing over the Hawkeyes, uh, despite Iowa mistakes in the first half, including a muff punt and a fumble at the Penn State 18-yard line. Uh, the Nittany Lions only led 10-0 at the break. And so there was still plenty to hope for, but Penn State came right out of their first possession of the third quarter and uh, scored a touchdown. Ed, uh, this Drew Aller is a real deal, but boy, they've got talent all over the map and got it to 17 to nothing. The mist was falling hard. And as that third quarter wore on, you could see that there was no let up in this Penn State team. Yeah, I think this is the most talent I've seen on a Penn State team. They always have a lot of talent. Like when you were interviewing uh, Kirk, he said, I've been following this program for 50 years because I'm from Pennsylvania, and they always have a lot of talent. But uh, this seems exceptional right now. Our post-game coverage is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. They're built for great interceptions and better reception. Watching touchdowns instead of touch screens and waving before streaming. After all, game day only comes once a week. U.S. Cellular, built for us, U.S. Well, the good news is there's a game every week still for uh, the better part of 10 weeks in the Iowa schedule, and they've got to get back home in the wee hours of Sunday morning, regroup, have that film session tomorrow, and cut this tape up, learn from the mistakes and the turnovers, and uh, and move on. But it was uh, a rough night sledding for the Hawkeyes, who lose it 31 to nothing. Let's give you our John Deere run of the game. It occurred in our drive of the game as well. Cade McNamara and a quarterback keeper around the right end on a play fake, big hole, well executed. Ran for 18 yards and a first down. That's our John Deere run of the game, courtesy of Bodensteiner Implement, your trusted John Deere dealer with 10 locations in Northeast Iowa to serve you. Get a quote online at bodimp.com. Bodimp.com. That was our, our best drive of the night for the Hawkeyes, uh, Ed. If you remember, Tory Taylor uh, punted off Iowa's first drive and buried. Uh, Penn State deep in its own territory at the one. And the Hawkeye defense bottled them up to where they had to punt from their own end zone. And then the Hawks took over in great field position just inside uh, the uh, Penn State 49-yard line. McNamara on that keeper ran for 18 to the Penn State 30. LaShawn Williams rushed up the middle for a gain of five to the Penn State 25. There was a penalty penalty before the snap, a false start on uh, tight end Ostringa. But uh, the Hawkeyes had that figured out as Cade uh, worked a a lot of misdirection. Then a shovel pass up the middle to tight end Eric All for 12 yards. And the Hawks were looking at a first down in the Case IH red zone. But Eric fumbled as he was going to the ground. And it was definitely a fumble forced by Dennis Sutton, the defensive end, recovered by Penn State's Jacobs at the 18-yard line. Penn State uh, took that, took off on a nine-minute drive, kicked a field goal. They would never be headed after that. Uh, After a couple more possessions, exchange of possessions, 
Uh, Penn State, again, forced to punt by the Iowa defense. Uh, this was in the uh, second period. The punt hit uh, Brendan Des Fernandez in the middle of the back as he was trying to set up a block for Cooper DeGene on the punt return. So the muff punt recovered by Penn State. They turned that into a touchdown. Led 10-0 at the half, and then it got away from the Hawkeyes the second half. Yeah, that uh, the muff punt was really untimely. Uh, we were still doing a good job uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. Um, had some things that were working. But uh, that kind of took the air out of the balloon uh, at that point. Penn State's defense did the rest, just uh, never letting Iowa out of the box tonight. Uh, the stats will bear that out in a little bit. So that's our Iowa drive, our John Deere run of the game. And our drive of the game. The Hawks didn't reach the Case IH red zone. Uh, other than that one time when Eric All got in there uh, at the 18 but fumbled, uh, and it was just a frustrating night all the way around. But we thank Case IH for their sponsorship of the Case IH Red Zone. The game might be over, but there's still more to see this season from all of us at Case IH. Thanks for being part of the Red Zone. Talk to your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. It's a rare day when the Hawks don't get to the Case IH Red Zone and at least finish off the drive with a field goal, but credit the Penn State defense. Well, you have to, and if they really were ready to play, um, the Hawkeyes, I thought, came out strong, um, and it's just unfortunate those two, the, the fumble and the muff punt, just really kind of uh, took some steam out of what we were up to. Iowa Corn sponsors our drive of the game each game day. Brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn grows feed for our livestock, food for our families, and clean burning fuel. For your drive to the game, drive clean with unleaded 88 and support your local corn farmers. More postgame coming up in a minute, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Iowa loses here at Penn State 31-0. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Oh, you know that old injury of yours, the one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapist will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. You're listening to Hawkeye Football. Touchdown, Iowa! This is Iowa football from Learfield. 
This season, when the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawks win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Stop in for more information or visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals on food from 3 to 6 p.m. And check out our After Dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday, featuring bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel nuts, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, your game day headquarters and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let me ask you a question. What has 27 challenging holes, bent grass fairways and greens, a great location just five miles northwest of Des Moines, a perfect setting and venue for corporate and fundraising golf events, a driving range, season passes for avid golfers, and a great food and beverage division? You're right. The answer is Beaver Creek Golf Course, the same place I have never, ever seen a beaver. If you like to golf, you'll really like Beaver Creek. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Hawkeyes go down here at Penn State, thirty-one uh, to nothing. Uh, hi to everybody in the uh, Algona area listening in tonight. Uh, you know the Hawks only lost a football game here tonight. Uh, you folks in that uh, wonderful community lost a, a police officer a, a week or two ago, Kevin Cram. He was. Uh, Laid to rest on Wednesday of this week after being gunned down uh, while tr- uh, trying to serve an arrest warrant uh, on uh, an individual uh, in Algona. And uh, know that we're uh, thinking about the Cram family, uh, father, a couple young young kids. And uh, uh, we think about Kevin Cram tonight and, and everybody in the Algona area and many supporters of the uh, Webster County Eye Club at uh, Fort Dodge. Our postgame show rolls on. Uh, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Let's, uh, while we await, Jay Higgins, by the way, will be our uh, uh, Hawk star of the game, our Old Dominion best in the game. Jay Higgins, a, a career high, 18 tackles, 10 solo, 10 solo. Uh, he and Nick Jackson. Jackson had 13 tackles, 8 solos, with two and a half for loss and a quarterback hurry. Uh, that, uh, you know, uh, there was some concern with uh, Jack Campbell and and uh, Seth Benson moving on to the NFL at the end of last year. Wow, have those two guys stepped up big. Yep, they sure have, and they've um, started right at the first game and have gotten better as it's gone by. And Jay's just quietly waited his turn for a couple years, and and now he is uh, starring in that uh, linebacker role. He joins us from the Hawkeye locker room, courtesy of Old Dominion Freightline, our best in the game, sponsored by Old Dominion. Old Dominion Freightline works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs, like Jay Higgins out of uh, Indianapolis. I know it was a rough night all the way around, uh, Jay, but uh, you guys on that defensive side of the football kept working overtime. Uh, yeah, just uh, trying to find a way to get off the field. Um, you know, it just starts with winning first down and, you know, containing um, their diverse offense. Yeah, that's a, that's a big old hog offensive line, isn't it? They average about 325 pounds. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, we, we saw we saw their measurements and we, we knew what we were um, up against and felt like our D-line did a great job um, just – competing um, throughout the whole game and obviously that uh, that helps me and Nick. Yeah, no question. Uh, uh, you know, they, they got that middle run game going. It reminded me a lot of Iowa last week against Western Michigan. Uh, what's the key to stopping that middle run? Uh, really just getting off blocks. Uh, that starts with me. Just got to make sure I, uh, I end up in the right gap and, you know, really just making sure I read the, where that running back's going after he gets the ball. So they don't really do much but just fire straight ahead. They don't pull a lot of blockers, do they? Oh, uh, yeah, they just they really just rely on their size and um, hats down to their offensive coordinator and um, their talented old line. Uh, they, I feel like they did a great job in the run game today. Jay Higgins, our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freight Line. Uh, what's fun about uh, standing next to Nick Jackson? You guys have become quite the duo, and I don't want to take anything away from Kyler Fisher. He had a couple big plays early in the game, but that, that line linebacking group has settled in nicely, hasn't it? Don't you agree? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we started getting comfortable with each other. I uh, really know what uh, Coach Wallace and Coach Parker really figured out what Nick's uh, strengths are, uh, just coming from what type of football he played. And I feel like we've done a great job just uh, 
getting him into the game plan and knowing how we can use such a elusive uh, linebacker. Well, it wasn't the Hawkeyes' night tonight, but you got beat by a good football team, and uh, uh, the focus now has to be on Michigan State and, uh, what, nine games remaining, correct? Exactly. Long season to go. Uh, just one loss. Can't wait to watch the tape and uh, learn something new. Well, hey, thanks for standing up and coming on with us, bud. We appreciate it. No problem. Jay Higgins, the Old Dominion Freight Line's best in the game. 18 tackles, a career high. His previous was 16 against Utah State on, on opening weekend. 10 solo. He knows where the ball uh, and the guy are. He, yep. he knows how to get to him, doesn't he? Yeah, and it's tough to come on the radio after a game like this. And you, like you say, we have a lot of respect for him doing that. Not only his football ability, but uh, showing up when we need him. Absolutely. and. Uh, engaging young man and we appreciate Jay's uh, uh, time as well uh, he is our Old Dominion Freightline best in the game we'll come back and look at the stats next uh, Kirk Ferentz will join us shortly here on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show our stat recap is courtesy of Seat Geek. that's next here on the Hawkeye Radio Network as the Hawks go down to Penn State 31 to nothing you're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Are you ready for Hawkeye football? Because it's time to get geared up. We're all coming together for those amazing on-the-field moments. Shields is right there with you, cheering our team on to victory. So suit up in your Hawkeye black and gold with fan gear from Shields, in-store or online. And let's get ready for Hawkeye football. Shields, proud partner of Iowa Athletics and football fans everywhere. Hawkeye football all season long. This is Iowa football from Learfield. Hawkeye fans, Hudson Southside Tap is your ultimate destination for Hawkeye game days. Swing by and savor our delicious House Bloody Marys for just $6. But that's not all. This year, we're proud to announce that Hudson's is the official host of the Hawkeye Radio Network postgame show, happening right after every home game. Share on the Hawkeyes while enjoying the fantastic atmosphere and great company at Hudson's. Find us conveniently located on Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Hudson Southside Tap, where Hawkeye spirit comes alive. Go Hawks! Get low rates and high yields from Spraytech Fertilizers. Yes, get low rates and high yields from Spraytech's Full Tech, the most complete adjuvant on the market. Full Tech offers burn control, better fixation on leaves, better homogenization in the tank mix, mixed drift control, better spreadability, and more. Full Tech is changing the way you treat your crops. Get higher yields and more money in your bank account with Full Tech from Spray Tech. Call 515 252 7777 for Full Tech details or visit spraytech.com. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Iowa Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is brought to you in part by Splash Seafood Bar and Grill, Mershman Seeds, Farm Credit Services, Lennox Heating and Cooling, Beaver Creek Golf Course, Gilchrist Jewett, and Spray Tech. Show your support to our local Iowa radio business partners and support those who support the Hawkeyes. Welcome back to more of the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Gary Dolphin with Ed Podolak. Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Kirk Ferentz now joins us. Head coach Kirk Ferentz joins us after we pause 10 seconds for station identification along the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football.
Kirk Ferentz from the Hawkeye locker room. You know, uh, Torrey Taylor set you up so nice there in that second uh, possession, uh, or the first possession for Penn State. You had him pinned in the end zone, didn't let him out of there. The ball died on the one. You forced the punt and had the ball uh, in Penn State territory and put a nice drive together, Kirk. Uh, uh, Eric All uh, didn't take the ball to the ground. Unfortunately, it popped out. They recovered and took it down and scored three the other way. That that kind of started it for you. Yeah, it really did. They uh, Tory had a really uh, good game. Yeah, really outstanding game. But uh, other than that, really disappointing. And uh, that that's yeah, kind of right there. We turned the ball over and had a couple of issues with ball security. And then bottom line, once uh, after that first turn up, we were never really put them in a position to stress, which. You know, when we did have them in there field position-wise, they were able to get out of it. So, uh, yeah, just never – not much to be real encouraged about tonight. Just a, a tough game, and we're going to have to move on. It's really unfortunate on the, on the muff punt. You know, the guys are working hard to throw a block for Cooper, and you know how noisy it gets in here. And uh, it's just uh, the luck didn't go the Hawks away tonight. Yeah, it's a tough situation. We had one of those uh, one over five, six years ago at home, and <clears throat> it's it's tough. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, you, you try to communicate the uh, the call, and uh, both visually and vocally, and clearly we didn't get that either. So you know, it's just uh, it's a tough break there, and that really kind of got things going the other way. Well, that's kind of a fluke because it's such a poor punt. Yeah, you didn't weren't expecting that the the rain and wind did that affect the the so ball security at some point yeah i don't know if it did i mean if, if it did we, we actually practiced in it on monday so you know it's just part of the game part of the uh things you have to deal with and have to do a little better job on that so um you know but that that one was you know it is what it is and it's a tough situation uh it seems like nothing good comes out of those kinds of things and uh other than that, again, we just never get night got anything going. Really, you know, got any kind of rhythm going after that drive, and uh, you know, just it was a tough day all over, all over the place. Yeah, you were you're right there, ten nothing at halftime, and uh, you, you uh, of course had to give Penn State the ball to start that second half. But ten nothing game at halftime, uh, there's a lot to play for, and uh, I, I guess at that point you just credit uh, Drew Aller and and that 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 inside run game was going for the Nittany Lions, and you talked about it in your pregame visit with us that uh, this defense is legit for Penn State. Yeah, they're extremely athletic and they're very very active tonight, and uh, just made everything tough on us, and then. Uh, yeah, their guys on offense did a hell of a job. They they blocked well, and uh, you know Aller played a good game. We we expected that. Uh, we've got talented receivers, and to your point, you know I thought, I thought our guys played hard. I don't think it was an issue, and I think we were ready to go. Uh, but yeah, at halftime, uh, when they took it and put it at 17, that just seemed to kind of put put a damper on things. Well, that and uh, 30 more minutes in time of possession, that'll 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 wear on a defense too. Even a great defense like Iowa's. Yeah, we just uh, you know had a hard time getting off the field, especially in the second half. Yeah, you know, just uh, I think we got worn down a little bit, and it's a combination of you know you got to get off, and then you got to sustain drives, and uh, really didn't do a good job in either either category. Well, uh, you're pretty simple in uh, in your post game comments, win or lose. I'm sure the message was uh, get back home tonight and get after it tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You can't, uh, you know, you can't dwell on this. Obviously, it's a tough night. Nobody feels good right now. Everybody's disappointed, and for, uh, you know, for good reason certainly. But um, it's all about how we move forward right now. There's a lot of football in front of us. Uh, you know, eight game schedule at this point, all Big Ten games. So, uh, anytime you have a setback, it's all about how you choose to respond. First, first things first. Learn from it, and then you move forward and uh, see how we can respond. But. Um, one thing that hasn't changed, we've got great young guys on the team. They've worked hard. They've been focused. And, you know, this, this is not fun tonight, but we'll, we'll get back up on our feet and push forward. Well, let's close uh, the way we started talking about Tory Taylor. I mean, it doesn't he, he could be out there in a hurricane and, and average 52 yards. I think he averaged a little over 50 yards on seven punts tonight. Uh, what is it about him that we haven't learned that maybe you know and you could share with us? Well, I think, you know, probably the biggest thing is he just uh, continues to improve, and he's... Yeah, he's an older guy, but uh, his football maturity certainly improved, and uh, he works extremely hard. Takes a lot of pride in what he does. Works extremely hard, and I thought yeah, he performed. Uh, gave us a chance to uh, hopefully get back in the game tonight. We weren't good enough to do that, but I uh, thought he really performed well. And you know, we're, we're going to need that moving forward. We need everybody's contributions, and uh, it's good to be able to count on that. All right, coach. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate Thanks, guys. It.
Seven punts, 52.3 yard average. I mean, NFL scouts got to be drooling over Tory Taylor. Oh, you bet they are, and and um, he's looking forward to the next eight games, though, too. He loves playing for this team. He does. Thanks to Coach Ferentz uh, for coming on and visiting with us about Iowa's uh, defeat here at Penn State, 31 to nothing. Fans, after every Hawkeye victory this season, you win a free shareable the following two days after each qualifying event at any Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings location. That's right, with every Hawk f- football victory this season, you win with Buffalo Wild Wings. Visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW for more details. Let's go to the Seat Geek post-game stat recap now, sponsored by SeatGeek. We have some breaking news that you Hawk fans, uh, you're going to want to hear. SeatGeek is now the official fan-to-fan marketplace of the Hawkeyes. Whether you're buying or selling football tickets, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, so Hawk fans can fan. Well, let's take a look at these numbers, Ed. Uh, most of them not pleasant, but, uh, you know, we, we're stand up here in the broadcast booth, too. We tell it like it is. For uh, just under 400 yards of offense for Penn State, 397 to be exact, 76 for the Hawkeyes. For Penn State, 182 passing, 215 yards rushing. For the Hawks, 56 yards through the air, 20 on the ground. This is, of course, adding in loss of yardage. Uh, each team was penalized four times. Uh, Penn State with 27 first downs to four for the Hawkeyes. Penn State 9 of 20 on third down. The Hawks were 1 for 9. Average yards per play, Penn State 4.1, Iowa 2.3. That has to improve, and it will. Yeah, and, um, you know, it was, in fact, it kind of surprises me it's 2.3. You know, because. Thought that was a little high. Yeah. Yeah. uh, It's not funny, but uh, it's facts. Yeah, uh, Sacks, uh, well, let's give Kay McNamara. He fought hard, but, boy, didn't have a whole lot of time to set and throw. Just 5 of 14 for 42 yards tonight. Uh, was not intercepted. Uh, was separated from the football a couple times. One he lost. Deacon Hill, 1 for 2. Uh, completed uh, one, one pass and two tries for 14 yards. Uh, the Hawkeyes' leading rusher was Kamari Moulton. Six carries, 18 net yards. LaShawn Williams uh, had a great day last Saturday, just nine yards on six carries tonight. Iowa's leading receiver, tight end Eric All, had three catches for 34, uh, 35 yards in the, uh, the unfortunate fumble after he got Iowa first down inside the 20, uh, which uh, seemed to flip momentum, and it went the other way in a hurry in uh, Penn State's uh, 31 to nothing victory. Deontay Vines, Reganey, Williams, uh, LaShawn Williams all caught a pass each. For Penn State, uh, this uh, sophomore quarterback's a real deal. Uh, Drew Aller, 25 of 37 for 166 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, two to his, uh, one of his uh, favorite targets who has been for a while, tight end uh, Warren. He caught, uh, on, the, on the night, he caught uh, two passes, uh, both for touchdowns, a total of nine yards. He's your money man down around the goal line. Touchdown grabs by uh, uh, Smith Lambert as well, and uh, by Dinkins, the tight end, uh, Ed, that put him up 10 nothing in that first half. Uh, Dinkins uh, couldn't even find him on the depth chart, and that, that's how much talent they have on this Penn State uh, roster for the night again 25 of 37 for Aller 166 yards four scores a 141 quarterback rating Uh, Prabula his backup uh, did most of his work on the ground rushed eight times for 55 yards their leading uh, ground gainer was uh, Catron Allen he carried 21 times for 72 yards Lambert Smith was Penn State's leading receiver eight grabs 66 yards and a touchdown with a long of 14. Six passes caught uh, by uh, Theo Johnson, their other tight end. Johnson, six grabs for 42 yards. <clears throat> the uh, Nittany Lions came up with three sacks on the night. The Hawks did not register a sack. And with that, we tell you that uh, we so appreciate Mershman Seeds' uh, support of Hawkeye football with the Mershman Seeds sack recap. The Hawks did not have a sack uh, tonight, but Mershman Seeds is there for uh, uh, the kids at Stead Family Children's Hospital. Every sack the Hawks register this year, Mershman donates $150 to the kids at Stead Family Children's Hospital. That's our quarterback sack recap by Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. For the season, Iowa has three total sacks. And that's our Seat Geek post game stat recap. 
the scoring uh, looks like this. The Hawks, of course, uh, uh, were uh, shut out. Falcons a 46-yard field goal after the Iowa uh, Eric All fumble uh, as uh, Penn State drove 53 yards. And the uh, kick was good from 46 yards. 3 nothing Penn State with a minute 35 to go in the first period. And then after the muff punt, uh, Dinkins caught the nine-yard touch. Khalil Dinkins caught a nine-yard touchdown reception thrown by quarterback Aller. Uh, that uh, capped a 10-play, 39-yard drive, a short field. Point after try was good. It was 10 nothing Penn State at halftime. In the uh, third quarter, uh, Warren, a two-yard tight end, Warren, a two-yard reception thrown by Aller. That came at the end of a 15-play, 75-yard Penn State drive. Point after by Falcons was good. It was 17 nothing Penn State midway through. That was really their opening drive of the third quarter. They burned half the third period on their opening drive in the third quarter. 17 nothing Penn State. They added to that with a minute to play in the third period. Warren... Warren, again, a seven-yard touchdown reception thrown by Aller. The kick by Falcons was good. That completed a 71-yard, 12-play drive. And it was Penn State 24, Iowa nothing, headed to the fourth period. Uh, one score in the fourth quarter by the uh, Nittany Lions. Uh, Lambert Smith, a three-yard touchdown reception. It was a great catch in the corner, but an even uh, prettier throw by Aller. Uh, as Penn State, after an Iowa turnover, drove 19 yards in eight plays. The score was 31 nothing at that point after the kick by Falcons was good. And the score uh, ends up 31 nothing in favor of Penn State. That is our uh, Seat Geek stat recap on tonight's Penn State victory over the Hawkeyes, 31 nothing. Penn State ranked seventh, now 4-0 and on the year. The Hawks dropped to 3-1 and and go home for the Michigan State Spartans next Saturday night. It's Blackout Saturday. I like black a lot better than white, don't you? I sure do. I like being at home a lot better than than (laughs) being here. But when you were recapping all those stats, really the the turning point in the game, in my opinion, was when Penn State took the kickoff of the second half and marched for eight minutes and scored a touchdown, and that kind of dictated how the rest of the game went. That's our uh, stat recap. Uh, yeah, you're right, Eddie. You know, the ten nothing is recoverable. Seventeen to nothing with these conditions at home against that defense, uh, it's tough. You knew it was going to be tough for Iowa's offense to score, let alone come back from seventeen down. This football season, the Hawks won't just play for W's, though. They'll also play for F's, as in free small frosties. With the purchase of participating Wendy's within 72 hours of any of our hopefully many Hawkeye victories. Limit one per person, a la carte only, not valid with other offers, digital or delivery orders at Wendy's. Time now for our Iowa Pork Lineman of the Game, sponsored by Iowa's Pig Farmers. Just like the Hawkeyes, linemen, pig farmers use continuous improvement to bring their best to the game. Learn more at iowapork.org. Seems like we say it every week, but I love the way Ethan Herkett is coming on from Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Well, and you pointed him out last year, and then he had some injury situations, and uh, he has really uh, advanced to being a terrific defensive man. Uh, Ethan Herka tonight had nine tackles. You know, he's not an every-down player. Uh, he could be, but, of course, they're so deep in that defensive front. Ethan continues to improve, though. Five solo tackles out of his nine. Ethan Herka, uh, defensive lineman, defensive end. He can play inside. He's our Iowa Pork lineman of the game. Congratulations, Ethan Herka. 31 nothing. Penn State uh, defeats the Hawkeyes here tonight in State College. Back to wrap up our portion of the postgame show in just a minute. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this... 
and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to us mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. With the Hawkeyes, every touchdown is more than just a touchdown. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to make it to the end zone. And while our fields aren't the kind you throw passes on, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Settle the score with superior tools by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes. Go Hawks! The Hawkeyes play here. Iowa. Touchdown! How about that play call? This is Iowa football from Learfield. For Iowa's corn farmers, it's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go Hawks. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. How's that song go? Mama said we'd have days like this. Uh, tonight was one of those days for the Hawkeyes that they uh, will forget in a hurry and move on to Michigan State next week. Uh, and you wonderful listeners in the Hawkeye Radio Network, along the Hawkeye Radio Network, will, I know, uh, uh, join us. And, uh, and, and forgive me if we uh, don't play any pioneer highlights of tonight's game. Uh, there were very few, if any, other than uh, some, a lot of plays on defense again, Jay Higgins and was spectacular along with uh, Nick Jackson. But we'll pass. I know Pioneer will uh, cut us a break tonight, as you will. I know, and we appreciate Pioneer's support of Hawkeye football. Pioneer combines cutting edge research with one of the largest local testing programs in the industry to help farmers succeed. Pioneer, what's next? What's next happens here, courtesy of Pioneer. We'll have a bunch of highlights, extra highlights next Saturday night following the Michigan State game, courtesy of Pioneer. We'll conclude our portion of the program tonight here from State College with the Iowa Egg Council Tackles for Loss, a game courtesy of the Iowa Egg Council Tackle Hunger program. Tackle Hunger is presented by Iowa's Egg Farmers and the Iowa Egg Council. With every Hawkeye tackle for a loss this season, Iowa Egg donates 100 dozen eggs to Iowa food banks. That's right, 100 dozen Iowa eggs. Thanks to our Iowa Egg Farmers and the Iowa Egg Council for their generosity to tackle hunger in Iowa. Good night for the defense. Uh, Again, even though that doesn't show on the 31-0 score, turnovers were the big bugaboo here. Six tackles for loss for the Iowa defense. Kyler Fisher. Had one to start the game. Nick Jackson had two and a half TFLs to lead Iowa. Deontay Craig, Aaron Graves, and Logan Lee all with one each. Six tackles for loss. Congratulations to Fisher and Jackson, Craig, Graves, and Lee as the Iowa defense will rally, regroup, and come out fired up next Saturday night for a 6.30 kickoff when the Hawkeyes host the Michigan State Spartans on blackout night at Kinnick Stadium. Come on out and... uh, 
Let's have that sold-out house revved up and roaring. We'll be on the air at 4.30 with our pregame coverage. Now, after we take a break here on the U.S. Cellular Postgame Show, we will have a complete scoreboard from our studios at Learfield in Jefferson City, Missouri, and then we'll rejoin Rob Brooks in the Hawkeye locker room as he visits with more Hawkeyes on our postgame coverage. The final score again here tonight from State College, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. Uh, it was Penn State winning 31 nothing over the Hawkeyes. For Ed Podolak, uh, for our engineer-producer, Corey Sheets, our statistician uh, and scoreboard chief, uh, John Swisher. I'm Gary Dolphin. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Good night from State College, Pennsylvania. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet